Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Good morning and welcome to World Bee Day. Now, did you put the advert out before we started, Charlie? Did it go in that break? It, no, it's been going out a week. It's the one of us. We'll put it in our breaks, but it, we won't see it again after today. Anyway, I giggle like this because we had B-Days. <laughs> right, I got B-Days confused with commodes. It was only when I went to look at pictures of B-Days last night. I was oh, I've gone thinking the wrong thing. Anyway, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, uh, now, everybody, before we start, everybody who buys today while stocks last. Oh. Spoil my, spoil my what's it, Charlie. Can you hear Carol and, and Claire next door? They're so loud today. Anyway, everyone will get that. Everybody gets that while stocks last. Cute, isn't it? Really cute, because it's World Bee Day. Shall we do the early bird? I can hear tweeted. Right, here we go. It's a pink cushion. Let me just unbutton my um, shirt. Look, here we go. Look, 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 it's a pink cushion. How gorgeous is this? At $7.99. Lovely. Look at the elastic round. Oh, I've, I've twisted it, sorry. There you go. I can hear you now. Are they? That's why then. I knew I couldn't hear you. <coughs> anyway, 7.99 today's early bird. Right, it's brand new today. Oh, hello, John and team. Happy B day to you all. Lots of love and hugs. Davinia. Hello, Davinia. How are you, my lovely? Anyway, 7.99. Brand new. Take a pound off for you. Take. Remember, you're getting a free panel. You're getting a free panel as well. Six ninety nine. That's not just with the early bird. I'm sorry about my voice today. <coughs> I'm not quite sure what, what's happened to it. I'll have some of my ginger water in a minute. Loads of you there. Keep going through. Keep going through. Should be seven ninety nine. You're getting a pound off, and you're getting your free panel, and you're getting entry into the May Day draw. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Not May Day. May draw. Six ninety nine. Oh, I know, isn't it cute? It's lovely, well made, this, look. It's lovely, squidgy pin cushion. It's beautiful, and it's um, felt, it's not... The label, oh. No, no, the label says hobby gift. Message on my bottom. Fabulous shirt, John Perfect to attract bees. I'm wearing flowery trousers for bee days. Oh, that's Susie, tell Susie that. Now, I think I'm on with her next week. I think I'm on with her next week. Oh, here we go. Good morning, John. Just love your shirt day. Be sure to have a great day from Margaret in Hertfordshire. Thank you, Margaret. Uh, there's a buzz around this early bird. Who's waving? Oh, it's Kate. Blimey, she's in early. Six ninety-nine. I know wearable wrist strap. Wrist wrist strap. Wearable wrist strap. A pin cushion B. Six ninety-nine. And everyone who buys while stock starts gets the free panel. Remember. Oh, there's loads of you on Facebook. Uh, right. Uh, good morning, John Nall, says Claire. Lovely shirt. Patricia loves you in Blackpool. Veronica says good morning from Grimsby. Marina's watching. Andrea says good morning. Laurie says morning, John. You're in the pink. Lovely shirt. Be happy. The other Jan says good morning, uh, John and all. Katie says happy B day. Julie Vaughan says you your B video was hilarious. Yeah, but Charlie forgot to show it. Uh, 
Sharon says, good morning, John. Looking good. Our time together is short. Takes I've got to go to work. Oh. And Sue says, morning, John and team. Happy B day. It's in the next break. Yeah, we'll play it in a minute. At 6 99. Oh my word, and how many have we got left? Okay, nearly half the stock's gone. June says morning, gorgeous. Joanne says morning all. Granddaughter just arrived, so a busy day. Do you mean she's just arrived at your house or she's just arrived in the world? Crazy Lorraine says morning, loving the daisy shirt. The other Jan says not suitable weather for bees here, raining at the moment. I don't know what he's doing here. Uh, they like the rain, yeah, but they hide, they go back into their hives. They don't like Lorraine. They like the rain. And they love Lorraine as well. Six ninety nine. Now remember, everybody who buys today, you do get a free panel, which is this one here. Just a little make I'd make hanky out of mine. Uh, how do we make coasters? For all our friends, well, you'll only need one, won't you? Right, so that's today. But also, you know, if every day in May we have a competition, slide, slide, slide. There it is. Uh, all you have to do is buy something. Your name goes in a hat. And today's winner will win this. Right? You've got four reels of thread. You've got a five-inch tropical charm pack. Le uh, yeah, charm pack, five-inch charm pack. And a 10-inch layer cake. Now, yours will be like this. It's a, it, it's a studio sample, so it won't come all wrapped in cellophane or anything. That's how it'll come. But you get all of that. One of you will win that. And on Monday, I will be reading out the, all the winners for this week. All the winners for this week. I'll be reading those out on Monday. Because I mean, on Monday, Rebecca Reed's still on holiday. She just seems to be on a wine drinking holiday, doesn't she? Anyway, should be $7.99. It isn't. You'll all pay $6.99. at 6.99 make sure you go through lots of you there yeah because after today you can't show it can we margaret says good morning john happy b day thank you oh she's just arrived at my house she was brought into the world four years ago donna says good morning john and team have a great day Oh, bottom. Morning, John and team. Looking forward to the show. Happy B day, everyone from Jane in Surrey. Nice. Right. While you all check out, if you haven't seen this already, because you won't see it again after today. Join me on Friday, the 20th of May, for World B Day. Now, in that, it took me a few watches to realise that in that first shot, I fly across the screen. Well, I, di I didn't realise that. I heard the buzzing, and I was like, I wonder why it's buzzing. And now I'm in the second one like that, above Hannah's cagoule. Somebody said, somebody said they loved Hannah's cagoule. She doesn't wear it every day. And also, it's got no arms in it. She had to wear it like this. Didn't have any armholes or anything in it. Had to pocket on the front, weird. Anyway, today's menu is yeah. Coming up today is We Love Bees at 8 o'clock. That's me with everything bee-like. Then at 9 o'clock, we've got the Henry Glass BU Quilt with Catherine Wright. Now, I've got two versions. I've got that one and one with a panel. They're lovely. Beautiful. That's obviously a washing line. Then at 10 o'clock, we've got the Cushion Bee Happy with Delphine Brooks. That's that. Oh, no, not that one. Hang on. No, that one there. That's it. That's it. That's what we got. It's a panel. It's on pre-order now. Go and get it. You know, busy. Delphine's panel's going. So you can either <coughs> make a cushion or you can make um, hoopies, whatever you like with it, right? Then at 11 o'clock, we've got the Beekeeper Cottage Fabric Collection. Brand new collection. Uh, we've got them, the hexes. We've got the strips. We've got the fat quarters. And we've got the five-inch squares. Right. 
Okay, now it will, we're going to be doing the, what we normally do, right? That you'll get the um, there's all the four panels all available on their own, and we'll do a deal if you buy all four, right? But already the hexi panel, because obviously it's like honeycomb, isn't it? It's absolutely flying out, right? And then twelve o'clock's not on pre-order at the moment. We'll let you know when it is. But there's a B quilt and cushion with Delphine Brooks. Here they are. <laughs> there's enough in the bundle. Oh, you won't know there's a bundle because it's not on pre-order yet. But there's enough in the bundle to make both the cushion and the quilt. Can we see? Oh, yes, it's over there. We'll just show it now. We're just getting a camera to go to it now. There it is. Right, now you do, it says she believes, uh, so she could, right? It, you can also do they believed. No he's, no he's. Um, uh, right, Lynn says good morning. Another Lynn, Lynn to it, says happy bee day everyone. I'm still chuckling at your and Hannah promo. I really thought you might be wearing the outfit today. I'd pass out if I wore it today because it's so hot and tight. Uh, thought you'd be in costume, says June, no. Good morning, John, says Shelley. Uh, doing some EPP and making a wall clock with Keith. Is he around yours? Is he around your house? Claire says, I've only just noticed you in the last shot. Oh, no. I knew I was in the last shot. Christine said, my sewing, got my sewing bee book yesterday. I'll be happy with it. I know we sold out yesterday. There's none left. We're supposed to have it today, but it sold out. Uh, Crazy Lorraine says, you and Hannah are great sports. How did Hannah get all her hair inside that costume? Don't know. That's why the flower was standing up like it was. And then Elizabeth says, morning all. I have mason bees taking loads of soil out of my garden. It's a mix of clay and sand. Little holes all over the ground. What, they're nicking your mud? Your mud? To, build a, to build a home, I suppose. Uh, anyway, three ways you can get in touch. The first way is email, studio at sewingstreet.com. Second way is Facebook Live, which is the ones I've just been reading out. And the third way is you can go straight to the website, www.sewingstreet.com. Click on Watch the Show Live. And then on the right-hand side there, you'll see the white box. That's where you can write your message. And that appear on my bottom later. Be happy, says Hannah. Scroll down the page and you will see now there's only four hours worth of pre-order here. And it's all in the wrong order. So there is... Uh, that's nine o'clock. That's all right. That's when Catherine's there making that quilt. Where are the quilt bundles? Hang on. There you go. There's one. And all the, oh, that fabric sold down its own. Already low. Then there's that other one there. It's gorgeous. That's from a panel. Then, now what comes next then? That's a big 505 there. Then we go to Delphine's first hour. That's the panel. Brand new panel. Checking out on it already, you are. Check it, check it out. Then we've got the B cushions back in stock. Got some Bonder web. Got three embroidered. Oh! Oh, it's sold out! We have no idea why it was there, but it sold out already. Oh, I was so looking forward to having that on my show as well. I don't support people. Right. Uh, there. Now, these are the panels. That's the one. That's the one that's flying out. Then there's a bundle there. You say, for, you get one of them for free, look. You get one of them for free. So you get the strips, the fat quarters, the five-inch squares. They're not in proportion, those. Please, no. They're, they're, right. They're beautiful, they're beautiful, they're beautiful. Then we've got, oh, this is eight o'clock now. This is eight o'clock, which is what I'm going to do now. Uh, Hannah loves those kitty scissors. Very popular, the kitty scissors. They are children's scissors, I'll show you them later. Uh, now, Kat has got that sewing kit because she has it backstage when she does her theatre shows. Then we've got uh, boxes. Then we've got the panel. Oh, so beautiful embroidery there. Some fabric. So, uh, oh, oh, look, the Brie, Brie Merrin, be happy. Uh, cross stitch. There's loads. Amber makes, Amber makes, lovely fabrics. Look at that gorgeous fabric. Sky, but then the one with bees on. <coughs> oh, there's one great British sewing bee. Now, the reason it sold out yesterday, I'll just tell you very quickly. On this week's sewing bee, they did the quilted jacket, right? And it's in there on page 174. That book is a mix of this year and last year. So that pattern, sizes 8 to 22, is in that book, but there's only one left. Now, I presume we'll reorder it, but I don't know. I can't guarantee. Yeah. Right. Okay. 
I can do the, could do this little Indian look back. Now remember, everybody you buy today, doesn't matter what you buy, doesn't matter what you buy, you'll get one of these while stocks last. Where are you showing it from? Oh, on the slide. Can we see the actual thing, please? Do you want me to put it down on the floor? Yeah, I'll put it down here. Where is it? Look, there it is. Cute, isn't it? Home sweet home, be kind, be the queen. Be the queen. That's very scouser, that, isn't it? Be happy, farm fresh honey. Oh. Be sweet honey, be you. Just be and be positive. Ah, oh. be queen. Queen, not clean, queen. Right, let's do this first then. It's a linen look panel of a bumblebee. I've not got the matching background fabric. This is all I've got here. Two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. It is. Oh, listen to Hannah. You're very welcome. Uh, those bees might be sand bees that live underground. Oh, Jan, I've got leatherbacks in my garden, and I'll tell you what it is very quickly. And right now, what happens is, is last year the um, daddy longlegses planted all their eggs under my lawn. And all the pupae or larvae or whatever it's called, right? Been eating the grass from the bottom up. But in September, when I might be on my holidays and other people might be living in my house, right? Um, there's going to be thousands and thousands and thousands of daddy long legs birthing from my lawn. I know. I normally have flying ants do that, but this year it's the daddy long legs. Is. So that'd be lovely. Anyway, when I did when the flying ants I used to do it, I just get the Hoover out and Hoover them up like that. Two ninety nine. Lovely. Oh, Liz is back home from Poland. Got my order. In. What's the matter? Two ninety nine. They might be, but when you're not there, Charlie, though, might be the beginning of September. Uh, oh no, I'm away at the beginning of September. Aren't I? Charlie's Charlie and his girlfriend are moving into my house while I'm away. You see, so. Only in the September holiday, not the June holiday. I've got other people moving in for the June holiday. Two ninety nine. Well, the cats didn't come home last night. No. Ah, oh, no. Well, well, it's a nice evening, isn't it? Didn't rain last night. Two ninety nine. Keep going through. It's linen. Look, it's eighty percent cotton, twenty percent polyester. Loads have gone. Over half the stock's gone already. It's lovely. It's cute, isn't it? What's it measure? Oh, forty six by forty six. Nearly half a metre by nearly half a metre. Oh, oh, Barbara. She's bed happy. Say no more, Barbara. Say no more in Greater Manchester. It's only quarter past eight in the morning. Well, I suppose, you know. <laughs> I don't know why Hannah said that. Hannah said, oh, young love. At quarter past eight in the morning. Hannah had trouble getting in this morning. Oh, if anybody works for, I don't know what bank she's at, but can, they, can you tell her why her card stopped working? Because she tried to order an Uber and she couldn't get one. So she had to go back in the house, wake up Steph, say, order me an Uber to get to work quickly. So he paid for it. Already? You paid it back already? Oh. Are you sure the car's not run out and you need a new card? What was your expiry date on your card? That'll be it then. That'll be it. What, the new card or the old card? But if they've sent you, why have they sent you a new card? Well, that's why your old one's not working. Feel sorry for those people with daddy long legs. Oh, there's going to be hundreds of them. Carol says good morning. Love the bees. Right, should we move on? Moving on. Sorry, that's right, it was my fault. Anyway. Remember, everybody, everybody uh, gets, Wild Stock Stars gets that free panel with it. We can. Which one would you want to do? Oh, the furthest one. Away. Oh, grey roof. No, I haven't got one of those. I've got a grey roof, grey body. I've got a beige roof, cream house. This one. <coughs> it uh, sort of looks a bit grey, but when you see it, I'm going to show you the grey one as well, in case you want a grey one. <clears throat> so look from the top oh you can see it from the front there that's the grey one coming up in a minute this is the one we're doing now right what you get is lovely isn't it look right it's got the magnetic clasp on the front here you get a free pair of kitty scissors with it with the bumblebee on what 
They are cute, aren't they? They come for free, right? $39.99. Now, look, so nice solid tray. What, what? Very limited, this one. Look how beautiful it is. It's all embroidered all around the edge, right? Let me just put that in. So, you've got bumblebees there. You've got honeycomb there. You've got the bee trail there. You've got little flowers there. Another bumblebee on the front. Little bumblebees playing on the side. Loads and loads. And then the lovely little... Uh, Basket weave um, roof. And you get a free pair of scissors. Would you like a bee fact? Bees have five eyes. Never knew that, did you? I saved a bee a couple of weeks ago. I saved a bee. There was one in the dining room. And I thought, I better get it outside before the cats try and eat it or something. So I put it outside and it just didn't move. So I got the spoon of honey. And I put the honey next to it. And, it did, and then suddenly it went like this. Oh. Like that. Like that. And then it suddenly went... <gasps> Ooh, and then it flew off, it had some honey and it flew off. I felt really good. Anyway, 39.99. Morning, John and team. Loving your shirts, says Jackie. Thank you, Jackie. How fast do bees fly? About 20 miles an hour. Blimey. These type what? 39.99. That's quite fast, isn't it? 20 miles an hour. Will Delphine's B panel be available on its own? Bought the pattern without the panel on error earlier. Which, which, now, which panel? What do you mean, which panel do you mean, Susie? Because I've got the cushion panels and they come with the instructions. And I've got this one, but it's brand new today. That doesn't come with instructions. That's just a panel on its own. And in the last hour, there's no, there's no pan, there's no pan, you can't see that yet anyway, there's no panels in the last hour. So let me know which one you mean. Or in the customer service team, they'll help you. 39.99. Oh, more people got that in baskets than we've got available. The, the grey one now, yep. Yeah. The grey one, this is the darker grey one. Look, I like this one. Lovely, look, been bought in specially for date. Now you do get your free scissors. Uh, once I've done these, I will do you. Yeah. Dad, you know, I could do that for you. These are lovely, the bees on this one. It's classy, this one, isn't it? Look, I love the fact they've even put one on there. They fussy cutted one on there, look. Message across the bottom. Sorry, John. Got to go now. Hair appointment. Got you on record. Have a great bee day from Jean. Have a lovely day, Jean. 39.99 it's nice i love the handle as well barbara uh i meant be happy what must you think of me john well we know now barbara we know now oh no i'm gonna stay down oh and there's another one this is very good for me doing my quads or whatever i'm doing buzzing show john could you wish my lo lovely hubby bill happy birthday he thinks you're marvelous and you make us both cheery when you're presenting tea uh, Elizabeth, what's he called? Bill. Happy birthday, mate. Bud. All right, mate. Thirty-nine ninety-nine. Free baby, uh, not baby scissors, child scissors. Safe blades and playful handles. Fits both right and left-handed. Oh, there you go, Han. We could let Han at loose with these. I don't understand how they could be safe blades, mind you, because they've got to be. Sh oh, we'll open one in a minute because we've got it on its own. $39.99. Quarter of the stock's gone into baskets. Yes, yeah, lovely, this one. Oh, oh, look at this one. $27.99. Uh, again, you get the free scissors. What is? Oh, okay then. Love a little pocket, little pin cushion there. And then you've got the bee on the front. Beautiful lacy wings. Eight left. Eight left. Loads of you coming for this one at 20, oh, at 27 99 And you're getting the free child scissors. Gorgeous. They're not baby scissors. Universal scissors B. Safe blades and playful handles. 
They are playful. $27.99. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at the work that's gone on in there. It's like embroidered. Oh, next one. Moving on. Run out of time. Oh, yeah. Look at this one. Then I've got little bumblebees. Three scissors again. $27.99. They're what? Oh, $27.99 plus your free scissors. Now, when you pack away, I'm going to open these scissors now, but there's another pair in the box that I have to go in, in with this one in, in the, that we didn't get out. Oh, hang on. <clears throat> Let me have a look. Oh, on, my, on mine, sorry. Uh, Adele says, uh, Good morning, John Scott and all. I work on a health shop called Wholesome Bee and I rescued a swallow that flew in and got stuck in our window display. I'm afraid of heights, but I set that swallow free. It made my day. Oh, Adele. Morning, John, says Jane, drinking coffee from my Sophie Alport bee mug this morning whilst I'm watching. Who's so Sophie Alport? Love the grey sewing box. Have a great day, says Sandy. Happy bee day, says Hilary. The cushion advertised with the panel... Oh, hang on. The cushion advertised with the panel, the cushion with the big B. No, we're, it only comes with the instructions. It's a panel and the instructions come as a bundle. It's just not on its own. British Homeware and Lifestyle Designer. Thank you. 27.99. We have a few bees outside of work, exhausted on the floor, and we've taken them a sachet of sugar. It's amazing to see how they start to move and fly off once they've had enough. I know, Sharon, it's brilliant, isn't it? Another message on my bottom. Morning, John. Been waiting for today. Happy B Day. Made a purchase. Looking forward to adding more from Carol in Somerset. Thank you, Carol in Somerset. $27.99. They're all the same boxes. Sh should we do scissors on their own now, though? They are about to sell out, though. How much are they? <laughs> That'll teach me. Oh, look, left or right handed. Oh, well, they're not going to be fabric shears, are they? Well, that's not just paper, that's thick cardboard or card. There you go. They are sharp, so obviously you're going to have to keep your eye on them, right? Beautiful. Look at the little bumblebee with the wings and the body. Two ninety nine. Let me move all that out of the way. There you go. Make sure you go through these now. If you buy these, you'll get what well, while stock starts, you get one of these panels. That looks like a buff tailed banded bumblebee on that last box. My favourite type. Oh I'm, I didn't know the word different versions. I'm all right now, back on, back on my chair now. Now, <laughs> right. So that goes like that, there. I've got a, 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 what, what? This one, yeah. This is a little drawstring bag, this one. Look. Oh, it's cute, isn't it? This matches the early bird. This matches the early bird. So you've got your little front door, your little bumblebees. Now, it's made of like a jute or a very open weave canvas, this. There it is. And on the back, there's one on the back. And then you've got that lovely drawstring at the top there. What do they say? It's, oh, just a drawstring bag. I'm wondering if you could do that with it, you know? Oh, look there, that'd be nice as well. There's something in the ridge here at the top, giving it like th 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 a firm edge. Look at that. Or you could do it like that. Sort of quilted at the bottom there as well. $16.99, oh, that's good, $16.99. It's pretty, isn't it, if you're gonna buy a present for someone. Message from Trisha, morning John, looking forward to the show whilst we get ready for a wedding. What day is it? 
Friday, oh nice. Got my pin be, pin cushion, Trisha in Warwickshire. Oh lovely. Where's the wedding? I'll pop in later. Well no, I've got a lot to do. I've got people coming today, I've got to clean. And my cushion for my you know, I ordered a cushion for my um Indian sofa. Yeah, that's arriving today. And the new cushions for my sofa are arriving today, so I've got to get home for that. I've got to tidy and clean as well. Sixteen ninety nine. You're not. Unless you come into uh, Dulce's 60th tomorrow, it's my plus one. No, no. I haven't got a plus one either. <laughs> she said numbers are limited to 120, so you can't bring a plus one. Anyway, 16.99. Oh, what's happened? Oh, Reva, sorry, my love. She missed out on the bee scissors. Sorry. Sorry. Right, moving on. Which one? Now, this is nice, because this will go with you. If you've got the grey one with the grey roof. Look. It's made in exactly the same way as the other one, but this is a cotton fabric. Might be a poly cotton, but it feels like a cotton. Looks cute, isn't it? Twenty one ninety nine. I'll put it down like that so you can see. And there's the um, June says happy birthday to Dulce. It's not till tomorrow, June. Old question. Uh, did you get your blow up bed back? No. No, I did not. I am furious with Elliot. Furious with him. Um. <coughs> Oh, I've had to make other arrangements. They'll have to bunk in with me. No, there's no family in the loft anymore. No family in the loft. No, it's all that happens now is a very strange clunking noise happens to the right of my bedroom. And I don't know where that... Well, Charlie, you can see when you're there what it is. No, no, it might be. I hadn't thought about that. The... the um, Digital showers. You get this for free as while stocks last. You get that for free while stocks last. Beautiful. Next. What are you trying to say? You just went. <laughs> this is so cute, this one. This one's so cute, look. Oh, you're going upstairs? Honestly, can't show everything from upstairs, Charlie. Beautiful. It's a pin cushion. 9 99 These would be brilliant for presents for your, for your a sewing group, whatever, wouldn't it? Uh, Donald Ridley has sent loads of hearts to June Marsh. June, have you pulled? Anyway, uh, oh, and then he said, oh, no, no, ignore it, ignore it, ignore it. It's one of those fake ones, June. It's one of those fake ones. How can we delete him? Ignore it, June. Don't, don't send him a friend request. Uh, who's that from? Claire Rogers on, on YouTube thinks I look as cute as a bee. But, uh, it, oh, Donald, sorry, June, that's a, one of those fake ones, isn't it? Good morning, watching you on television, and a bee has just flown through my door. Heard my voice, Linda, obviously. Calling the bees, cool bees. Bzz, 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 bzz. I know, June. They're weird, aren't they? I hate it when they suddenly write... When you've got a, um, a post going on, people are writing, and suddenly they write something like that underneath, and you think, ooh. It's obviously a computer-generated thing, isn't it? Anyway. 9.99. How am I doing stock-wise on these limited yet? Mandy Shaw. Oh, missed out on the sewing bit the bee sewing box. Will you be getting any more? Oh, Mandy, I don't know, because they'll have been bought in specially for today. 
Uh, we'll, we'll send a message on the Teams thing in a minute for you. M my, they won't answer, but I'll, we can send a message on it. 9 99 for a pink cushion. Beautiful. Oh, we're just going to check about the last hour now. Okay, we can... 12 o'clock, we'll show you, we'll show you, we'll show you in a minute. When it's there, <coughs> we'll show you. They are a bit creepy, Jim. They are creepy. I've had a few sizzling to it. Uh, not us. We're talking about those trolls on the, with the thing. Uh, is it there? 12 o'clock is now on pre-order. Sorry about that. Right, you can buy the instruct. Can you? You buy the instructions on their own, and you can buy the quilt kit. With another kit is enough to make both the cushion and the quilt. Right. So one of them has got a grey, white, and black, and four yellow fat quarters, and the other one, which those are made out of, has got grey, white, and black, and eight fat eights. Fat eights is the Liberty one, the Liberty one, and the yellow one is just four different shades of yellow, which obviously Delphine hasn't used. And the what one? Oh, have they? Should we see the website? Yeah, well, let's see. Let's see the website so I'm, I don't confuse you. Right? Go to the website. You go to www.sangstreet.com. Click on Watch the Show Live. Then you scroll down the page. Now you'll see there's two columns. Oh. Hang on, it's just waiting for it to, to download. Sorry. Come back to me. No, no, that man's back again. He sent a message to Crazy Lorraine now. Right, okay, go to the website, www.sangstreet.com. Click on Watch the Show Live. Now there are do two columns. Today's show deals are everything you've seen so far. Scissors sold out. Click on pre-order. Go right down to the bottom, I imagine. That's everything still to come in the next three and a half, four and a half hours. Yeah, things are selling out, look. Uh, that's what we're doing now. Be there in a minute. Be there. There, there, right. Okay, so instructions on their own there, 9.99. Then you've got the one. Now, that one is the one that's made of the four different yellows. The one at the end isn't beige. It's a, like a soft lemon. All of your bees will be yellow on that one because you get the grey, the white and the black and then all of your bees will be yellow. And you can make the cushion and the quilt or you do this one which are Liberty Fat Eights and you, all your bees will be all different, well eight different colours. You get the grey, the white and the yellow, right? Look. There. That's the cushion. Later on, the quilt will be hanging up. This is the first quilt we're doing with Catherine, but the quilt will be hanging up later on as well. Beautiful. Right. So, where are we going now, then? The little retractable tape measure that goes with the early bird. Now, no, this one needs to be this one, I think. Don't you think? Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, June. Didn't last long. Yeah. Oh, good morning, John. Have you got any sewing box had this, all the sewing things in it? No, we've not got that today. No. I don't know if we had that at Sewing Street, have we? Anyway, we haven't got it today, I'm afraid. Look. Look. Well, no, I think you're allowed to ban that one, yeah. Look, so you've got your tractable tape measure, and then what you do is you press there, and it goes in. Pull it out again. At 7 99 It's gorgeous, isn't it? Cute little thing. Gorgeous present. Message on my bottom. Morning, John. I'm currently listening to Art Malik. Reading the Beekeeper of Aleppo while sewing. Can highly recommend it. Karen in Gloucestershire. I've worked with Art Malik. Years and I'm talking years and years and years ago. Did he was he in Hobby City? Oh no, it was after I knew him. Oh okay, Hannah got a bit infatuated with that before she got infatuated with Kush. Seven ninety nine. Gorgeous. Moving on. Then I've got one more thing in this range. Now this is the one that cats 
mascot when she works backstage at the theatre. No, this one. No, not the house. This. Oh, I, Hannah, when I said it earlier, Hannah thought I was talking about um, the big one, the big houses, and she was carrying them like a handbag. There you go. So watch. Look. Thimble. Needle holder. Threads. Tape measure. Buttons. Little scissors. Safety pins. Quick unpick. Beautiful uh, lining. At fourteen ninety nine, what did you just say? Oh, okay. Ten. I thought you said ten. I was gonna say, oh, my clock's wrong. Isn't that lovely? Little sewing kit. How much is it? Fourteen ninety nine. Beautiful. Oh, you know Hannah normally has Alfie. She sings Alfie all the time. Oh, sorry. Today she's singing, going to the chapel. Has Steph proposed then? No. Pearl's a singer, did you say? Oh, look, I love, look at his legs. Or her legs. Now, how do you know? I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. They're all boys. Are they? What, is the queen the only female? I never knew that. I thought, right, okay, oh, maybe I'm thinking of ants, because aren't all the ants, one section of the ants, aren't they all the women? Aren't the hard-working ones all the women? I might be wrong. I might, well, not here it isn't. Uh, I might be wrong. I didn't know that all bees were boys. No, not the queen, obviously. Queen? I just think it's fast. Oh, hang on. Is this? Thank you. Right, okay, the worker bees are females. They do not breed. The queen's the only one allowed to have babies. Gosh, she must be exhausted. The drones are males and the worker bee, the... Oh, and it's only the ladies that sting, the men can't sting. There you see. That's all right if we misled you then. She lied to me. Anyway, look at that lovely sewing pouch. $14.99. And remember, you'll get one of these little panels for free as well, while stocks last. At $14.99. Okay, moving on. What's next? I have got some fabrics here. I've got the tea with bee little bees. This is by the half meter now. I'll show you the three different colours. There we go. Yellow is the most popular at the moment. I'll do that one first. Little bees. Riley Blake, tea with bee. What's the matter? Eleven thousand four hundred times in a minute is how many times a bee wafts its wings and they make buzzing noises. Oh well, I never knew that. Uh, did you know that blue tits eat bees? No, I didn't, Elizabeth. That's the panel you get. Oh, sorry, that's the panel you get for free. It's about a foot ten inch square, twelve inch square. There's only four of these left. Oh, what's the code of the tape measure? I missed it, says Helen. The little bee. We'll put the graphics back in. I haven't got it. Can you throw it back to me? Oh, she's got it in her hand right now. Thank you. There you go. Seven ninety nine. it was, Helen. There it is. Oh, we'll do it from up there. Seven ninety nine. Over half the stock's gone. Look at this. Seven ninety nine. 
the thing is, people, the bees don't, all, the bees only sting if they think they're in danger, don't they? So you've, there's all those people that have all those bee, 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 you know what I mean? Bee beards and the men in, in India cover themselves in honey and let the bees all over them. I suppose, which ones don't sting the boys? So if you only let boys in, then, then boys alone, no boys allowed. Anyway, yeah, I'm confused. Cheryl Cole. Right, here we go. That's the yellow one. That's about to sell out. Green next. I love this green because the bees are somewhat like a little yellow, uh, not yellow, pinky colour, these. Look. Look. It's lovely, isn't it? I love this. Beautiful. £7.49 for me. Do you remember cutting off the bolt for you? <clears throat> so you can have as much as you want. It'll come in one piece. I'm just going to take a slurp of my ginger water. There we go. That's better. <clears throat> £7.49 for half a metre. Now I've got it in... I don't know what colour they'll call this one, actually. It's like a soft... No, that's not sand. Hang on. T with B, sand dollar B. Yeah, the B must be a sand B. No. So it's a dollar B, is it, that one? No, they didn't have it written in the other ones, did they? It's what? Oh... So it's shell colour. They're calling it sand, B sand dollar. That's just strange. It's just lovely anyway. It's, to me, it's like a very, very soft peppermint with an almost sage bumblebee. Oh, somebody was being very, very um, expressive in the upstairs department when they did this one. No, no, no. I'm used to Carol shouting next door now. I haven't got any blue tits in my box anyway, so it doesn't matter. But, but the bees can be this big and blue tits are only that big. It must be quite a fight to the death, mustn't it? Right, next. Is the door open? It's like they're in here, isn't it? What, what? Yep, show me the honey. Okay, here we go. John, how do you make your ginger water? Is it just root ginger in boiling water? Thanks from Chris the boy. Yes, I know. Chris from Greater Manchester is a boy. Um, I literally, I buy a root. I buy a root from Tesco's or Waitrose, wherever. And I cut it into slices. And I, just, I either wash the root or I cut the... But you shouldn't really cut the outer edge off because that's where all the goodness is. So I literally put, slice it and then put it into hot water. Don't drink it straight away because it just tastes like hot water. Let it steep until it's, and it's just lovely. It's very refreshing. I don't put honey in it. I don't put lemon in it. I just have the ginger. It's very good for you in many ways, not just for your throat. I can hear a boy's voice now. No, no, out there. Can you hear them? Someone shouted that. Tell them, be quiet. Becky's out there. Moving on. Oh, it was Ian. Oh, honestly, you'll see Ian on Sundays, presenting on Sunday. The three of you will have a fabulous time. Right, next. Delphine was stroking her sewing machine. I thought it was a bit strange. Delphine was stroking her sewing machine. He's never seen anything like that before. Wait till Sunday. Ian's presenting on Sunday, by the way. Right, next. I've got the blue sky with the bees bopping around. Yes, I have indeed. These are funny bees. Look at them looking at you. We can see ya. We can see ya. Hi, John, we can hear them. It was Ian, Sue. It was Ian. Have you ever tried growing your own root ginger? I'd be putting it in compost. 
Well, those things I put in my hot water, I put that root in a root and it'll grow. In a Oh, I'll have to look into that one. So you need a big pot because the roots are quite big, aren't they? And I wonder if they take a while because I get through one of those big um, roots a week. I'd have to have a whole wing of my garden dedicated to ginger. I haven't seen that in the garden for ages. I haven't heard from him either. Uh, but he's going to be a Dulcie's party. He gets a plus one. No, that was the, that was the uh, window man. Six ninety nine. Yeah, when the window man, the man who's fitting the cat flap in the window, sent me a message. Went, oh, I've been ever so busy today, babe. <laughs> right, and I messaged back going, babe? Question mark. Like Joker. He never mentioned it. And then he came to fit the thing, and he didn't say anything. And I went, are you not calling me? As he left, he had his apprentice with him. You're not calling me babe today. And he was like, oh, it was a mistake. It was a mistake. I didn't mean to call you babe. Anyway, look, 6 99 for half a metre. By cutting it off the bolt thing. A lady I work with has a hive and the honey is delicious. I'm going to make her the Helen Newton bag with the bee fabric. Oh, that's nice. Who was that from? Sorry, I didn't see that. Trisha, 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 Trisha. I thought you were going to a wedding, Trisha. Don't you be late now. They've got what? Oh, yeah, in their bee vapour trail. There's hearts, look. That one's, I like that. Oh, they're all the same. That one, for some reason, looks like he's smiling more than the others. He or she, he or she. They or them. Right, now I've got cloud fabric. Now, now you're going to look at this thing. You've got two fabrics the same. One is slightly darker than the other. So I've got 72 and I've got 57. 57 is the darker one. There are no bees on this one. Got bee buttons coming up later in Delphine's hour. Might have sold out by then if you um not careful. Applique bees on. Have and you might hate bees and you think that's one thing I've seen that's not got a bee on it so far by that. Six nine ten. So this is a slightly darker one. I'll show you the other one in it. You see the other one's a bit paler. Put a plane on it if you want, or an air balloon. Oh yeah, six ninety nine. No, I've not been hot air balloon. Yeah, yeah, you're not on your own hand. Don't let you go off on your own. She, she's saying, oh, it'd be lovely and romantic, but there'll be a man there going like that, whoosh, whoosh, like that. And then the amount of people I know, when it's landed, the whole thing's gone over like that. But in the summer, oh, Charlie, you might see it in my house. In the summer, they have days where it's quite still. And over the house, there's about 10 or 15 hot air balloons just sailing over really, really peacefully. It's lovely. Right, this is the paler one. This is number 72. Hi, John. I should have got up earlier. The B buttons have sold out. Oh, no, have they already? Been a busy day already. Busy bees. B uh, what? The, 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 the um, buttons. How would she know that? <laughs> Lovely. Now, I've got the only one fabric I've got left now is this one here. Oh, now they're the same bees that were smiling at us earlier, but they're all going to the kelp. It's from the same collection. Bee popping. Gorgeous. What time is it? Oh, God, I better move on. What's the matter? Ginger has beautiful lily flowers. Oh, has it, Lynette? Oh, that'd be nice. I didn't know that. What's next? Amber makes beehive homeware. That's this one. Is it this one here? Doorstop. Thing you put over your teapot. And a cushion. Okay, I'll show you the panel while they're finding a picture. Twenty-four ninety-nine. Panel. 
Oh, I see him, it's just on the front of the cover. You could just show him the front of the cover. 9th of June last year. 9th of June last year. I was on that day. Yeah, because I remember doing this with Rebecca Reed. Yeah. 9th of June. Um, we've just got our June rota, right? I'm on every single day of the Jubilee weekend. I'm not enough for day of June because I've got the second half. I'm on holiday. Right. Yeah. Busy Bee Needle Case from Amber Makes. There. There's the photo. There's the panel. How much is that one? Fourteen ninety nine. That's good because you think the instructions are nine ninety nine on their own normally. Are you sure it's not just the panel? No. Crikey, you get both for fourteen ninety nine. That's good. That's good. And what date was that one? Yeah. What of so November 2020? What number? 30th of November 2020. Where's your life going, Hannah? <coughs> Next. <coughs> She's having a moment. Remember, everyone who buys say well stock sauce gets this lovely little um panel for free. Yeah, you carry on. Right. Yeah, Amber makes fat fat quarters. Ginger has one eye. I'll get my coat. Not sure what that means. There you go. Look at these, right? This is massive for nineteen ninety nine. So you've got a big fat quarter of the bees and the honey, a big fat quarter of the very uh, reminiscent of the Riley Blake ones. Then you've got those on gold, and you've got gold ones on white, and you've got the bumblebees that look like they're on the window. They're honeybees, those, aren't they? Anyway, you get, look, it's huge. It's massive. For $19.99. Okay. Now we have to do the ja Jenny Jackson, because I've been upstairs rooting to get the sample. Yeah, I went upstairs before you arrived. I went upstairs and got the sample. Yeah. So what you're doing is you're making this. Little roly poly, hexy. Okay. And what you get is you get the instructions, you get the card, the papers, and you get the panel. 10th of January, February, March, April. Sold out twice, this has. It's sold out twice. Gorgeous, right? Twenty-two ninety-nine. I'm only rushing because I've got to get on because um, Catherine's going. It's very cold in here, she's saying. Uh, well, we haven't got ours is not. It'll be next door, so I'll sort it out. <laughs> After she's already packed it away. Right. Don't go anywhere. Catherine's making this after the break. And we've got loads of other bits and bobs in that hour. We will see you on World Bee Day after this break. Join me on Friday, the 20th of May, for World Bee Day. Hello, I'm Catherine Wright from Leicestershire Craft Centre based in Market Harborough. I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street family. I've been sewing since the age of seven when my mum taught me to sew. I particularly enjoy dressmaking and all through my childhood I made my own clothes uh, including dancing costumes and my prom dresses. But I also enjoy patchwork and bag making and hand stitching and embroidery and really anything textile based. The thing I particularly love about 
fabric and textiles and stitching is that there is always something new to try. There's always a new technique or a new skill to learn. Uh, and I really enjoy doing that. My top tip for new sewers is to uh, be friends with your iron. Your sewing also always looks better when it's been pressed. And it's not like ironing your own clothes. It's much more, much better than that. And also to uh, build your skills up step by step. Don't launch in with the, with the wedding dress first off. You know, start with a simple dress and build your skills up and then you'll see good results right from the start and feel enthusiastic and carry on sewing. So really, just have a go, have fun. It's all about having fun and enjoying it. Um, so happy sewing. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Sewing Streets have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Elizabeth, I just saw your message. I said I didn't understand it. I didn't see the one above it, that's why. And happy birthday to June Jones. She's having a lovely day. Thank you for a fabulous show. She said, sitting here, watching on my birthday, loving the bee fabric. Isabel says, good morning, everyone. Hope you all have a good bee day. Right, Catherine's here. Say hello, Catherine. 
Hello. Right, now before we start on, I'm gonna to say to you, everybody who buys Wild Stocks Last today will get one of these lovely little free um, uh, panels. I'd use it as a hanky. Lovely soft cotton, it's really beautiful soft cotton. Right, Hannah would make coasters. I think, uh, isn't it in a project later it's in, on? It's in oh, this. Oh, it's in this. It's, it's in, in this, this next project. <laughs> it's in, but you don't, you don't have to use your free one. You could buy that and get this as well. Uh, also, I need to just point out, remember the May, every day in May, just for buying something, your name goes into a hat. One of you will win this, right? All you have to do is shop. There's no code or anything like that. One of you will win the 10 inch layer cake, the five inch charm pack and those threads just from shopping today. On Monday, I'll be announcing all of this week's winners. Right, so have, have, can we have a picture of the quilt, please? Fantastic. There's two quilts, I've got two quilts in this hour. We're just doing one with Catherine. There's that one, right, it's lovely. It's the one that's been on the wall behind me and it's now behind Catherine. Can I just tell you, it is vast it is absolutely huge that one right so it's a free instructions from simply shelly uh this is a free they've done it for free not us we're not giving anything for free they've done it for free this is advanced beginner would you agree yes and the finished size says 75 and a half by 94 and a half so i didn't put on a whole layer oh so it's because even I, bigger because than it's that because i saved a, a strip to show you all how to do it you see Blimey, that be enormous. It's enormous. I know, I know. It's a great size, though. I would probably leave it that size. I like Personally, it. I like that. It's square, isn't it? It's yeah, nice, I like the square. Yeah. yeah. But it's, 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 it's fun to do, actually, because it grows quite quickly. The blocks are a nice big size. Good. Right, so what you get for your money here, right? 129.99, right? 64.99 uh, on split pay. You get, look, you get all, you get your free pattern. You get all of this. You get all of this. So you get that little panel that we're giving for free today. So if you buy this, you'll get two of those. Oh, actually. No, you get, you get. One, two. Six, I think. You get six, three, four, five, six. You get six of those. Six of those. And then you get another one for free if you purchase today. Yep, yep. So you get six in the bundle. Then you get half a meter of this. That's, that's all, now all these fabrics are available by the half meter. Just go and look at pre-order and you'll see them all there. Beautiful daisies. Then we've got uh, bumblebees on soft, very, very soft green. Bees on cream. Then we've got solid black. That's Rose and Hubble. That's not the same collection as this. Then you've got your daisies on cream. Then you've got your yellow honeycomb with bees. Then this is cute, this one here. Now you get a meter of this one. Texture yellow, that one's called. You get a meter of that one. It's all 100% cotton. Then you get half a meter of the texture green. Then you get one meter of your bees on green. Then you get one meter of your plaid. Then you get one and a half meters of stripe yellow and black, wobbly stripe. Then you get three meters. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'll open this, rather than open the whole three meters, this is this fabric that you get three meters of. Look, you get three meters of that. It's called UB Hive. Three, you get three meters. I'm just showing the half meter so I don't unravel the whole three meters of it there. So you get all of that fabric plus your six panels, plus your free instructions for 129.99 and you can make the most enormous quilt of 75 and a half by 94 and a half inches. That's a smaller version. On yours, you can make a whole nother row to go across the bottom. And you'd have fabric left over. And you'd have some left over. Yeah. I know. 129.99, it's beautiful cotton as well. Odd split peg. Right, more than half the stock's gone straight into baskets. So I suppose you wait to see, no, it's all, no pressure but I'll be waiting to see your demonstration. <laughs> right, I have got another quilt here. So that one's quilt number two. If you're looking on the, on the thing, that's called quilt number two. We have got quilt number one as well. Now, I've only got a picture of this one. Much smaller, much smaller. Have you got a picture of this one, Charlie? Oh, there you go, web image, there you go. So this one is a lovely big panel that goes in the middle, look. 
Yeah, that, that, that one's a bit advanced beginner. This one's more beginner beginner. Okay, so that's the middle section. Then you literally just do border and border and border and border. So what you get in this one is you get one and a half meters of, no, what's that one called then? One and a half, well, because that's not, that doesn't appear in yours, does it? I don't no, remember seeing that one. Isn't. No. One of means it's beehives, look, and watering cans. Toss beehives black, that one called. Then we've got a one metre of your daisies on cream, half a metre of your yellow and black stripe, half a metre of your ye bees on yellow, half a metre of your plaid, half a metre of your bees on green, half a metre of your texture, and half a metre of your rose and hubble black. Plus your free instructions for 69.99 69.99 now we're not going to be demoing that one so lovely now what do they call it they call oh they call this one advanced beginner as well i think it's because it's got um uh, a pieced border hasn't it a what, what? a pieced border. border as well as lots of other borders but it's more, I don't think it's a... Well, this one's not difficult, difficult it's not is it? It's not difficult, no. Right. The only other thing I've got to show you in this hour is this bundle of black fabric for, for the backing of your quilt. Now, it's not extra wide. It's only 44 inches. Hmm? Yeah, for the one on the wall. 33, 19, get four and a half metres. Four and a half metres of your plain black there. And remember, everyone you buys while stocks last gets one of those as well. Right, Catherine, lovely to see you. You've been working very hard because there's an awful lot of Catherine on the shelves today, isn't there? <laughs> Where do we start? Where would, because if you got that out, you're going to go, oh, and you'd be a bit daunted, it I imagine. It yes. It, it's one of these, though, that looks more complicated than Which it is. Which is good. And I like that yeah, about yeah, quilts yeah, yeah, that yeah. do that. Yeah. Um, I really do. So you've got, obviously, in your instructions, you've got some very nice cutting out um, pieces. A, very straightforward and um, as I when I start a quilt I always do it in the same way and I go through and I cut all my bits out give them a little tick give them a little label so right. you don't get muddled up um, and I'm going to start by showing I'm going to show you the block how to do this pieced block right. to start off with <clears throat> and we've got one two three four five we've got six of them in the whole quilt if you do the whole thing right of course yeah and it's a really it's a really nice block actually because it's not very hard but there are one or two nice little techniques in it right to so that you can get good and you can get practice practicing so if you look you've got can you see we've got little four patches up in the corner oh yeah so we're going to start with those it's funny isn't it when you break it down because you look at it and think oh god it's huge but actually you break it down into your into your, oh and they look like the pieces the shape of the pieces of the um on the other quilt, I don't they? The bar the border for the other quilt they look like. Oh, they like. might be. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so um, we're going to start with our little four patches. And they we're going to each block has four made in exactly the same way. Right. So when I when I was making this, once I'd sort of got the hang of what I was doing, you can chain piece it, you can actually get a little production line going. And okay. it is it's quicker than you think. So we're going to put right sides together. So it's a one of the the black daisies with a white bee or cream bee and it's a cream bee and a yellow bee together and we're not worrying about direction or anything like that are we no i think no. well if you look at the bee fabric the bees are going all over the place aren't they and the, it's it, it's not a directional fabric no. uh now janet's messaging saying good morning all loving the bees great to meet the lovely catherine at Mulvern on sunday i met so many lovely people <coughs> at Mulvern. so there were so many people came to say hello and Aww. say how much they enjoyed the shows and that so that was that's really nice. nice yeah anyone complain um not to me oh okay that's good <laughs> Hold on, that's it. Okay, so I've got the sewing machine set up on a quarter inch seam and I've made my um, stitch a little bit smaller to two rather than the sort of default two and a half. So we're just going to run down those. So when you're do, doing a lot, you can chain piece, uh -huh. you get them all ready. So go through, um, stitch a little bit with nothing there. 
So you've just got a row of threads, so it won't hurt your machine to do that. And you can just pop the next one under like that. So it was more than good fun then? It was, yes, there were loads of lovely people there. Lots of Sewing Street folks, so that was nice. Oh. We all had a good chats and stuff. Good. And lots of nice people coming to visit. Oh. I had a slight nightmare oh. in that my credit card machine broke. <coughs> oh. So I spent three days getting irate with people on a help desk that weren't very helpful. Oh no. <laughs> so it was a little bit more stressful than I would have liked it yeah. to be. But we still had a really nice time. And Malvern's such a nice, beautiful area, isn't it? Well, Delphine was there on holiday, wasn't she? Yes, she was. I missed her. I didn't see her. She didn't, oh, okay. didn't find me. But we've caught up now. Good. Uh, when you press these, you want to press them towards the darkest fabric. So to the black and to the yellow. Uh -huh. And then that means when you come to pop them together into your four patch, you can see that your um, seams are going to nest together really nicely. Because we want them hopefully to match up beautifully. So if you're fairly new to quilting, you'll get a nice bit of practice of matching up but there's not so much matching that it gets really um stressful yeah <laughs> there's just a nice little bit yeah because i caught up with um sewing bee last night <clears throat> and they were very these people these are people who weren't um patch workers they were getting very irate about them their corners not matching and you kind of think cracky they've never done it before you know it's kind of i don't know how they did it in the time no it was good though wasn't it yeah <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's, it's what it is it's for entertainment I think you just need to revamp I'm just a little bit not bored with that's the wrong word but I just think I know what's going to happen I know what yeah. camera shots they're going to do I yeah. know what cutaways they're going to do and things like that and, and I the way the editor you know who's going and everything like that don't you yeah also, like, like the ladies, like lots of ladies say on Facebook, there's not enough sewing sewing. It's more about an entertainment program now rather than mm. seeing as you want to see more sewing really and more yes. what they're actually doing. A little bit of skills doing. would yes, be nice, yes, wouldn't yeah. it? Okay. It's not too bad. Yeah. Not too bad. <laughs> um, right, I'm going to chain piece together. Right, so you're going to make four of these. So we're going to quickly... For each block, yeah. For each block. So yeah. I'm going to quickly pop them all together for you. You'll see how quickly this block can come together. Uh-huh. Okay. And see, if you're organised like this and you've got your little piles ready, it's, it's quite easy yeah, yeah, to yeah, pop exactly. it all together. And I think that is the way with, with quilts, is just to get yourself nicely organised. How's life at Leicester Craft Centre? It's all right. Is it good? It's all right. Yeah. I saw on there somebody put on Facebook that they only went to visit and they came away with a silver ring or something like that. Oh, that was like me. That. Oh, was that you? <laughs> yeah, so my silver... I have two lovely sisters who teach silversmithing. Right. Uh, and one of them has unfortunately broken her ankle. Right. And so um, the silversmithing class, um, it's, it's just the one sister. So I'd gone in to... Um, on Tuesday evening to provide her with moral support and make the tea. Oh, okay. Ended up making a ring for oh, herself. Oh, I didn't realise you'd written <laughs> it was that me. one. <laughs> yeah. But you're not wearing it today. No, though. I haven't quite finished it. It hasn't, <laughs> been, it hasn't been polished yet. Oh, okay. It had to go in the polisher. So, um, yes. It was good fun though. I, I like silversmithing. Yeah. It's really and good And how fun. have you set up your uh, stained glass window machine yet? Oh, the glass kiln. Yes, it's done the first firings. Oh, brilliant. Um, I have to say, nothing to do with me. Hannah's made your work. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's all, it's all, oh, I haven't put oh, three of those. Oh, I might have to get my rotary cutter out. Hold on a sec. And let's just, I've not quite trimmed them, have I? This is what happens, you see, when you when you're speed doing it, yeah. because you've got to go to Malvern, <laughs> <laughs> and you're not going to have your sewing machine there. Also, you'd be exhausted enough at the end of each day to then go to a hotel oh, God, and yeah, start I sewing. Do that, no. Oh, I had a, such a nice place to stay, though. It wasn't a hotel; it was like a little. Um, 
It was like someone's little basement, but it wasn't. <laughs> that makes it sound, that makes that sound really horrible. Nice, yeah. But it wasn't. It had like um, a little lounge to sit in and a little kitchenette so I could make my breakfast. And the lady had, had left all these really lovely breakfast things Aww. for me. So did you, it, were you on your own or did the family come uh, with you? Well, the first two days I was on my own and then they all came down on Friday evening and had dinner with me. Aww. And... Um, including the dog. In and the basement? No, no, we went out. <laughs> and um, then Anna stayed and helped me on Saturday. Oh, Sunday. nice. So it was really nice, yeah. actually, yes. Right, I'm losing count here because I'm yeah. busy chatting, so let's stitch oh, them. Oh, my fault. <laughs> my husband and I love Malvern so much that we're spending our 25th wedding anniversary there later in the year because I'm from Northamptonshire. Just love the countryside there. That's Kirsty. It is very beautiful but you know what it's a devil to drive around because there's all these like really sharp turns oh don't really is it like hills. cornwall oh there's one bit in the center of malvern where you come up and you're like parked on this hill like this and then it's really hard to see to oh, turn and wow. yeah so but it is beautiful place and our delphine got a caravan all the way around there I'll have to ask her later So we're making four sets for yes. each block of that four patch. Yes. And they're going to be our corners. So you can like literally get these cut, yeah. piece them all like that, stand and iron them all at once. So you can you can get quite speedy yeah, yeah, with yeah, it yeah. if you don't sort of do it one at a time. Did you make would you make one block first of all to see how it goes and then do it? Or do I just... always think that's a good idea yeah. because you can work out what the pitfalls are or where it might be yeah. tricky. Yeah. yeah. And you've got the idea of how it goes together. And also then. if you did this and then realised there was a mistake in the pattern or something and yeah. then just one pick it all of it. Yes. You don't want to have like chopped and, and No, and exactly. Done anything. But I always think it is a good idea to do one just to work it out. Yeah. Then you know what you're doing and then you can and then you can be busy. Also, you see, if you if you haven't got your ironing board nearby, if you do it like this yeah. on mass, then you can reduce your step. Count. I made um, um, a log cabin block last night, and my sewing machine was in the dining room, and my ironing board was in the dressing room upstairs. So in between, ev I'd sew a seam, run upstairs, press it, run down, sew the <laughs> next seam, run upstairs. It's very good exercise. So you had your exercise. Yeah. Yes. But maybe next time bring the iron down. Yeah. Well, I've actually got a little iron and a pressing mat somewhere. I just couldn't, I was too lazy to get it out. <laughs> and also, sometimes I was, put, I was also cooking dinner at the same time. So sometimes I take it too long to get back upstairs and the iron had switched itself <laughs> off. So I then had to wait for the iron to heat up again. <laughs> what are you looking at me for? Um, Colin Charlie out of money now. Oh, my card won't work. You pay for my bus. <laughs> <coughs> I'm disappointed you're not in your bee costume today, John. Oh, I'm sorry. It was tight and hot and <laughs> nylon. <laughs> and Hannah, Hannah's wearing a cagoule. In fact, Cat Floor was wearing Hannah's cagoule the other day. <laughs> No, What's no. up in there? What have you done wrong? My needles come on thread. Oh no. <laughs> Let yeah, me do the bundle. I've not been so. sewing anything. Yep, yeah, okay, bundles. This is the quilt to make the big one on the wall. Oh my word, over half of them have gone and fifteen are sitting in baskets, right? So what you get in this panel, and this the colours are really, really fresh and spring like, aren't they? You get six of these, they're little panels. 
You get your daisies on black, you get your bumblebees on cream, you get your solid black, these are all half meters. You get half a meter of your daisies on cream, you get half a meter of your bumblebees on yellow, you get one meter of your texture on yellow, you get half a meter of your green texture, you get one meter of your bees on green, you get one meter of your plaid, you get one and a half meters of your yellow and black stripe, and you get three meters of your stripe there, plus the free instructions, 129.99 or split pay 64.99. That's for that quilt there. Just picture. There you go, brilliant. Yours will be a whole row bigger. There's enough to make another row plus more. You can make a little cushions if you wanted to, to go with, couldn't you? The other bundle, now we're not making this, that's for this one here. Right, this is smaller, but what you get with this one is you get a panel to go in the middle, which in a minute I'll be able to offer to you on its own. So you get that pan, that lovely panel. Then you get half a meter of your solid black, half a meter of your texture yellow, half a meter of your bees on green, half a meter of your plaid, half a meter of your bumblebees on yellow, half a meter of your black and yellow stripe, one meter of your daisies on cream, and one and a half meters of your tossed beehives. 69.99. Single figures of that bundle now. Now, if you want the panel on its own, looky here. Beautiful. Yep. Now, the fa all those fabrics I've just shown you are all available on the half meter, by the half meter off the bolt if you want more of them. If you want to see any of them in particular, let Hannah know and we'll show you. Um, and what she's doing is she's slowly playing them through. So they will be moving from pre-order to show deals during the, the hour. Nine, this is good for 9 99 20 panels left once you've all checked out. Brilliant. Hey. Are you all right now? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, she's I'm all right now. Carry back, on. Back where I need to be. So I've got those four, those four, four patches together. So yeah. you can see they're going to be your corners with your pretty block in the middle. So Lovely. now we're going to make the little green star points. So Julia says, morning, John and Catherine. You're brightening up a dreary morning. Is it dreary it's outside? It's not as sunny as it has been. Oh, it was a bit mm. grey driving in, but it wasn't raining, raining. No, it's, it's not, not raining. At, well, it wasn't raining when I came in. So... With our um, little black squares, I have drawn, it's probably, you probably won't be able to see it because it's on dark fabric, but yeah. I've drawn a diagonal across from point to point. Right. So that is what you need to do. So okay, I'm just I gonna put a shout out for everybody in the building that's watching. Who's nicked Hannah's coffee? Oh, it's not even hers, but the... Okay, the coffee from the downstairs coffee area in the green room has been taken. Please can somebody return it to the coffee making facility. <laughs> Sorry. Well, she, I just heard, it's important. Well, I heard Hannah go, oh no, and I thought something had gone wrong here. So the coffee's gone. So just so you know. So we're going to stitch along the diagonal that right. you've drawn. And I've put my normal sewing foot back on rather than the quarter inch oh foot. yeah because it, it drags up yeah else it? you can't you can't do it okay when you've stitched it you then want to press it open right to square it up again and you want to we are going to trim off the excess at the back but you want to press it first to make sure, to you're make sure right it's place. nice and square and also if you cut it and then press it because you've cut it you've got a bias cut and oh, it will stretch and, stretch, and then it, yeah. Won't, yeah. it won't so press it open and then flip it back and you can just trim that off to a quarter of an inch yeah and then we're going to pop another one on this side line it up nice and carefully do they overlap at they all they will overlap a, lap a little bit so you've got to <laughs> <laughs> i'll put my teeth in so you've got to do one at a time right, okay you can't think oh i'll do both at once else you'll be in trouble yeah 
But what you could do is do all the lefts and then all the rights, Absolutely, couldn't you? Absolutely, yeah. yes. What's the matter, Hannah? All the fabrics that have been placed through, so if you want to buy any of them, buy the half metre off the bolt. Don't go to don't go to pre-order, go to show deals, and some of them have already sold out. <coughs> so when, you, <coughs> when you stitch this second side, rather than starting at the top where it overlaps, because yeah. that could get sort of caught up, I yeah. would turn it round and start at the other, at side. The other yeah. side. Good idea. Again, we're going to open that up. Okay. Now, if you haven't done these before, people often think they've got it wrong because you've got your black extent, your fabric extending out, but that's correct. You need a quarter inch seam here so that when you then join it to the next bit, you're oh, not listen. going to lose your point. Charlie's going to have to come on as an expert soon because he's up there going, oh, you do that because when you sew the seam, he put, he chose sent us all pictures of, of, of blocks he'd made, like half square triangles and things like that. Is he getting into it? That's really good. Yeah. So. His poor old girlfriend, though, not interested in sewing. She's having to watch the sewing bee and everything. <laughs> uh, message from, morning, John and Catherine. I agree, the countryside around Malvern is beautiful. And it was lovely to meet with Catherine. Uh, that's Beverly. Happy bee day from Bev. The thing is, you meet so many people, don't you? Oh, absolutely. And then you come and you, you'll lovely. recognise if you bump into them at the next one, you'll recognise the face, but you yes. don't really remember. Was I'm it Bev? I'm it very Janet? bad with names, but I do <coughs> recognise faces. But also, a lot of the time, we just go, oh, hello, darling, give each other a hug, and then move on. You think, oh, what was the name again? What I really like is that people come and I'm, I'm like on my stand, and they'll stand and they'll smile at me, and I, I'm there and I'm thinking that. Do Am I'm... I supposed to know this person? Have I met yeah. them before and, yeah. and I've forgotten them? Or are they smiling because they've recognised me? <laughs> so there's always like that little moment where I'm not sure if I'm supposed to greet them like I do really yes. know them. Oh, I just I greet everyone <laughs> with a hug. You just greet everyone me. like you know yeah. them. That's uh, the top tip I shall take Yeah, away. do that. We've got to enter <laughs> until they go, I've never met you before, I just want to buy some cotton. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a funny story about that in a minute. I'll tell you about it in a second. Um, we've got torrential rain here. Good for the garden, though, says June. It I uh, want it. some... A friend of mine who's a cameraman messaged me he said, and went, this when I lived in Twickenham and he saw me and my new girlfriend, we're in Twickenham, should we meet in Starbucks for a coffee? And I went, yeah, yeah. He said, oh, she's dying to meet you. Anyway, I wandered down because I was walkable to there. And then I saw a car pull up and I saw this lady get out and she walked into Starbucks and she was heavily pregnant. I thought, Jacob didn't tell me his girlfriend was pregnant. That's fine. She walked in and I went, hello. And I gave her a great big hug like this. And how are you? What do you want to drink and everything? And then at the next minute, Jacob walked in with his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, I'm ever so sorry. She went, oh, that's the nicest greeting I've ever had in this Starbucks. I went, I thought you were. <laughs> I mean, she could have turned around and punched me, didn't she? she? But, have. you know, she enjoyed it. Anyway, so we're still so doing more of these. I'm How going many to of these do the, do we do the then? other three. So we're going to make four of these per block as well. Brilliant. But I'm going to do as you suggested. Once you've done one, you can do all the rest, yeah. all the lefts and all the rights. Oh, hey, Lee. Oh, she's gone now. I've got my block. You know, you asked me to make a block. Yeah, look, I thought you said it had to be ready by today. Here, take it upstairs. No, I'll show you now. I can't tell you what it's for, though. It's a surprise. But this is the block I made last night. It's very nicely done. Look at the back. I haven't trimmed the threads, but I was really chuffed oh, with it. Oh, it's beautiful. And that was the running up, down, up and downstairs. Good pressing, good pressing. No, I haven't. Come here. I'll show you. I'll explain. I can't explain it live on air because it's a surprise for you. Take my mic out and I'll just go outside quickly. <laughs> he's he's run off. Oh no! Hi, Haley's come round one way. John's run round the other. I'm left in the middle cutting fabric, so I'm just trimming off these corners, and then we'll put the other corners on. So when you're doing it, you can sit there and you can mark up all your, you know, you can have like a, a happy, a happy few minutes just marking all your diagonals at once. 
If anybody has found the perfect tool for marking up dark fabric, I'd like to know because I still have not. My, my red pen, oh mate, it kind of shows but not brilliantly. I'm back, I'm back, found Hayley eventually. The shot me done it wrong. She was running around this way. Oh, did she go around this way? Where she's way, gone. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we've had a message and they look, who was it that loved the bracelet? Oh, everybody loves it. Everyone loves your bracelet. My bracelet, oh, it was a, it was a present from my best friend. Oh. Now, I need to warn you as well, it's halfway through May. Have you started your Christmas presents yet? Like your quilts and things? <laughs> Because no, this no, time last year, no, oh, I know. we there's were talking no, about no your quilts that you were there, making. There's no chance. No. <laughs> and how's your next dress pattern coming on? Is there another oh, one coming? My, oh, it's, it's, <coughs> it's out. Oh, it's out? It's out. It? Yeah. My, yes, my next one is out. It's on my website. And what is it? It's, well, it's, you know my apron pattern? Yeah. I've turned it into a dress. <coughs> oh, okay. Are you bringing it here? Uh, I'm hoping to, yes. Okay, we're, good. We're, it's been quite an expensive one to produce because there's two versions of the dress in one pattern. Oh, it's see. absolutely fantastic. You have to go and look. Um, so we're just we're just negotiating so that I can make it affordable oh, okay, to bring for everybody. No but yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah, I'm really really pleased with it actually. Excellent. Is it our Hannah saying is it our, is it our ultimate summer dress? It's the sort of thing that you can literally chuck on over a t-shirt or over a vest top, and you'll just be comfy and cool all day. And can you make it out of some posh fabric for the evening wear as well? You could do, you could do, absolutely. It's called the One Stop Apron Dress. There you go. Well, we might see it here soon. If not, um, go and see it well, on I'm, Catherine's I'm website. I'm hoping so, yes. Yes, it literally got delivered yesterday. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. exciting. It's very exciting. That's how you're going to feel when your book comes, isn't it? Oh, don't. <laughs> June the 19th. Yep, it's here, launching it here. No, Charlie, because they're still at the printers. Um, what, what? There's no photo on the cover, Hannah. In fact, Hannah, I don't think you get mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no, because it, it, clo it finishes. Oh, I don't want to tell you when it finishes. Yeah. Oh, I could write a whole book about you, Hannah. <laughs> be the Hannah said, oh, there'd be nothing interesting about me to write in the book. Blimey, there's five years worth of stories, aren't there? Is that there? book number two, Adventures, that is book with, number Adventures with Hannah? Yeah. Book number two is definitely on the cards. Um, oh, now, uh, Donna uses a chalk pen to mark her dark squares, like you've just done. Uh, Michelle says, I love the apron pattern as it protects all my clothes. And then Sue says, I met you at Festival of Quilts and after I chatted you the week before when you are in your hotel room for pavers. Oh, Susan, don't be telling everyone. We talked about my husband who worked in San Diego. I laughed my head up when you hadn't remembered. <laughs> Listen, I've got to just say, I do talk to about 100 people a week, do you know what I mean, on, in everyday life. So I do apologise, Susan. Anyway. Right, so we've got all our components Well, that was quick. Now. I know, I told you it was quick. Whiz it up. Well, you went off for about 10 minutes. No, it wasn't hardly <laughs> 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, so you've got all your little components like that. Yeah. And then we're going to put them together row by row. Right. And you can see on these bits uh, um, that you've got your extra for your yeah. quarter inches. So, but you've got no corners, there's no... There's hardly any matching to do. Which is good. So, um, yeah, so all you're watching with really is these, when you put them together, yeah. oh, you're yes, watching yes, your yeah. points. Yeah. But I've got a tip for that when we get to oh, it. Oh, Should I do that? I'm going to do the middle one first, okay. then I can tell you that. So, when you come to sew this, these, you want to make sure you sew it so that you don't go across your point. So, what I tend to do is pop a pin in so that the end of my pin actually touches where that point is so when uh, i'm sewing right, i've got yep. a visual guide to see that i'm not got can't go past that because if you go past it you'll cut the end you'll off cut your point, your point off it? and it's really irritating yeah. but that gives me like a little guideline and because sometimes sometimes you do these and it doesn't it comes out a bit less than a quarter of an inch and 
not enough to redo it, but enough to be just annoying. But if you do that, you can always do a slightly narrower seam because it's given you a little, yeah. a little guide to see what you're up to. Um, it sounds like they've got a Welsh <laughs> men's choir next door, doesn't it? We'll pop the quarter inch foot back on just to help us. No, no, Becky's over there. I'm pointing at the door next door. And, and sew it on this side so you can see your point rather than that side. Uh -huh. I would suggest. Ooh, I didn't like the sound of that, did you? Oh. It sounded crunchy. You know when it does, it just so if it does that and it just catches the end and wants to take it in, the best thing is to just start a little bit further forward. Yeah, and go backwards. Well, you can't go backwards really in patchwork. Oh, can you? Some, well, sometimes, it depends on your machines. Some patchwork settings, they won't let you reverse. Oh. Oh, they do. I think you took it by surprise. That's what it was. <laughs> yeah, now you can get white friction pens, yeah? Ah, oh, that's what I need then. Yeah. Oh, so I can't find the best thing for marking dark fabric. I didn't know there was a white friction pen. Yeah, I don't know how it work. We'll have to get some in and see how it works. Yeah. So, there we go. So we can see our nice point. And then it, ma it makes it, there's nothing, there is nothing more pleasing than when your points all work, is there Yeah, really? no, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I just gave Hayley my block and she went, did you make this? Like, I'm so sh incredulous that I can sew a straight line. <laughs> it's like you've done it before or something, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then she said, uh, and then she went, oh, you've used the wrong fabric. Anyway, um, <laughs> I've got to do an interview for some leaflet after the show. And the quest I brought the questions in. I was going to show them to Hannah, but we didn't have time because we were prepping. But um, I'll show you them later, Hannah. It's very funny. There we are. Yeah. So there's our central row with nice points. Now I liked I liked this block so much. Yeah. I did it with a group at the craft centre yesterday. Oh, did you? Um, and um, lots of the, them are not particularly experienced patchworkers, uh -huh. and they all got on really well with it and did a good job. Oh, brilliant! It is a, a really nice block. For and it's, uh, it's satisfying because it's a nice, big, bold block, isn't it? It is. I make lovely cushions. If you don't want to make a quilt, lovely cushions. Yes, you're not working with really tiny pieces. Yeah. Well, no, that's what's good because it's nothing more daunting if you start to quilt and there's lots and lots of tiny little pieces, aren't there? So just want to make sure when you're putting these rows together that you get your colours right. You don't accidentally rotate them. Oh, yes, that yes, yeah, yeah. It's easy to do. Mm. Very easy to do. Even just lifting it from a table to a machine, you can yes. twist it, can't you? Well, it's why it's good to always have them sort of laid out ready, so you just pick up a little bit at a time. Yeah. <laughs> Single figures on this quilt kit now, and how many people got in their baskets? 14 people got it in the basket. Hannah's having trouble with her words today, so Charlie is interpreting. <laughs> so when you come to press your rows, yeah. as you get them together, you want to alternate them, which I haven't, or I have. So make sure one's going outwards, one's going inwards. Yeah. Then the next one, when I put it together, I'll do Go outwards. outwards yeah. That will help you nest them together when you put them. Brilliant. Put the block together. Please, can you ask Catherine? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to do with today's show. Oh, okay. Please go ask Catherine what size uh, one stop apron dress will fit. Up to a size 26. It's the same kind of sizing as my apron and pinafore patterns. Right. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going home to uh, mock up my next one, which is a sundress. Oh, no stopping you now, is there? I know. I'm on a roll. 
That'll probably be out by the winter time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, Hannah? Oh, she's. Oh, what, what day is it? Friday doesn't do cooking on a Friday. What did you have for your tea yesterday from your boys' cookery class? Oh, we didn't have cooking this week. Oh. No. I'll tell you what, though, made some fantastic biscuits the other week. Well, it's uh, National Biscuit Day coming chocolate up soon. Chip, chocolate chip cookie and ginger biscuit. <gasps> oh, they were oh, so nice. Oh, they sound lovely. They were, they really were. They, he bought them, he did them while I was at Malvern, but they saved me one each and brought them down for me. Ah, uh, one? That's a bit mean, one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I know. Well, they were really nice. I've done, no, I have done it the right way. Okay, so I've got my seams going the yeah. right way. So now we can put those together and you can see that we've just got to match these seams here okay lovely won't they be are, are any of your kids doing o levels this year uh no they no next next year i've got one doing a levels and one doing gcse oh, mm, next year nice. i should be quite gray won't i by yeah. then but now i've got to i've got to respite this year good But they'll be finished for summer soon. When do they finish for summer? Uh, well, they've got to have half term. We've got we've got. Oh, it was a holiday before. We've the got end. one more week, and then we've got half term, which is over the jubilee. Oh right. And then I think they've only got about four or five weeks, and then they're off for the summer. Oh. Yeah. That's, that machine's not happy. <laughs> that was because I just went over a pin. By oh. <clears throat> ends obviously up. we're not going to have time to do the other block but we can talk through well, the other I block can't absolutely we absolutely talk through the other Brilliant. block because that's re it's even more <coughs> straightforward yeah. this is the one that had the most sort of bits oh yeah, yeah 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 I think I've not got it perfectly there I hadn't pinned it very well do what I haven't got it perfect oh. I haven't pinned it brilliantly that's okay you're doing a rush standing up. It's always harder standing up, it's true. Yeah. I think I think we all do pretty well considering. Do what? I think we all do pretty well oh, considering no, definitely. standing well, except up. Except Susie. I mean I'm on like a little step ladder on here anyway, yeah. pretty much. <laughs> Susie uh, Duncan, she sews standing up at home anyway. Does she? Yeah. No. I sit on the piano stool. Oh, <laughs> I've only got a very, very small area at home. Oh, okay. So the piano stool doubles up as my sewing. You've got room chair. for a piano, though. Well, yes, it's why there's not much room for sewing. <laughs> there's a piano. Honestly, this room, I have a little table with my sewing machine. There's the piano, there's a sofa, there's a big bookcase. I have a lot of books. Um, um, who plays sorts. the piano then? Um, well, I use. To. I haven't played for a long time oh. and the children can a little bit so how often does it actually is it just the dust no, it doesn't collector? get very played very much these days no. unfortunately mind you they're sentimental things aren't they pianos you wouldn't yeah, want to get well, rid of a piano my husband's my, my father-in-law gave it to us so oh no definitely yeah, can't then so it has to it has to stay if I had more time I'd sit and play I just don't have much time no. But my, ch my children all play instruments. Oh, do they? Yeah, so my eldest daughter plays the flute and my son plays the bassoon. Oh, yes. And my youngest daughter plays the clarinet. Wow. I went to see um, the Birmingham Philharmonic Orchestra oh. last week with Jane Greenoff. Was it last cool. week or the week before? And I've never been to anything like that before. The only thing I've had is on, when we did Hillary and Jackie the film, we obviously filmed different con concerts going on in the 60s and 70s. But <clears throat> we never played the whole one. They played a bit and they go, cut, cut, cut. We'll do this. Cut, cut, cut. So you only heard bits of it. It's incredible. I mean, a live orchestra. I love watching a live orchestra because... It's like the biggest example of teamwork yes, ever. Yes, yeah. It's amazing. <coughs> it? What, I, what I love is in theatre, before they let the audience into the auditorium, all the musicians have all done their warm-ups and everything like that, and they've all disappeared, so, or they've all gone and they're all not there. In this, we were let in, and we sat down, and there was one man came out, and he was like, 
tapping his drums and now it's a bassoon the one that's got a little thing like that and a great and big it's really big yes yes, yes. They, yes a boy came out or man came out with one of those and then someone else, and they just amble out as they fancy do in a little between. bit of warming and then, up and then they're all ready and the number one violin's a kind of boss isn't he yeah and then they're all ready and then the conductor comes up and they're all like and then the conductor says and they just start it's and it's amazing. just like oh my god and they can just make amazing. the most incredible sorry i've yeah. gone off on a tangent but they can do you know make what i like i like best is i like watching the percussionists because there's just they'll be waiting for ages and one will walk over here and he'll wait and then he'll do like one symbol and then he'll walk back oh. and do something else and it, it's just brilliant <laughs> oh no it was just it was just in, just incredible and then the, the soloist was a violinist and he came out and he's like, and, and what I love is that very informal about it. So when he wasn't playing, he was like moving in time to music. And then he put the thing up and then he just go, and he could make this violin make the most incredible yeah. sounds. And you just think that's, that is a gift. That is yeah. totally a gift. Anyway, oh, I don't like jazz. I don't like jazz. Right. right. So we've got a lovely block. Yep. So you see how nicely that's gone together. Yeah. Now you, then you've got your little B panels. Yeah. Now you, you get might, six of these. Yes, you might find that they are not exactly the size because they've been pre-cut. Right. They may not all be similar. Right. However, you are going to put uh, a border all the way around it, and I found on the lovely stripey. I found once I'd put my border around, it was I could make it. I could make so, it the well, right so size. So in the pattern, it says make that centre square a certain size. Yes. And they weren't all totally square, right, or weren't okay. all perfect. However, when I put on my sashing, yeah. the pattern tells you to put, put, <coughs> your sash, put your border on, trim it to 15 and a half inches. Right. And once I'd put my border on, I could do that. Oh, and it I would see. Work. Yes. It, so was, don't, it was big enough. So yeah. don't worry if you get your these panels and you think, oh, it's not exactly what the pattern says. Yeah. Because you're trimming it down, it will work. Brilliant. Yes. So they go on like this all the way around there. Yeah. You can see I haven't cut them exactly to no, size, no, no. but they go on like that. Yeah. But very easy and straightforward. Yeah. And then you've got sashing in between as well. Right. So this is really nice if you've not done sashing before. And these are using the lovely plaid. So we have, let's just pop that up there. So you've got your plaid strips and these lovely little yellow ones. So right. they go like that, and they go in between your blocks. Okay, now what's confusing me is your black square is bigger than your sashing. Oh, well, you see, now it, I, love, I love it when it does this. So you join these together in rows with a sashing in between like that. Right. And then this is one long strip that you made oh, to put in there. Oh, I see. So you've got... Your so little no sashing complicated you've made, corner. no complicated corner, a square, a sashing, a square, but it looks much trickier no, than no, it really no, no, is, it's I really think, clever isn't I it? I was sitting there thinking how she, oh she's going to have to do a, a corner or she's no. done a little corner of the black. Everything straight That's lines. That's so clever, so you literally, that block finishes there Yes. and your sashing goes, uh, goes across. very clever. So it's it's, yeah, it's yeah. a really nice pattern, isn't it? And then you just pop your borders on. Perfect. Good morning, John. both. What a lovely quilt. Yellow is happy colour. And John, I adore your shirt. It's my favourite one yet from Angela. Thank you, Angela. Thank you. Um, and, and then that this is just one big wide border, is it? Yes, it was. So we've got a narrow yellow, a narrow yeah. green, and then the big wide one, which because is out of that three, three metres. Three metres of fabric. Yes. Now the pattern does tell you to mitre the corners on right. that top one, which I have to admit I didn't do because I was because I'd not made the full size of the quilt. Oh, I was going to have yes. to work it all out, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I was a little pushed for time. That's fine. That's fine. But it looks so. I but I cut it so that the strips were all the same. Right. Yes. Oh, here we go. So every day somebody comes <laughs> in that's used to nick something. <laughs> Yesterday it was a table. Today it was a bunch of flowers. I know, they just come in, help themselves, walk out again. It's fantastic. Nothing yeah, <laughs> nothing sacred. Yeah, oh, do you know where the coffee is? Right, OK, let's go through the... That was pretty... Have you got anything else to say? Sorry. No, I, I think that that's it. The, no, no, that's it perfect. It really isn't a complicated no. quilt. But it's such a joyful... It's gorgeous Lovely fabric. colours. It is. It's brilliant colours. 
It's just, just fresh in spring, isn't it? It is fresh in spring, but then you can also, it's, it's not the seasons, so no. that you think, oh, I can only have it out in spring. That would look lovely. It'd be uplifting any time of year. If though, I had it? a garden room, I'd have it in a garden room. Yeah, have you not got one? No. Oh, you got a shed? <laughs> I've only got a very small house. <laughs> <laughs> well, where the piano room? Put it in the piano room. <laughs> right, bundle. Now, these have been very, very, very popular, these. More people have got this in baskets than we've got stock of, I'm afraid. So, you get the free pattern, first of all. That's free. That's not us being generous. It is a free pattern that goes with the fabric. But in your bundle, you get a metre and a half of your uh, yellow and black stripe. You get a metre of your plaid. You get uh, a metre of your green... Um, bumblebees half a meter of your green texture one meter of your yellow texture half a meter of your bees on yellow half a meter of your daisies on white half a meter of your solid black half a meter of your bumblebees on white half a meter of your daisies on black and then you get one two three four five six of the panels and you get three meters of your stripey all for 129.99. Quick question. Can the Henry Glass quilt use the quilt as you go method? Yeah, I think so. Hang on, let's work it out. Um, you, so you can make the block. You can certainly make the blocks and quilt them. It's when you get to your sashing bits. I suppose you could do it because you, you, cause you quilt a quilt as you go, a June Taylor quilt as you go. So you make this, this, sorry. And then you put your sashing on the front and then you do the, the bit where you put your sashing on, sew one over and then sew the underneath one. Yes. Then you'd have to quilt through that line. But yes, you could do. Yeah. Um, I don't know what would then happen when you put your borders on. Yeah, yeah. Would it work with the borders? I've never so You can do the centre quilt you go, but the borders won't work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, because you need the sashing in between to do the flicky flicky, don't you? That's the technical term. 129.99. Now there's too many people got them in baskets. If you definitely want it, please check out. The other option, four of these left now. Four of these left. Again, you get the free pattern. And you get the central panel on that one. Which is lovely, isn't it? There you get that central panel. Then you get half a metre of your solid black half a meter of your yellow texture half a meter of your bees on green half a meter of your plaid half a meter of your bumblebees on yellow half a meter of your yellow and black stripe a meter of your daisies on white and one and a half meters of your tossed beehives all of that plus your plus your free pattern for 69 like that, but there are only four left how many baskets 13 people got it in their baskets so some of nine of you are going to be disappointed. Anyway, oh, I've got the panel on its own. Tw oh, it's still 12 of these. There's still 12 of these. There you go. All the fabrics by the half meter of those that haven't sold out are on the uh, website under show deals. Oh, bees on cream, somebody wants to see, of course. Susie wants to see bees on cream, okay. That, that, that one. Uh, yep, yeah, this one. Susie wanted to see this one, so I'll have to hold it up for you, Susie. There you go. Got the very subtle honeycomb in the background. And then the bumbly bees. 7.49 for half a metre. This is where you're buying it off the roll. So if you want six metres, you can have six metres. <clears throat> What's the matter? Oh, one question before we go. Morning, Catherine and John. What is the size of each block, please? 15 and a half inches. No sooner asked than answered. <laughs> right, we're going for a break now. Um, Delphine's up after the break. So what are we doing with Delphine? This one, this one, this one. Oh. Right, this is a panel. This is a panel that you can do whatever you want with. Delphine's made a cushion out of it. Sadly, the doweling has sold out. We have no idea what it was for. And we've also got Delphine's bumblebee cushion back in stock as well. So we'll, thank you, Catherine. We'll see you in an hour. And we'll see you straight after this break. Mm -hmm. 
Join me on Friday, the 20th of May, for World E Day. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. I've been part of the Sewing Street family now for over a year and it's been the most incredible journey so far. Some of you may already know that I like all things sewing, anything from quilting to toy making, needle felting, and of course applique, which is my favorite. The best thing about being part of the show is being able to share with you my imagination and bringing you new ideas and new designs and patterns and seeing how you interpret those designs and make your own work and then sharing your images of those is the most rewarding part for me. I'm currently working on lots of new ideas and exciting projects that I cannot wait to bring to the show and share with you all. But in the meantime, take care everyone and happy sewing. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Delphine's here, say hello Delphine. Hello, 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 hello. Looking very bright lippy today. I know, I thought I'd 
Well, I've got all my bright nails and getting oh, in the yeah. holiday mode. Yeah. What are you doing? Clashing? Are you clashing? Massively colours? clashing. Yeah, yeah, you can tell. <laughs> oh, it's what's it? What's it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know Carol next door. Yeah. She wears lots of what's it called? Scamp and dude. Yeah, she wears lots of yeah. their dresses. Yeah, it's comfy. Yeah, yeah. And stylish though as well. Yeah, very. What, How I mean, are you, by the way? I'm not. I'm, I'm not bad. calling you stylish. Don't worry. I was going to say <laughs> you never call me stylish. <laughs> I'm not bad. Not bad. Oh, not bad. Uh, Do you have a nice holiday? Cause we're in Malvern, weren't we? Well, we're well, we at Malvern for a weekend which oh, okay. was really nice and then I popped into the quilt show yeah to, so and I saw some nice viewers so did you make did you make the um kids go as well yeah oh yeah they, they 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 peaked after about half an hour yeah yeah so but it was it was really sweet for them to actually be around everyone yeah, that, yeah, they, yeah. that they see on the telly oh and uh, so yeah it was and it was a gorgeous day oh nice you, it was a gorgeous really warm day and so we did that and then uh yeah and what was the funny picture yeah. of you and your little one there was a picture oh, on your Louis. face Oh, he's always, he just pulls silly faces. He, he's got the most gorgeous smile. Well, you know, you've, yeah, seen, yeah, you've met adorable, Louis a few times yeah. and he's, he's, he's so cute, but he, w he won't take a picture. So he's got a picture of me doing a selfie, like smiling, and then Louis's going like this. <laughs> it was such a lovely picture. <laughs> anyway, 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 brand new. Oh, no, let me show you the panel first. Brand new panel. Right. I've got, I, I, what I'm going to do is at the beginning, I'll go through everything that's for sale, right? Everything's for sale. And then I'll let Delphine get on with her demo because this is the main feature, but the, the, the Bumblebee cushions are back in stock as well. So let's just do this first of all. This is brand banking new. Oh, it's upside down. Brand spanking new panel. Now, you can do whatever you want with it. I mean, it's been designed, I think, to make a cushion, but you can make a wall hanging. You could do anything. So let me take you through it. So you've got this bit here, which is like your frame. Then in the middle there, you've got believe in yourself. You've got a sewing machine, uh, all your um, tools and utensils and everything. And you've got flowers. Then across the bottom, you've got she believed she could, so she did. But just to make it fair, we've also got they, if you want to do they believe, so they should. Now, Delphine was saying if you want to do he, you could cut something out, but I'll let her explain that one to you later. And then that's the back of your cushion, but look at the extra bumblebees across the bottom. All of this for $14.99. Now, there are no instructions. It's a panel, and you can do what you want with the panel. It's up to you. Delphine's going to make a cushion out of it, but you can do whatever you want with it, right? Say that again, Hannah, I can't hear you. Oh yeah, you could quilt it, embroider it, do whatever, there you go. I'll show you the real thing that Delphine's made in a second. Right, yeah, so this is what Delphine's already made with it. So as you can see, there's a, there are French knots, there's embroidery, there's a, there's a bit of a plique on there as well. Lovely, isn't it? Now it doesn't have to be a cushion, you can make a wall hanging. You could do whatever you want with it, it's up to you. There are no instructions with the panel. Fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Okay, right now, if you want a bundle of embroidery threads to go with, I'm going to put that back on the back shelf so you can see it. I can't hear you. Oh yeah, well I'll show you those in a second. Yeah, because Delphine's also done some hoops as well. Are they from the panel? Are they from another panel? No, they're from the panel. So you made the cushion. And the hoops. Uh, yeah, you might need to get two if you want to do both. Oh, that's what, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I've got embroidery threads here. This is the bundle. Are there a bundle? Yeah. This is the bundle here, £8.44. So there's a green, a gold, a pink, a variegated, a yellow, and a soft pink there. No, she's got her own. It's just arrived now. It was upstairs on the desk upstairs. £8.44. For those, right, I'll just show you these hoops as well then here that Delphine's done if you don't want to make a cushion. Now, just go to the website to get to the hoops, but look. They're all done with bits from the panel. These would be gorgeous, wouldn't they, for your, for your wall of your um, she shed or your sewing room or something like that. Oh, how's your... Um, Studio. It's nearly done, it's nearly when finished. When have we got the ribbon ready for me to come and cut it? Oh, it will be, after holiday, yeah. Oh yeah, Hannah doesn't know, you know the party that you've invited everyone to, to do the ribbon cutting? Yeah. Hannah's not invited, is she? Yes, yeah, she is. No, she's not. Oh, don't wind her up, that's mean. 
She got all upset the other day. Because I said, oh, yeah, you're not going to Delphine's party. She went, she's having a party. And I said, yeah, yeah, all the invites have gone out. She went, I have not had one. I went, oh, I don't think you were meant to be invited, Hannah. That's why. Oh, that's me. Oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> She got all stressed about it last night. I can't imagine you getting stressed about it on a Thursday night. Right, so that's the panel. That's the threads. Hoopies are available on the website. Things you might need to decorate it with are some um, really beautiful Gutem... Oh, I've got an overhead. Gutemann threads. Sheeny threads. Machine embroidery. And then two of them here, they're bobbin fills. What you do is you put the, the, uh, this fat, these threads on the top of your machine and you put bobbin fill on the bobbin so that you don't have too thick a lot of threads going across all the time. Okay, 44.99. We've also got these glittery, or they're called metallic threads. You can put these, we well, don't put them in the bobbin, no. Don't put them in your bobbin, you put your, any, a normal thread in your bobbin. Uh, I would advise a jean needle with a bigger hole for those because the friction of the thread going through the hole sometimes breaks it. $9.99. Now, I've also got, if you're going to do, this is kind of for this project, but for your root, for your sewing room, not just for this project. It's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, but pick, you get nine packets of needles. Right, so you get... Hang on, now I have to go them in my order. You get long darners, you get embroidery, you get tapestry, you get leather. Do what, what? Betweens and quilting, yeah, it's a good generation game. No cuddly toy. Milliners and straw. Uh, chenille. Did they have washing machines and tumble dryers on them? Sharps, they didn't on the ones I did, and then beading. Yeah, all of those needles for thirteen ninety nine, thirteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Now, as I said, um, Delphine's bumblebee cushions are back in stock. Mandy would like. Well, how big this cushion is? Mm. How big is that cushion? Uh, 19 inch square. The finished cushion is 19 yeah, inch? Yeah, yeah, I think so. She's looking bemused at me. I'll, I'll measure, measure this, I'll measure this. All right, you measure that one while yeah. I carry on with this one. Uh, that is beautiful, says Lisa. Right, so this is Bumblebee on pink. Now, we're not demoing these. I'll give you a date that we these were on. This is blush. So you get the panel and you get the instructions. 26th of May last year. Oh, a year ago. That's a really? year ago you did those, Delphine. Okay, where's that one? Uh, yours, oh, yours will make that, but yours will, be, yours will be pink. Yours will be pink. 18 and a half inches. Oh, uh, the cushion cover is 18 and a half inches. Then I'll show you the, um, that one that you just saw there, the mustard one. So again, this is exactly the same uh, instructions. The panel is just slightly different coloured. This is the mustard one. Most popular uh, always ever. Same, same day for your um, demonstration. 26th of May last year. Go to YouTube and see it being made. On the YouTube. And then this one here will be teal. Again, you get the instructions, plus your teal, there you go. Bumbly bee cushion with applique pieces. Gorgeous. But today's demo is all about, I'll just show you the panel again, it's all about this panel. Obviously I've got Bonderweb, which I'll sh show you in a minute. Yeah, yeah, we'll play it through and we'll use it. There you go. Right, Delphine, make me a cushion. Okie doke. Uh, Doesn't take oh, long. Okay. What? <laughs> Doesn't take long. Well, mm. well, you've got 45 minutes. Oh, lovely. So you can, can you take your that? time. Any questions you've got for Delphine, get them in. Oh, right, right then, where should we start? So, if you're going to do a cushion, just cut out your square. Uh, ignore that little stain down there. I'll just put my, my hand over What's it. What's the matter? I've got a bit of water on it. 
But I'm going to cover it up anyway okay, so you won't fine. see it. So yeah. you can just, I'll put my nails there instead. Apparently it's very hot in Cape Verde today. Someone's showing off. Oh. Who's going to Cape Verde? Well, so Charlie's going, oh, nice. but um, Anne's there at the moment. Oh, lovely. I'm right. going to Portugal next week. Are ne you? Next Sunday. Yeah. Are you? Half term. I yeah. met the in-laws when I was around your house. You did. No. I think they were a bit starstruck. Oh, were they? Yeah, they were just stood there grinning, weren't they? Yeah, I, I, I was going to say that they kind of... It, they were sweet. They were so sweet. They were so lovely. Oh, but they might be watching, actually. Oh, are they? Yeah. All right. You go walk. I can't remember the names. Ursula and Peter. Uh, how could I forget that? I love that name, Ursula. Ursula and Peter. Um, yeah, they came yeah. in. They put a bottle of wine in the fridge. They arrived at Delphine's house. Just put a bottle of wine straight in the Brilliant. fridge. That's what you have to do when you come to my house. Took their shoes off at the door. <laughs> I know, they do. They're and then funny. and then they were like planning, I'll oh, collect the kids, we'll do this, we'll yeah. do this. And Delphine yeah. and I just went out for lunch. <laughs> it was lovely, wasn't it? it was we'll have to really do it again soon. Yeah, Let me know when you're free. Cat wants to go next yeah, time. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm around next time. Oh, she won't be working here though. She won't be able to do lunch. Do you not know? Oh, Cat's leaving. Oh, I know. And going yeah, next door. I but know. she'll be working while we're having lunch. Oh, well, we'll have to have an evening. We'll have to do yeah. an evening meal as well. We'll have to do no, all of it. do lunch without cat. Well, if Anna can come. If she can of get course. an Uber. She couldn't get an Uber this morning. Oh, dear. I know. It was, bad. It was busy this morning. No, it was it? her card was... <laughs> her card was refused. Oh, really? <laughs> well, she only knew that. She, she couldn't get an Uber, so she made Steph order her one. Made, went, wake, woke him up. Ordered yeah. me an Uber. She came in here. She brought all her healthy breakfast. She went, I need the vending machine. Like this. So she oh, went to the vending dear. machine. She was like... And she's rejected her card. She suddenly realised it's her card. It was Uber's rejected her card. And, and oh, what a nightmare. I know. So Charlie lent her some money. And now he's going to drive... I don't know he's going to drive her to Redditch. But he's, he's going to He's a good egg, isn't he? Isn't he just? Yeah. Right, anyway, oh, let's make a cushion. Oh, OK. Yeah, OK. So, I've cut out the square. You right? What's the, what's the thought behind it? Is it a television screen? No, it's just like retro. Oh, retro, right. Isn't it, with all the different colours of televisions. <laughs> no, if you want it to be. Yeah, no. The, the thing is, with this project, it can be anything. Yeah. So, you know, it, it, that's what I mean. It's, it's quite nice for a little sewing room. And yeah, that's no, lovely. Little, okay, yeah. Okay. So, um, if you want to do it as a cushion, this is what I use. But you can do it as whatever way you like. But yeah. I quite like the little sewing machine. I thought it was quite sweet, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, well, I just sketched it out and I worked with Lou and she one of the graphics ladies and we came up with it. Lovely. So I've put some bond web on the back. I'm just going to do this one first because I want to cover up my stain. Okay. Now be so careful, you've got some flimsy bits on that. Yeah, but you, so you're so round and you're so No, 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 no. I'm just saying when you're ripping your, um, oh, when yeah. you're ripping your bond web off, just be careful because you've got your little spool there and everything. There we you? go. So I'll just pop Roll it. a bond web in the graphics now. That's the five metre roll, that one. So there we go. So I've already put a bit of... Um, H640 underneath here. Okay, quite, lovely. Because I quite like to have mine quilted. Okay. So I'll pop that on there and stick that down. So yeah, it was quite sweet when they came, when you were still there. They were, they were grinning for me to read. Oh. Yeah. But they've got good genes, haven't they? Because I don't want being rude, but they are <laughs> getting on in years, but you wouldn't know it yeah. to look at them at all, He's, would you? Oh, Pete. 82. Don't, don't, don't be giving his 82. age away. Yeah, but he, 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 he can still run. He can run. Oh, no, no. He look, they, they look fit. They both look very, very fit. Yeah, fit is a fiddle. Pair of them are. Um, Anna says, when you make it, you put your, your H640 on the back, but you put another piece of fabric behind it, or do you just quilt through that? I just quilt through it. Yeah. No, save your fabric. Who's going to see it? No one's going to yeah. see it, are they? Huh. Oh, it's that iron, I think. Yeah. Have you got it on cold? No, it's on max. Got Take water it off in steam. it. Oh. Yeah, because I don't, I don't use, I don't have water in my irons usually. I'm gonna yeah. have a look at it. There you go. I've got, I've got a spare one here. It's not hot. That's why. This one is there. All right, then use that one. <laughs> it's that one. That one's got lots of steam in it. Be careful. Yeah, I know. You won't be able to see. Oh, it's because it. it's not switched on at the wall. It was. Well, it's not. Uh, oh no. Anyway, I'll use that one. Use that one. There you go. That one's. I've used that one now. Nice and hot. Oh yes, you've not got a pressing mat underneath there, you're just signing straight onto a cutting mat. Oh, I do that all the time though. Yeah, but don't, because we're not... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Right. So I'm not at home now. I mean, no. I've, got, I've got to be good. Oh dear. Right, keep going. Yeah. Okay. No one noticed. So, so there's loads of different little bits on the on the panel. So what I, what I wanted to do was bring the outside and the sewing together. So I'm having um, my studio built at the moment in the garden, so I quite like the idea of the sewing and the 
and the nature coming together. So that's yeah. why I came up with this Well, there's not much nature. I was telling them all about your back garden the other day. Oh, <laughs> someone said, oh, I bet it was lovely. And I was like, it's not. no, no. no. The, the shed, the machine shed is going to be amazing. The garden. The house is gorgeous. And then the <laughs> garden's like a football pitch, isn't it's, it? It is a football pitch, my garden. Well, that's what it's because yeah. of having two boys. But, three. Um, three boys. Three boys. Oh, yeah, Nick. Oh, he's not very well. Oh, is he not? He's really poorly at home. So oh, I don't, no, he, he won't be watching. No, he won't be watching. He never watches. But, yeah, I've just spoke to him and he's gone back to bed. So oh, no. Hope you feel better have, have you poisoned him? No, I have not. Did you feed him last night? No. Oh. No, I was going to do one of his favourite dinners as well, but he, he came home from work feeling really poorly and he's, uh, oh. then he went upstairs and threw up. All right, thank you for that. Yeah. Sorry if you haven't your 11s. So, yeah, poor Nick. Poor Nick. Get well soon, Nick. Yeah, so, so that's what is the inspiration behind all the little right. flowers. So you've already got your little dial dial there, but you can make it pretty. Gorgeous. But you can use all these other little bits on the Yeah, yeah, because there's loads on the panel, isn't there? Yeah. So I'm going to cut out the saying, I think. So let me just put that one on there. Now, are you putting it back on its base? Because otherwise it won't heat up again. Yeah. Right, that's right. He's, ch he's checking on me now. No, it's not on the proper... Yeah, isn't it? Put, oh. Right. Sorry. No, no, don't apologise. I'm here to help. What are you doing then? I'm just going to cut my letters out quickly. It won't take me long. I can do this. Letters? Oh, you mean they, she believed she could, so she did? Yeah. Right, so you've done they. Yeah, if you want so to put, they, they believed they could, so they did. Yeah, or there's three different they's so if you wanted to do it for a he you just take the t and the h off okay oh i see yeah yeah no you've got to get rid of the y as well that's what you i want said the t, you should oh, the t and h. that's what i meant that's yeah so meant. you just take a middle square of it you lose the, the zigzaggy bit at the end yeah but yeah, you okay. can put it on a, you can mount it on another yeah. piece don't you all these what they're called now pronouns on uh, Glow, there's a, quite a few days on Glow. It's a new one, it's a new one. So I've watched Glow Up Ireland, and now I'm watching the new series of Glow Up in uh, UK. What are you watching? Have you not watched Glow Up? Oh, was that the makeup? It's like, like British Showbe or the cake making, but, but they makeup. do makeup, yeah. Yeah, I've seen yeah. the first series. Oh, is it on now? Yeah. Ooh. It's literally, uh, episode two was last night. Oh, was it? Yeah. What channel? Oh, what's it? Oh, BBC. Oh, just normal BBC. That. I've got it. I've got it on my um, repeat thing, so the, the skybox oh. automatically picks it up. Oh, I love that. I like looking at makeup tutorials. But you know so. what? The Irish one. Right. Well, I haven't seen it, so. But yeah. No, I won't tell you what it is, right? But the Irish one is presented by Maura Higgins, who was on Love Island, and I was like, oh, she's just got that job because she was on. She was brilliant. I want to say that here and now, she was such a brilliant natural you... presenter, right? And then she was so. I don't want to say sympathetic, empathetic, no, she was like really, really lovely to all the contestants and I thought this is why in this world you shouldn't judge, because you know I watched, loved her on Love Island yeah. but I kind of thought oh no she wouldn't be my friend right, I wanted to be my best friend after Glow Up Island, she was so <laughs> lovely, she was so friendly to them and so I don't know what the word is, but she was like a mother hen to all the, the contestants. Oh, that's nice. And it was so nice to see. So that's Glow Up Island, but now Glow Up UK has started again. So I can't so. imagine the pressure of doing some shows like that. No, no. Well, the days will be really, really long. You can imagine how long the days were. What, Han? Oh, oh there's, they're doing the new episodes of Love Island now. I never had. Do you watch Love Island then? I used to. I used to, but then I, did, I haven't seen the last one. Well, no, because they suddenly changed it to all these, like, children, didn't they? They're all, like, 18-year-old yeah. Twinkies and things, aren't they? <laughs> Is that the word? Twinkies. The word. I don't know, but whatever. I didn't, I didn't, you've dropped something. I didn't like, enjoy the second. I, I've only watched up to when the boxer went out with Molly May. That was the last one oh, I watched. Oh, I didn't watch it. Got a text. I like that bit. Got a text. In fact, when I went to Debbie Paver's house, right, Debbie Paver's house, who owns, you know, um, Paver's Shoes, it's the most exquisite house I've ever been in, right? And she's got this bit in the garden, there's a fire pit with the things right away. God, thanks! Everybody just like, looked at me, he's like, what's he going on about? <laughs> I thought it was quite funny. Yeah. 
I'll just quickly cut these out. It's quite sweet that all, all of the, the words are all in different designs. Yeah, so, when you, so when you actually sew around the zigzag you want, it looks a bit like lace. Oh, yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. But anyway, my get, get your writing in the right order. I know, I have to check the spelling as well. Imagine that. Wouldn't be the first time. Oh, no, the spelling's right. Yeah, the spelling's right. But, um, yeah, my garden's looking a bit better now because Urshan Pete came yesterday and I've got flowers in my pots and everything now. So oh, it nice. Is, it is looking a bit yeah, better. Yeah, it was the lawn that was a little bit... Oh, the lawn. It, like you say, it's a football pitch. Yeah. And, but hopefully, the, once the garden thing's been done, we'll get green thumb back and sort my garden out. I had to get green thumb in because I've got leather... What did I say? Leather jackets under my lawn. Which oh, yeah, I know what you mean. Baby, yeah. baby, baby that let daddy long legs is. Ugh. All, all, all eating the roots under the grass. Really? Yeah. Mm. It's fine, it's nature. I know, but creepy crawlers, isn't it? I tell you what's funny is I have to have gas. We're so remote, we don't have gas going to our village. We have to have tanks dug into our garden for gas and you have to have it delivered every so often. And the man that delivers it is this big, this great big butch. I don't know what nationality is, but he's... And it's a green thing in the lawn, and he lifts the top up, and I've, he opened the top up, and this great... It was like, ah! And I said, what's the matter? It was a spider. He said, there's oh. a spider in there. And this grey was so funny. I mean, the spider was about that big, I have to admit, but... Oh, I hate spiders. Oh, no, I'm co I can cope with spiders. No problem oh, with spiders. Oh, no, I can't do spiders. I don't like... When I was younger, so I obviously sleep with my mouth open, and I hate it when moths fly into your mouth. I thought you were going to tell me that you ate a spider then. No, 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 no. Ugh, ugh. But there's all sorts, when I lived in South Africa, there's all sorts of animals that you wake up and they're in your beds and everything. Ugh. Insecty things. Anyway. There we go. So Lovely. You, so you can play around with where you want to push them. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, you, don't have, you can make it right. You can put the sewing machine higher and the words yeah, low, or you so can put the words going around the edge or whatever, Or you can you? put them on a curve. You can do anything. Yeah. There. So the little fabric bit, I'll show you how I did that. So if you get your bond web, let me just cut a piece off. I can't. Uh, are you talking to me, Hannah? Okay, fine. Sorry, Hannah's to explain something to you. You carry on. Okay. That's right. Sorry, this is noisy. There. Sorry about that. It's all right. So, for the fabric bit that I did on the cushion there to make it look like fabric's coming on the sewing machine, if you get uh -huh. your bond web, but make sure it's the glue side up, so the rough side, and then rather than do it by eye, you can sort of draw where you want it to go directly onto your bond web. Right. Um, also, uh, just something that happened yesterday is whoever puts these these in, uh, who does your, who looks after your hours? Who's who's at the schedules upstairs? Hayley. Oh, Hayley. We need to ask them not to do this because it covers up. We couldn't see what you. And you can't remove it, so we have to get them to remove it because people are missing. So the, when the strip comes from the bottom saying you're watching Delphine and John, oh, if you're yeah. carrying on working, it's underneath the graphics and you can't see what you're doing. Oh, right, okay. So every time you change the graphics sometimes, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. So just draw it directly onto there and then there's yeah. a little bit, of, there's a little fabric piece, like a little gingham bit on the uh, panel. Right. Which I think works quite nicely. Lovely. And then you press it onto that. This one, look, my one on here looks like um, uh, like a bird diving without wings. But oh, there's yeah. his beak, his You've head. got a good imagination, but no, it's not. Well, no, I have to have. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll just cut that one out. But there's lots of different options for you could use just do a little bit of this on the cushion and then put all of like do little hoops of all of the scissors no yeah definitely definitely it get, will go a long way this yeah actually because you haven't you owed oh, the message oh john and lovely guests i'm enjoying a morning off work and haven't stopped laughing you're all brightening my day from jackie oh, and east sussex oh jackie thank you you're very more than welcome right okay so in that hoop there you've got believing yourself which isn't on here that I think, oh yes, you'd have, to do those, you'd have to yeah, have two panels, wouldn't you? But you could make that one without having this panel. But are there any more um, writings left over? Or is that no, the that's other one? No, that's the one. Yeah, so if you want to make three hoops, you would, uh, and the cushions, you'd have to buy two, two yeah, of the panels. Yeah, so that one. I'll so, put it on down there. So yeah, this one I just did 
Just put a B in the square on there. Hang on, is Charlie got that? There you go. There go you on. go. That's it. So on this one, it's just that there's, that's on the panel. And all I've done with that is put, uh, this is actually, this background is actually this. Oh, okay. So it's actually picked off some of the leaves here. Yeah. And then I've just done a little bit of embroidery on that one. That one, again, I've just put in some of the buttons and some of the Where's that? Is, oh, that's the back of the cushion. That's the back yeah, of the cushion, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. so you, can, you can make quite a few, actually, yeah. of these. And then I've just added, oh, a little bit of a thread there. And then just added some of the text there. So when you put them out, you'd actually put them, so if you hung them up like that, yeah so then it's all in the order then so she believed she could so she did believe in yourself oh. and then those on a wall will look really pretty but if you made the cushion you could make that one make this that one because you haven't used any of those on no. there have so you? that you could make the cushion that i'm doing now and this and that out of and one that, panel out of one yeah. panel and still do all of the sewing bits as well yeah, so yeah, you yeah, still definitely. be able to make yeah. make them just without the writing I'll add a few bees on and then I'll do a bit of sewing. Okay, lovely. Did you do it by machine or by hand? Uh, both. Okay. Michelle said, no, Michaela. Michaela says, good morning, John and Delphine, my two favourite people. Oh, that's oh, sweet, that's isn't nice. it? Nice. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. Oh, that would be, I'm surprised you're not, oh, you can't, you don't sit on them anymore in the Different studio. Different stool. Yeah. Yeah. So it stops all my cushions getting flat now. Yeah, it? well, they take you take them, they take them away from us. They put, they've all filed and everything now. I oh, know it's all posh. It's isn't very it? organised now. This morning, I went to find a sample. Oh, Jenny Jackson sample, all filed, all dated, and everything. Ooh. But couldn't find your um your, one of those, so that must be somewhere else. No, that was on the sofa in the old studio. Yeah, that could still be there. If possibly. Okay. Found your um dragonfly. We've got your dragonfly oh, here. Oh, yeah. That was a while ago as well. Yeah. Well, you've been you're, you're a veteran now, aren't you? Mm. Well, how long has yeah. Saints Street been going? So you were right from the beginning, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. Two and a bit years. My first show was the 13th of March, 2020. Oh, OK. So just over two years. Yeah, because I remember it was Friday the 13th. Oh. Yeah. I was really worried. I've never been so nervous in my life. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I'm still getting now. nervous now. <laughs> oh, I do. Do you? Oh, yeah. You don't um, get nervous. No, anything, but not coming you? in here, I get nervous. I, I, we were saying the other day, I'm quite shy underneath it all. So, oh. and people don't believe that. But I love coming in here because I, I know I can do it. But put me out of my comfort zone and I'm yeah. rubbish. No, it is, it is nerve wracking, though, isn't it? There you go. Because you're always worrying in case like, people don't like your stuff. Oh, or me, <laughs> or they don't like you. Or you, yeah. I'm like, oh, oh I'm not watching her. Oh. Or when they go. see you make, make mistakes like that. Well, because it's not straight. No, that doesn't <laughs> matter. There we go. Right then. So what I want to do is just, I'm just going to sew round this little sew bit. So I went round everything with a little blanket stitch. Right. But if you want to use a zigzag stitch, satin stitch, straight stitch, free motion, you can do anything. There's no rules to anything like this. So I just want to, in fact, that just needs a little bit of, I'm going to decorate it oh, a little bit. It's going to bling it up a little bit. And those metallic threads as well, if you use like the, the, the coppery ones would look really pretty. That one or that one? Well, both, but I really like the copper one in that, in oh. there. The small packet. Uh, are you going to bring in the web image? Okay. Yeah. What are you doing? Nothing. Charlie's just, he's only been here. He's getting a bit cocky today. <laughs> and then you can put your bees. Yeah. There we go. What's the matter, Charlie? Yeah. Okay, thank you. There we go. So I'm going to have them just, one can be there in the flowers. And then the one that's flying. There we oh, go. you're right. You okay, you've gone quiet. No, I'm just watching the master at work. I'm watching the telly behind you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
How are you though, John? How are you keeping? <laughs> oh, Janice did that one. What's that? <laughs> when Janice was on one day, we were just sitting there working and going a bit quiet. Trip. Did you like, have you enjoyed Game of Thrones? Have you ever watched it? That was like, from nowhere, it just came out of nowhere. Oh, we always you? have a laugh about it. Lovely Janice. Uh, yes, anyway, um, yeah, good, good. Um, I wish it was a bit sunnier because I've got all my lovely garden furniture and I keep putting it out and oh, it starts no. raining. I've been sat now, is it? Yeah, no? this year. In fact, once. Once. I did one after, well, yeah. two afternoons I've done mine. Two afternoons. I know because I saw, I saw your leg shot. Yeah, and the cat. It was meant to be the cat, not just my leg. No, it wasn't. You were showing off your legs really, weren't you? Oh, here we go. Statuesque Colin is in the building. It is B-Day. Have you got your costume on, Colin? Yeah, it is B double E. Not like a commode. Is he what? Oh yeah. Oh hang on, you got just done the bit the wing. The wings just oh, got caught up. Oh. Yeah. Put that one there. People are loving their bees, Colin. Yeah. It can be a cushion, it can be a wall hanging, be everything you want it to be. This is a cushion, Colin. And you can make it into a little um, table setting. You can make it into a wall hanging. Embroidery. Embroidery. Art. Heart. What? Art. Thing. Art. Embroidery art. Yeah, embroidery art. Um, what am I doing? There we go. Colin, can you find out where the coffee's gone? This what? Yeah, you've got your own, but the coffee, somebody's nicked the coffee from our coffee area. Our guests can't have coffee. That's all right, Colin. Thank you. It was there this morning. Somebody's been and nicked it and brought it, you know. Hasn't he been away? Has Colin been away? Did you have a nice time? Oh, you're on holiday, not not working. I thought you'd gone off on a buying trip. Oh, okay. You're right then, Kathleen. Yeah, I was just. Uh, um, it got knocked as I picked the sewing machine up on the. Oh, bench. okay, right. So it unthreaded itself. So I've just. There we go. It's a big reel of thread you got on there. It is. Well, I used it to fill my bobbin because this machine can take it, but I've just realised I want to do it in a different colour. Oh, okay. Way. While you do that, I'm just going to go through seconds. the panel again, just tell you about the panel. Right, here we go. Panel. There are no instructions. There's just the panel. Yeah, I've got it. So look, you've got the frame on this side. It's all retro colours. The frame on this side. You've got the sewing machine and your fabric and you believe in yourself there. You've got flowers, you've got scissors, you've got French chalk, you've got buttons and everything like that. Then across the bottom you've got she believed she could, so she did. Or they believed they could, so they did. And then this bit here is your back, if you're going to use it as a cushion, that's your back of your cushion. And then you've got extra bumblebees there you can have to applique all over the project. So it's $14.99, brilliant price for a panel like that. Uh, but there's no instructions, it's up to you to do what you want with it. You ready to go? I am. Ready so to go. Start sewing to the sewing machine. There we go. Let me just let me sew this one. So what stitch are you doing? I'm using the blanket stitch and I've shortened the stitch slightly. Right. So I'll just go around a couple and then I'll show you how I did a bit of the detail for the okay. bees. And how so you've got 8640 behind. Yep. I quite like the blanket stitch with this because it's the retro look. It gives it that handmade. Yeah, definitely. Look. I mean, you could do it by hand as well, couldn't you? Oh, yeah. It would look really nice by hand, actually. You what? Look really nice by hand as long as somebody's got the patience to do it. Yeah, but some people don't like to use the machine, just like to sit down with it on their knee, don't they, and just have a watch a bit of afternoon telly. So I've just sewn round one with a, a little blanket stitch, so just keeping that one just nice. Oh, hang and on, simple. let's just have a look at that. Just pull it into shot. Oh okay. yeah. There you go, brilliant. There you go. Ignore that corner. In yeah. fact, it's not the straightest of sewing. Oh well, never mind. Well, yeah, but then you can embellish it with French knots or beads or anything, That's couldn't you? That's the beauty of embellishing, so you can cover, yeah. you can cover it all that. So I'll just do one line of this to show by going around the blanket stitch like this, it makes it look, gives it a really nice texture. 
And then I'll show you how I do, because I've done a mixture of... Col Colin's just said, this is my big boss, right? If you made this for John, you'd write buzz off on it. <laughs> That's nice, isn't it? <laughs> unbelievably fantastic project from... Unbelievably fantastic project from Dream, but be busy, be off, John. <laughs> just write your emails in to colin.boss. Yeah, you, yeah, that's his name. He's going off now to buy some bee, bee cakes to make up for it all. Fourteen ninety nine. Has he got his bee t-shirt on? No. I thought he'd have a little rainbow t-shirt on today. We'd be happy on it. Well, there he goes. Oh, no, he's just strolled past outside. Could this be mounted uh, on a canvas, says Sally? Of course it could. Yeah. But you wouldn't put any H6, uh, H640 on it, you'd just do it on the fabric. I don't know how you'd stretch a canvas. Yeah, you'd just put it. What I would do is, if I was going to put I'd put it on another piece of fabric behind it. Right. And then I'd stretch it. Right. But no H640? No, it, no. No, you would, no, no, just straight onto a canvas. Yeah, it's, a, it's really nice for a sewing room. Isn't yeah. It? Whether it, you know, to put on your cushion behind your chair or to put on a little wall hanging you could make a bag out of it if you wanted to yeah or even if you're going to go to workshops make make a, um, a folder a block keeper yeah 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 actually it was a block keeper oh no that would i don't know how that would work actually ignore me message on the bottom lovely b day my poor bank balance is quite depleted says linda oh. yeah be poor b at the end so that's fine are you with the TSB. Does the TSB still exist? Y yes, I'm with TSB. Yeah. Oh, are you? Yeah, yeah. Don't tell us that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it was it was TSB. Then I went to Lloyd's TSB. Oh, uh, okay. I've been I've had the same bank account since I was 18, and my dad took me to the bank. And we opened my bank, it was, I was just before 18, and we opened my bank account and he put some money in it. I've never been so rich in my whole life. And he put some like 60 pounds in it, but it was like, I've got 60 pounds, I've got 60 pounds. Didn't last long. What are you doing now then? I'm going to show how I did the detail on the side. Brilliant, up the flowers here. Yeah, so, and then I'll go on and show you a bit of hand stitching as well. Brilliant, yeah, that's fine. So a bit of everything. Yeah. So. So have you sorted out Delphine classes yet? Uh, not yet. Um, have you sorted out the Delphine retreat spa yet? Working on that. Oh, excellent. That, that's, that's coming excellent. along. Excellent. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'll be, hopefully have some info for you by the end of next month. Oh, that's... <coughs> oh, my word. That's Possibly. Good, yeah. yeah, so that's, that's all coming along. Lovely. So hopefully someone will turn up. Of course they will. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, it's, um, I've got quite a few little pe bits and pieces on at the minute actually lovely but no I just wanted to get that my sewing room up and running that's the main thing and then I've, I've got more time to do stuff then yeah well you don't spend as much time tidying away at the end of the day do you oh hello hello, hello. what have you come to nick this time uh, come in come this is our friend rachel from dudley you know rachel and dudley that i tell you all about all the time right it's Haley's best friend are you coming in come on in hello you can walk across the front it's, are you coming around Come on, come on. Watch that trip over there, health and safety. This is gorgeous, Rachel. Hello. Now you look gorgeous at that wedding. Oh, thanks. Oh, your little Beautiful frilly top on and everything, yeah, all your thanks. makeup done and things. Thanks. I can't understand what she's saying, but you know. <laughs> I've known her, how, like how, many, how many years have I known <laughs> you now since we started Rocks and Co in London, wasn't it? Oh, gosh. That's frightening, no swearing. It's, it's frightening, world. isn't it? Oh, yeah. So you produce on Gems, don't you? Yes. And you yeah. normally produce Angelina, do you? Yes. Angeline. Angelina. Angeline, not Angelina. Yeah, she hates no, it. No, she hates it when you say that. Yeah. I know. <laughs> she gets a lot of messages, Angelica. Oh, no, it's not Angelica, but, no. you know. No, she, yeah. but she was in the Daily Mail, wasn't she? About, oh, yeah. I, I, I know. She, she's got this new diet system, hasn't she? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> are, you, are we going to do it? What are you We're making Delph This is Delphine, by the way. Hello. She's making oh, this. It's oh, lovely, oh, my mum's probably watching this. She watches it every day. Oh, does oh. she? She wave. Oh. What's your mum called? <laughs> Elizabeth. Elizabeth. <laughs> Can you understand what she's saying, Elizabeth? <laughs> anyway, go on. Go on. <laughs> what are you coming in here for? Um, I'm doing Distello. Like, oh, you're doing Distello I'm with Hattie? Right. Yeah, that's fine. So that's on Gems. What time are you on? Uh, Distello, one o'clock. 
One o'clock, Distello. She watched them <laughs> after we finished, yeah? Thanks, Rachel. She's gorgeous, Rachel. She's so... We went to Cherry's wedding together and we had such a good time. She had this lovely little gold dress on with little straps. Oh, she looked lovely. Anyway, oh, that's her falling over with the rail. Sorry, Delphine. Oh, sorry. Yeah, she's, she sounds just like Hayley. They sound no, no, they're, they're, they're in school together. They so they, they grew up together, yeah, same, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. right. Here we so go. what foot have you got on your machine? I've got a free motion foot. Free motion foot. You drop your feed dogs. Drop your feed dogs. Right. And that's it. And have you changed your stitch length or anything or just left that I've as normal? I've left it because my machine's really clever and it knows that I'm doing it. Oh, okay. So. But well, even if you're doing it on a normal machine, you don't have to worry about that because you create the stitches, you don't you, by your stitches, movement? Yeah. yeah. So just keep the speed nice and consistent. Try and keep, you know, nice and calm. Try not to hunch yeah, your shoulders. Yeah, don't do it standing up. And don't do it standing up, no. Make sure you look where you, what you're doing. Have you got a lovely chair for your... Um... Oh, you want to see me chair? You like me chair? Oh, will I? Oh, yeah, it's... Um, it's like a pink velvet. Right. Oh yeah. And the bottom of it's like a got like gold legs. Oh. Don't have that face. No, no, I'm just trying to, because I, I thought you'd have one on wheels so you could wheel around. But it has, it's got wheels. Oh, it's got wheels on it as well. It's adjustable as well. It's adjustable pink velvet. Where have you got that chair? from? You're allowed to say. Uh, I need to know. Not only, it's going to do some nice things. In fact, I had my dispatch email today. Oh, it's on its way. It's on its way, <gasps> yeah. So we oh, have to yeah. pink ribbon then to cut the cut. We'll have to be pink. Even yeah. I'm not really a pinky person. No. Well, Even though, she says we're pink well, lipstick, pink nails. Yeah, I'm more, well, my favourite colour is green. Oh yeah, but that wouldn't work in no. lipstick, would it? No, it wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be really, I want it to be, I don't want it to look like a sewing room. No. I want it to be more of like a pretty... Boudoir. Boudoir, yeah. Oh. That's the look I'm going for. But I am going to have my little hoops on, because I'm going to have a hoop wall. Right. You know, with embroidery hoops. Yeah, yeah, all yeah. all different sizes. Of like, so say if I have some of my favourite fabrics and stuff, I'm going to make a... That's going to be my You're going to have a telly in there? No. Oh, are you going to watch us then when you're I'm watching? I'm watching on my iPad. Oh, OK. Uh, I'm, I've got to have an Alexa in there, though, because I have... Um, Sorry, I'll just yeah, that's right. people's I'll Alexa. say everyone's Alexa's <laughs> off. Everyone's yeah. Alexa's off. Because uh, of my audio books. I have to have an audio book on. Oh, okay. Oh. But, oh, yeah, I'll watch you, John. All right, then, that's fine. Right, go and do some um, in free motion embroidery. Yeah, I'm only going to do a bit. I'm, I, I didn't overdo it on this. No, I, I can see, yeah. I only did yeah. a little bit. Oh. oh. That didn't sound healthy. It didn't. Morning to you both, says Karen from Wigan. This panel will make a lovely block keeper. Oh, we just said that. So, I don't think Janice is coming back in. Nothing to do with us. I think she decided, I don't know, I haven't found out yet. But oh, no. I think, yeah, she works full time, doesn't she, during the week and everything. She's having a few health issues. So I was gonna message her this week to, fi to find out. But um, I don't think she's coming back, Janice. I mean, we'll try and get her back the odd occasion. You know what I mean? Uh, Lulu says, morning all. I've had a lovely time this morning watching the demos. All in all, this week as a whole, Sewing Street has been my favourite. Thank you. Oh, Lynn to it says, Delphine, how could anybody not like your makes? Oh, that's nice, isn't thank it? Thank you, that's very nice. Um, Gemma, it's my birthday today. Can you give me a shout out? Happy birthday, Gemma. In fact, you messaged me the other day, didn't you? And I said, remind me on the morning. So happy birthday, Gemma, just so well you did. Everyone saying happy birthday in the gallery. Charlie and Hannah sending you lots of love. Charlie's very free with his love. Why have we got funny graphics? Okay, that's right, there you go. Oh, sorry, yeah. Step back. I'm, I'm taking a step back. Huh? I don't know. Did you say Tommy to take a step back? Fourteen ninety nine. Oh, back now. Step back. Step forward. That's Delphine's in the next hour. In her next hour, by the way. I've also done a little bit of detail for the bees. I used yellow on that, but I'll just keep it as green. Yeah. So I've got to change the colour. If green's your favourite colour, yeah. I don't think I've seen you do many green projects, have you? Like, uh, you've got the teal in the back of your bumblebee, but I wouldn't, if somebody said to me, what colour does Delphine work in? I don't, wouldn't say green. I wouldn't jump green. Really? Yeah. Oh, I love think green. about it. I know you love it, but... Yeah. Think, well, no, not think about it. Think about your projects and how many have got green in them. That's a good point, actually. Yeah. I tend to do a lot of purples. Yeah. That's like your spiritual side, well. you see. 
Green and purple look nice together, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, they do. Yeah. yeah, do look nice together. I think I've got a sticky label on the bottom of me bobbin, uh, me reel of thread. That's why it's. Pretty. Oh, is that to keep catching? Yeah, but it's, it's all right. I've made do. Yeah. So, so it's by using a little bit, you could do this by hand, of course, as well. So I just did a little like where the bees fly in. Oh. You know, just a bit of grass. I wonder what, wonder what you call that. I called it the vapor trail earlier, but. Do I think they actually leak to give me a life? Because everyone automatically does that, don't they? Draw yeah. a little line where they've been. But I wonder if they actually leave a trail of anything behind them. I don't, I don't know. Oh. Maybe some pollen that might have fell off. Oh, up. yeah. Because they get covered in it, don't they? Yeah, that's what they do, though, isn't it? They get completely yeah. covered in it. Cross pollination and all that. If, if we didn't have bees, we wouldn't be here. It's as simple as that. It really is, yeah. yeah. It's, ridi it's not ridiculous, it's incredible, isn't it? That we, the whole of mankind, if there weren't bees around, then we wouldn't be, wouldn't be alive. It's just incredible. What are you doing now? I'm going to do a bit of hand stitching Oh, lovely. Now. So I'll show you what I did on my... So on this, I did this on both the cushion Here, and... Oh, oh, oh you can do that one, okay. That That's right. One. It's easier to show that one. So... Don't, oh my God, I've got, it's messy at the back. Well, who's going to look at the back? Well, no. So I haven't, like I said, I only did these last night, so I was still stood there sewing it about nine o'clock last night. I just came up with the idea and I thought, oh, that'll look really pretty. Oh. And then when I, once I got going, I couldn't stop. So I've just, oh, that's the wrong green. Oh, well, I'll do a branch. Do it from there. What are you muttering about? Uh, oh yeah, sorry, I do, I do mutter, don't I? I do talk to myself quite a bit. So you just make little branches. So I'm just doing... Oh. Nothing Have you got anything behind that fabric? Or is it just the fabric? It's just the fabric. So just make sure it's nice and tight in your hoop. And then you just do straight stitches. And then if you get one and you just pull it across, there is a name for it, but I can't remember the name. And then it creates different shapes by pulling it. You see that? Is it a feather or one of those? Mm, it's no. not a feather. Is it a half a lazy daisy? No. No. It's, if it's you know at home what it's, it's called. It's got a name. It's, I've got it in my book at home. <laughs> what good is that? I know. It's in my book at home. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was just going all over the shop. Yeah, there. he didn't notice. So, yeah, you just pull it across. Oh, what's its name? So what me. is it? Tell us what you're doing and then someone at home will message in. So, all right, let me do it so on a blank space where you can right. see. So you do one straight stitch. Yeah. Like that. And then you come up from a different area, say about here. Yeah. And then obviously that's just straight and it's a bit boring. So you just pull it. Okay. Crow's foot. I don't know. Seagull footprint. No. What is it? I've, I did a whole embroidery using them. What's it called, everybody? Let me know oh. as soon as you can. So, yeah, just create your little branches. That, so, I did this both on the cushion and on these. It's what, Han? Branchy. That's not what it's called. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I will have a look in my uh, book when I get home if nobody mentions it. I think when somebody will mention it in a minute. Becky's looking it up now. <laughs> she, her face. <laughs> She's like, what? <laughs> there we are. So I'll just do a couple more and then I'll show you my French knots. You all right, John? I'm fine. I'm just watching. Do you want me yeah. to chat more, do you? People no, want me to shut up. No, just about when you, when you, you worry, quiet. Because I'm quiet. Yeah. I'm a very quiet person. <laughs> your your um, nail, look at your nails on my monitor. They look like... Uh, oh, yeah. On my monitor, I've got something a bit wrong with my monitor. And so some colours come up like explosive, like really, really vibrant. And Delphine's nails are coming up like really, really bright neon orange. They, it, they are quite bright, aren't they? What colour is it called? Neon. Oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've had my toes done as well. I'm all well, ready. Same colour. Yeah. Is it not a feather stitch, says uh, Karen. Anna says it's a feather stitch. It's what did I say? What was the first thing I you said? You said feather. I think you are right, actually. Uh, <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> I 
I, I Trudy. Oh, it's Trudel. Good morning, John Delphine and team. I'm loving all the items in this hour. Hint, hint, Becky. Don't you be going nicking things for your mum now. She only had time to do half her makeup this morning, Trudel. She's only got a foundation on. She's got nothing else on. You're very well, glad. Got clothes on. Isn't you she? think she's glam now? Have you Ooh. seen her Instagram page? No. Oh, I'll have to show you. Oh, I'll follow. I'll, oh, I'll you have, have to follow her. On yeah. Insta. She's got eyelashes this long on. Nothing wrong no. with that. No. Is there? <laughs> when it first came up, when it said she wants to be your friend, right? I looked at her. I thought, oh, it's one of those women going. I'm looking for love. I want a husband. I was about to block it. I realised. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Trudels. Trudels is a mum. How are you feeling today? Message on my bottom. It's, oh, it's a fly stitch. It's a fly stitch, says Angela in Milton Keynes. Oh, hang on, I've got some more here. Oh, no, I haven't. No, more feather stitches. Reva says it could be a herringbone variation. That's I think it's just something you've made up, isn't it? No, it's a herring, that's, I think that's it. It's the herringbone, I think. A herringbone variation. Only because I did a whole, um, it took me it took me months to finish yeah. um, of a Scotland scene and I used them to make tiny 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 little stitches like these to make um, fern trees oh wow the branches yeah. it, it's um, it's hanging on um, my the people who bought the house off I, I gifted it to them oh but yeah it took, it, took me, it took me forever to make that so I moved on now anyway to because there's so much noise going on no, today, it's busy isn't today. It? So French knots, but well, everyone's quite happy. I've done these before. It is a hive of activity. That's Hannah's first pun of the day. A hive of activity. <laughs> she's been waiting to get that one in. So she's, as I said, a word for the last hour, waiting for the chance to put it in. So, and then just dot a few of these around. It just, just make it look really pretty and gives it a little bit more texture, doesn't it? Gorgeous. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I've done. That's good, because we've grown out of time now. Lovely. Oh, you're doing a French knot? Yeah. I've done quite a few French knots. Oh, if I wasn't watching. I, I know thought, you weren't. Thought, I can't see from here, see? I thought you were doing feather stitch or fly stitch or herringbone stitch or whatever it's called. So your mum wants one of these. Make, put your order in. Can she sew? Can Trudel, can Trudel sew? Oh, can she? Oh, well, like Becky's looked at me and gone, can she sew? Crochet. Can she sew? She's a crocheter. And, and a knitter. Knitted. And she's got a sewing machine and everything. Oh. She's making oh. you a cardi. Oh, very nice. Oh. oh, bless her. Have we got a date for the She Shed completion? They, they said next week, but I'll take everything with a pinch of salt, so maybe the week after. But it's nearly done. It's nearly done. It's got to be painted and electrics to go in and maybe fix a leak on that picture you put up oh no, no. on that picture you put on facebook it looks like a there's little a, door. a little window <laughs> down there yeah. that i suddenly realized it was the sunshine coming through the yeah. thingy wasn't it uh very quickly tracy says i love delphine and her cushions just bought the panel such a lovely morning watching you delphine and catherine it's a nice treat for my birthday so oh, many birthdays birthday. Day. tracy happy birthday my love Trudel says she's fine. Hope you're okay. Well, I could be better, Trudel. Well, thanks, Anne. Anyway, have you finished? Yeah, I'm just... I'm going to round up then. <laughs> so, panel, make sure you check out on this. Loads of you in for this. So you get your frame, you get your sewing machine, you get your flowers, you get your words, you get your tartan, you get your back honeycomb, you get extra bees, you get the words at the bottom. No instructions. Do what you want with it for fourteen ninety nine. What's the matter, Han? A tote bag Hannah's making with it as a gift for for her. We finished that project now. That one goes away now. I will just put it there. Yeah, right to, then. Just oh, I need to take the cushion out of it anyway. Do you? Well, that's off my sofa. Okay, <laughs> fourteen ninety nine. Do you want me to do anything out? Oh, bond web, bond web, bond web. On the roll, if you're going to do lots of Delphine projects, this is what you need to do. Get the five metres on a roll. 30 centimetres in width, five metres long. 23.99. Don't keep it on the windowsill in the sunshine. Beautiful. 23 pounds and 99 pence. The mustard bee. 
Yeah, that's fine. Always sells out quickly. So this was um, a uh, well, what date was this one? I can't remember now. This one that was months and months and years ago. Twenty sixth of May a year ago. There you go. There's the three we've got actually. The finished uh, mustard, the finished pink, and the finished teal. I'm only going to show you the mustard because it's the most in demand today. There you go. So you get that and you get the instructions all for $19.99. Oh, yeah. uh, did you put organza on yours or organdy on did, something yeah. else? Yeah. We haven't got any of that today. Oh, no. Do you know what would be nice? You know the Crafter's, Compan uh, Crafters Companion vinyl? You could use a little bit of that, just a tiny little bit of that on it. No, we're not allowed to put it in unless it's in the Crafters Companion show, but it's on the website. It's on the website. Beautiful. Right, Delphine, thank you so much. Thanks very much. In an hour's time, you're going to be showing us, you've got a pattern for this quilt behind you and this cushion. All in one. So this and this all come from the same bundle. So yeah. you can make that and you can make that. And you'll have spare. And you'll spare. And instructions for all of it. Okay, now, if you're, if you're, at, ho uh, if you're at home thinking which one shall I buy, this is the one with the eight fat eights in it because that's the liberty one with the eight fat eights in it so you get white fabric you get gray fabric you get black fabric in both bundles this bundle here is the one where you need to buy where it's got eight liberty fat eights we've also got it in the yellow where you get four fat quarters but your bumblebees will all be yellow the bumblebees will all be yellow yeah. and black, won't yeah. they? Are you, what are you demoing in, that one or the yellow one? The other one. And the yellow one, so you'll see that in an hour's time. But Catherine's up after the break. We've got some brand new fabric. We've got the hexes, we've got the strips, we've got the fat quarters, and we've got the five inch squares. The hexes are going crazy. You're going crazy for the bee hexes. It's a brand new collection exclusive to us. We will see you here in four minutes from now. Join me on Friday, the 20th of May, for World Bee Day. Hello, my name is Mark Francis and I'm a guest designer right here on Sewing Street. Uh, you may have seen me before. I don't know whether anybody has maybe tuned into the Great British Sewing Bee, but I was there for Series 6 reaching the quarterfinals. I'm now here on Sewing Street on your screens bringing you my very favourite sewing patterns for men, women and children. Uh, for dressmaking and tailoring. Uh, so you can fill your stash and your collection with my very favourite fabrics and sewing patterns, including my very own range uh, right here, exclusive to Sewing Street. Something you may not know about me, now let's have a think. A lot of this has been covered on the sewing bee, but uh, I am a Blue Peter badge winner. I know, I know. I haven't worn it in a while. Slightly too old to get into Warwick Castle these days wearing it. But you never, I don't know, do I pass for 16? I don't know, possibly not anymore. Um, and I'm also, hence the piano, uh, a pianist I've been playing since the age of seven when my school teacher at the time taught me a little under duress from my mother because he thought I would be terrible. Turned out I wasn't, but there we go. Such is life, you never know until you give it a go. <gasps> Have I just invented a new catchphrase? I don't know. You never know until you give it a go. Caption across the screen, please. Thank you very much. So do join me popping up on your screens on here on Sewing Street to bring you my very favourite sewing patterns uh, and fabrics from across the range, including my very own uh, range of sewing patterns from So Mark Francis, um, including this very Turlo shirt. Um, more to come on a regular basis, so do keep tuned for that. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com 
or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Got brand new fabric, brand fat spanking new fabric now, uh, the exclusive to Sewing Street. Now, they're panels, right? I'm going to show you them all now. You can buy them all individually because you're running in for the hexy one totally. But you can, if you want them all, you can get them all, but you say $14.99, which means you get one for free. You get one for free, right? How much the stock's gone? Quarter of the stock has gone already on pre-order, $54.97, but you are saving $14.99. So I'm going to show you this one first because this is the most popular. This is the Hexi one. Now these are all available on their own and I will be taking you through them in a second, but we just want you to see the bundle first of all. So, look at these, they're beautiful. So this is the five inch square one. Sorry, I thought I was going to show the Hexi one. This is the five inch square one. So you've got all the different five inch squares. What threw me is I could only see these, you see. So I was thinking hexes. That's what I'm looking for. It's got a lovely vintage feel to it, hasn't it? How beautiful is that? It's called the Beekeeper's Cottage. So in this, you've got your hexes within. These are like um, these are like hexy frames on a wall, on an Edwardian wall, aren't they? Then you've got your little hexes there. You've got your uh, honeycomb there. Totally, as I said, totally and utterly exclusive to us. Gorgeous, isn't it, right? So that's your five inch square. That's your five inch square. Now I'll show you the hexy one, which is the one that's flying out. You remember you get all of these in the bundle. Here's the hexy one. So they are, there they are. They are two inch ones with a quarter of an inch seam allowance around them. Say, so, oh, that's, I love that one. So you, there's one with a thistle in it there. You got your button puppies. That one there, the honeycomb with the bees drawn on it there. Look at that lovely Cotswold Country Cottage. Then you've got, is that your dovecot? Is that a dovecot, that one there? See, it's a thing, isn't it? Or is it a, a very posh beehive? Uh, anyway, then we've got, aren't they beautiful? I wonder if Lou did these. They're stunning, aren't they? Oh, a little park bench. And you've got your bumbly... Oh, there, there's that little house again. Then you've got a, oh, a, a pavilion. Bee culture. Then you've got um, more bumbly bees there, more flowers. All different bees on here, aren't they? This is the one that's flying out the most. Remember, you're getting all of these in the bundle. All of these you get in the bundle. Colour scheme is stunning, isn't it? Right, now let's do the strips. This is always an enormous panel, this one. Look at these. So, you've got your Edwardian wallpaper. There's 18 strips on here. Edwardian wallpaper first in the taupe, in the soft green and the sage green. Then you've got your pink wasps. Then you've got your lovely little hexes. Hmm? Not wasps, bees same thing 
uh, honeycomb, bumbly bees. Yeah, they're different. That's a, they're honeybees, I think those, aren't they? Then you've got your honeycomb there. Then you've got your, your um, icons. But this is what I love here, right? You see these four here? Even though the strips are different colours, they've run the pattern continuously over them. So if you wanted to cut a square out of that, you've automatically got four different colours in the background, but your pattern isn't disturbed at all. Look at this one. That's the same again, look. So you've got the cream background, the pink background, the green background, and the sage background. That's lovely, isn't it? And let me hold it up to show you the size of this panel. Remember, you're getting all four of these in the bundle. Look, huge huge and then last but not least we've got the fat quarters remember exclusive to sewing street these are can't get them anywhere else at all look how beautiful are they so you've got your honeycomb you've got your hexes in lovely colors you've got your bees on pink and then you've got your like antique drawing down in the corner there so for your 54.97, you get all four of those and you're getting 14 pounds 97 off. There we go, look. You get all of that, all of that for your 54.97. Beautiful. Right, individually, let's do the hexes first then. And I will do the hexes first this time. Right, half the stock already is checked out of these, right? Half the stock has gone already. Now, this is the one you get for free. This must be the one you get for free. Look, if you buy the bundle, you get this one for free. Look, $14.99. Oh, my shirt's right creased today. $14.99. All the hexes in all the different colours. So when you buy the bundle, if you want all four, you need to use the bundle code. Don't put one of each individually in because you won't get the discount if you do that. Beautiful, that's that one. Then, which one would you like to do next, Ham? Small squares next. Small squares vary. Oh, five inch squares are always incredibly popular, aren't they? There you go, there's your five inch squares. I think that might be upside down. There you go. And they're lovely. Five inch squares they are. Four, oh, oh, it could be this one. You get free. One of these two you get free. $14.99. That iron's making a smell. Smell. Right here. Then the strips. That, that can't go over how big this one is, look. It's enormous. Absolutely enormous. At $19.99. The full Monty, that, isn't it? Strip, see what I did. <laughs> that was me doing the full Monty. Now, it's opening somewhere this week, isn't it? They're doing um, a big version of the full Monty on stage. Yeah. Right, and then this here is your four fat quarters. Enormous fat quarters they are, too. Now, aren't they lovely? They're gorgeous. What, now, as you notice, I'm on the wrong side of the set here, right? So to get us over to that side, we're just gonna play, because you won't see this after today, you won't see this. While Catherine comes here, uh, just watch this. Join me on Friday, the 20th of May, for World Bee Day. Seamless, seamless. Now, also, Becky, I tell you what I haven't got. I haven't got that little mini, um, panel that you get because I say it's there, it's there, it's here. Everybody who buys today while stocks last because it's uh, World B Day gets one of these. Doesn't matter what you buy while stocks last, everybody will get one of these. There's people staring in at us through the window. 
It's not a farm. It's not a farm. It's not a zoo. I don't know. It was a man with a beard. I thought it was Little Paul to start. So I waved. I thought, oh no, that's too tall for Little Paul. He's reaching the handles. <laughs> anyway, uh, bundle very quickly. Bundle right. So there's the the fat quarters, the strips, the five inch squares, and the hexes. You're thinking, what can I make out of this? Well, Catherine's been very busy this week. And she's made all of these for us today. So there's this lovely little storage pot. Gorgeous little storage pot there. That, that oh, thank you. That, that one's made out of the, obviously, the hexes. Oh, now that's clever. Could, no, no, that's not the hexes. That's the, the that's the fat quarter. That's the fat quarter. That's the fat quarter, yeah. Lined with the bees. I know I'm getting very confused with the hexes today. And it's got the um, honeycomb in the bottom there. We've also got a scissor keeper. Sweet little scissor keeper there. Now, is that one made with the hexes? Or is that one made yes, with the fat quarters? Yeah, yeah, look, that one's made with the hexes, but you've not cut them out. <laughs> so you, it looks like you've done, you know what I mean? Anyway, that's that one. Then you've got a um, block keeper. Ribbon is designer's own. Yeah. You could make a scrapbook with folk album. Okay. I'm just wondering what you used to put inside it. I put a piece of cardboard box inside. Oh, did you? It feels yeah. sturdier than that. And uh, she made this lovely pin cushion. Now, apparently, there's a secret behind this pin cushion, which she's going to tell you about later. And a sewing machine cover. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and put it on your sewing machine. There we go. That'll be best. The sewing machine cover. Look. There's no instructions. There's no instructions. Oh, there you go. Oh, you, you can just move your can out the way. <laughs> your tinny. <laughs> Uh, all that, all that Catherine made out of the ones that she was sent. Now, there's no instructions, there's no pat uh, there's no book or anything that goes with this, but you're going to show us... I'm going to show you how to make the scissor keeper and the pin cushion. The scissor keeper and the pin cushion. Yes. Right, half the stock of the Mega Bundle's gone already. I'm not surprised you're saving 14 no time. I'm not going to show you anything else. I'm not going to show you. We'll leave that in or whatever uh, Hannah wants to do. We're going to just show you how to make the scissor keeper and the pin cushion. Yeah. So, I just, I made sewing room things because I was thinking bees and sewing bees. Of course. So, but obviously, you can make absolutely anything you like, can't you? And do well. You could make absolutely anything. Yeah, you want Hannah's to going. She keep, she's made one pun and she keeps rep reply. She keeps repeating it now. Going, it's a hive of a hive of a hive of productivity. A hive of. <laughs> That's it. That's her joke, is it? So I'm going to start with the pin cushion. Right. You can make this absolutely any size you like. You just need two squares the same size. So I have made very big ones of these as bean bags. Oh, wow. For, my, uh, for the kids to sit on when they're watching telly and yeah. stuff. Well, they're not allowed on the furniture. No. <laughs> <laughs> so you, hubby and dog are allowed on the furniture. Oh, the dog isn't allowed on the furniture. Oh, is that not? Oh, is that no. Not? Oh, do you know what? We would. It's my husband. He's very strict. Oh. Yeah. We've, had, we've reached a terrible state of affairs in our house where my husband and I actually have to have separate irons. Why? Why? Well, he does all his own ironing because apparently I'm not very good at it. Yeah. And um, he get he likes a lot of steam in to get his shirts oh, nice and course, crisp. Oh, of course, yes. But when I'm ironing, I don't want any steam no. in it, else the interfacing won't stick and everything like that. And he and I tend to sew and then I'll iron something and I'll leave my iron on because yeah. I'm using it yeah. lots. And he comes in and he turns it off and it's like... Oh, no. So the other day I was getting mad because I hadn't turned it off and it was going to burn out. So in the end, I bought my own iron <laughs> that can be a dry iron and I can leave turned on because if I forget... It switches off. Because do do that, it switches itself yeah. off, yes. So, <laughs> oh so we have to have separate irons so in They're going house. on at Catherine's <laughs> I house. I know. So what are you doing, sorry? So I'm cutting two squares the same size i'm actually going to cut one of so i've done a six inch square because it's a little bit bigger to show you right um how big's the square th on this those one? ones were the ones from the square panels so oh they're, they're the, the five, five inch squares inch ones. Yeah. Uh, and i'm going to do two co two contrast ones because then again you'll see what i'm doing better so i have that one but yes, they because they will have the lovely little hexagons in the Inside middle. Inside them, that's they what confused me earlier. Really yeah. nice. 
Um, but you get these panels, you get so much fabric. There is so much you can do with them. Yeah. If I'd had enough to, I was very tempted because I thought it was so pretty. I was very tempted to make myself a garment, actually. I just oh, really? didn't have, quite have time. You might get that on the next one. Uh, uh, uh. And then I can wear the panels. Yeah. <laughs> See all those squares? You could make half a patchwork jacket, couldn't you? Well, they use we had, 96 we had squares. Done one fabric yesterday, and I was saying, oh, it's such a shame because I'd love to make a skirt out of this. And I said, you could make Catherine's um, yeah. fat quarter skirt out of this because you cut two panels out of everything, and it would have been, I can't remember what it was, it was a Moda fabric, I think, and it was just like, it was already cut, so you couldn't, you know, buy it off the bolt or anything. And then I thought, oh. your, your skirt would have been perfect oh. for that. Okay, and then what you need to do is you need to mark up your squares. Um, let's turn that round. They're all in halves. That's going to confuse me, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So you need to mark halfway on each side and also a little quarter inch in on the okay, corners. Okay, so dot at each corner, quarter an inch in and a quarter inch down, and a mark halfway across each of the lengths yes because then because this is going to help you line it all up and know where to sew see i'm thinking you buy these panels and you make everybody stuff for stuff for presents out of it jobs are good and yeah and nothing for yourself well you know what if you make something really nice you keep it anyway don't yeah, you don't make give something it to else for somebody else, else. <laughs> <laughs> i've still got um a cushion in <laughs> uh, and it's like all a plique of daffodils and um i did fabric painting and a plique it and i did it when i was at college um, and I, I was going to give it to a friend for his birthday and I finished it and I liked it so much he never got it. It's still, si still sitting in my room. That was when you were at college? That was when I was at university, <laughs> university. so that is years and years ago. <laughs> About 30 years ago. Does he ago. know? No. I just kept forgetting to give it to yeah. him. Yeah. <laughs> Too many lines on this, Rina. One, two, three. Uh -uh. There we go. So you can see I've marked them all round. Okay. Let's just move that handy little cover. So what's going to happen is a corner is going to go to a centre. Right. Pop a pin in to hold it, and you're going to stitch from the corner over to the centre. Uh, I'm using a quarter inch seam because that just works. And is the dot, do you stop at the dot? You stop at the dot, so it's just before the end. Right. I never ever have that pedal in the right place, do I? No. Ever. <laughs> it's got a life of its own. And I would just do a little reverse at at the dots when you stop just to reinforce it right and then you swivel round at that dot and you take that center and that corner over to the center so you're going to join it all the way round in this way uh, corners to centers uh, isn't it a biscornu is this called a biscornu has it got a special name i think it's called a biscornu isn't it Charlie will look it up in a minute. Okay. So, you can see you're starting to get a little shape yeah. forming. Oh, I like it when I discover things have special names. I, I might have got it wrong. Like I was, saw Rebecca Reed demoing something the other day and it was called snowballing and I didn't know it was oh, called yeah, snowballing. Oh yeah, where you do the corners of a yeah, thing. Yeah, I just didn't, I didn't know that. We all learn something new yeah, every day, don't, don't we? we? Right, as you can see, very straightforward. 
I just think it makes a really nice shape. Yeah, that's right, it's a bit score new. Because what you're doing is sewing by sewing from the halfway to the corner and from the corner to the halfway, you're creating an octagon, like a 3D octagon, and that's called a bis score new. Oh, how, how are you spelling that? B I S C O R N U. Bis corn U. Oh. I only know that because uh, Jane Greenoff, on her cross stitch, she makes a lot of those. Ah. Oh, she's back. Of course, we missed you. Steph said, morning John and everyone, great show today, I'm busy unpicking a lollipop flower that has gone a bit wonky on a cushion I'm making for a present. I'm not being helped by my cats Charlie and Toby who keep pestering me, happy bee day. Oh, and Margaret, this is from the last hour, Margaret says, the feather stitch is sometimes called a single coral, no, co coral stitch, coral stitch. Oh. So, yes, it is an octagon, isn't it? And geometry and maths aren't my best thing, John. Uh-huh. What, uh, Hannah, I don't understand what that is. Oh, right, okay. Okay. While Catherine's saying that, very quickly, people who are asking these from the first hour, these are sewing boxes that we bought in specially for today. This is the only little house that's left. It's got the roof on it there, the grey butterfly. Sorry, Catherine, I'm just going to do this very That's quickly. Right. I think that one's really cute. It's cute, isn't it? And you get mm. a free pair of little scissors, children's scissors with this one, in the shape of a bumbly bee. There you go, there's your little scissors. And then there's your uh, box inside. It's a lovely, good quality box, that magnetic clasp on the outside. The only one of the house shapes we've got left. Then... We've got the one with the big bumblebee on the top. Hannah's favourite. That's embroidered, look. That's embroidered on there. So there's your bumblebee. It's got a linen effect. Oh, there's only four left. So there's only four of these left. Again, you get your free pair of children's scissors in there. Worth $2.99. Oops. It's nice, isn't it? That's beautiful, that one. And then you've got your bumblebee around the side. There's only four left. There's only four, well, more, less than four now. And then we got told earlier what kind of bee this was, but can we remember? So you got your bumbly bee on the top. Look at that beautiful. I don't think it's, I don't think it's real because I don't think real bumblebees have flowers on their bees, on their wings. But again, you get the lovely box, 27 99 three pair of scissors. Nice sturdy box there. At 27 99 the floor. And remember, everyone who buys today while stocks last, you get one of these panels. Only today. Only for today. Right. Moving on. Sorry, Catherine. That's all right. I so I've got all. Oh, you finished round. it? Well, not quite. I've left one edge open. Uh huh. Turned it round, and I'm just putting some stuffing in to make uh -huh. it very firm. And then you can hand stitch that little bit close. It's a very quick and easy way, but it is. I just think a, a nice shape and a nice design. When I made the very with well, the big ones at home, I made them out of, um, you know, you get sample books of mm. curtain fabrics. Yeah. So I sort of patched work them, patchworked them together uh -huh. to make big sizes. Uh, and you could use like your if you wanted to make bigger cushions like it, make use your fat. I've got quarters. actually, I've got two cushions that Crazy Lorraine made for me out of like sari fabric, but they're that shape. Yeah. They're exactly that shape. So obviously you st stuff it out really well so you can really see that shape. Also, then it's nice for your for your pins. Yeah. Everyone needs a pin cushion or multiple pin cushions, don't you? Yeah, absolutely, because you never find the one. It's like your glasses. You can never find them, can you? <laughs> no. One can never find them, not you. It's my phone. I spend hours looking for my phone. Oh, really? Yeah. I think the case is like, it camouflages itself. I'm always, I better just put it down and wander off. Yeah. Okay. So there you go. Fabulous. Side side. I'm not going to hand stitch. No, 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 no. Okay. So just a really nice, quick and easy make. Excellent. Okay. So the scissor keeper. So this is a scissor keeper of my own invention. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fine. For your big scissors. Yeah. But you could, again, you could make it any size of you course. like. Of um, course. So this one, sorry. Um, is 
I've got my pinking shears. Oh, okay, ready. ready. I have cut. So I've started with a big rectangle. Right. I don't actually want that to stick yet. And I've just popped my scissors on. Oh, I see. And then I've gone, oh, I'm going to do this to make the little point. Right. And I'm going to keep it this long so that it's plenty to fold over. But obviously, it is quite wide. Yeah. So I'm going to chop them off. But I'm actually going to, I'm going to just put them together so I do them both the same. So this right. is a lining and an outer. Oh, okay. Right. Because you want it nice and beautiful, don't you? Mm-hmm. So you can use whatever scissors, size scissors you like, yeah, and and make it work like that. So I think we'll have it a little bit, a little bit narrow. So I'm going to chop off kind of four inches or okay. so. Scissors are in the box. Oh no, you use yeah, no, I'm going to use my rotary cutter since it's on the mat. That will make it a little. I can do the same each side. Then okay. I can use my mat to get it equal. Yeah, I think there we'll go there. So when you've done that, it then is a slightly different shape, you see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's the matter, Han? Yeah. Oh, yeah, all the, all the panels are available if you want to buy them on their own at the moment. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. And, and also there are a stock of the little free panel as well. So I'm going to cut myself a piece of wadding just to match as well. And then... A wadding got that... Back in stock. Have we got that somewhere. Is that this hour or the next hour? That's the next hour. We'll do we'll it here. I've got it here. This is really nice. It's sort of, you can see it's almost like sticking before I've stuck it. Yeah. So it's this awesome. is your 80 20 at 6.99 by the half meter. You buy it off the roll by the half meter. It's lovely and wide. It's lovely and soft as well. Look. Look how wide it is. So you have it for your stash. Or you buy it, put the, oh, buy it for a particular quilt if you're doing it, you buy exactly the right amount. You've been waiting for it because it comes into stock and it goes out of stock. Six ninety nine. that potting is. Right, so you've got your T shape. So I've got my T shape. I am going to attach what have you lost now? Oh, yeah, it's after the I told you to move your tinny. My old 505. Yeah, now we've Just got two. 505 in the big tin. I, I would, I'd recommend a big one. If you do a lot, a yeah. big one's going to be the best, isn't it? It's double the size and you're saving a bit of money because they're 7 99 which make you 16 pounds. We're, obviously, we're using a little one that's already open, but this is one you'll, you get for 13 99 Oh, that's a bargain. Yeah. Right, in a, in a ventilated, well ventilated space. Yes, I didn't put a lot on. <laughs> there, spray your onto your wadding. And I bet was tried to be very careful so I didn't get it all over the cutting mat. Yes, Normally, please. Put, put, yes. I would recommend you put some newspaper or scrap fabric down underneath there, but as uh -huh. you can see, it's going to hold that beautifully flat. So now I can add some quilting lines to it. And with these, you can. Um, what are the on the little? Oh, on the little storage basket. Yeah. I kind of went between the hexagons. Oh, on your quilting. You've got nice bits to follow. Yeah, lovely. To make nice, uh, nice designs without mm -hmm. it being terrifically complicated. Yeah. So we'll just add. I'll, I'll just do some straight lines on this today. So just your fabric and your wadding. You've got nothing else in there. It's just one layer of fabric it's, and the wadding. It is. Yes. Yeah. Let's make it a bit longer. I like a slightly longer stitch for uh -huh. quilting. But we'll just do some, some rows. Which are blue. It's perhaps not the colour I would have chosen, but it uh -huh. would be all right. Right, while you're doing that, I'm just going to choose a, um, a bundle that Haley's put together for you. 
Okay, the pink looks completely different on the website to it is in real life. And it's also a different pink to the pink on the bundle. Just saying, I'm not being negative or awkward, I'm just telling you. So, uh, here's, the, here's the fabric that you're buying. This is the, this is the bundle that they've put together for you. So you get half a meter of corn, is it? Oh, don't worry. Half a meter of your very soft pink. Half a meter of your vanilla. I'm thinking that's vanilla anyway. And half a meter of your misty blue. Oh, it's cream and half a meter of your misty blue. Yeah. Corn, pink, vanilla. No, not vanilla, cream and misty blue. Misty blue, which is green. Okay, let me just open out one of these panels. You can see them together. There you go. So you're just getting that, you just get a two metres of fabric there for fourteen ninety-nine. Back to the sewing machine. So you're just doing straight lines on this one? I'm just doing some straight lines just to be quick, but obviously you can do whatever you like. Yeah. It would be really nice that um You've got such nice shapes on these fabrics. Um, hand quilting on them would be oh, lovely. Oh, yeah. To like hand stitch round some of these hexagons or the bees, you could embroider on yeah. them. There's just, just endless possibilities, aren't there? Yeah. So I have, I'm only quilting one side. Right. Not the other, not the lining. Okay, and then we can start to put it together. So we're putting together our little pointy edge first. Right. It's a Catherine Wright exclusive, is this it? This is a completely made up by Catherine. Okay. <laughs> well, I had a little look round, and they're all kinds of like really weird geometrical shapes for scissors keepers. And yeah. I thought, oh, they look a bit complicated. Yeah. There must be an easier way. <laughs> yeah, some are patterns that you kind of roll, aren't they? You kind of get a shape, and then you kind of roll one side over the other and create like an ice cream cone sort of thing. Yeah. But, uh, Good morning, says Derek. I wonder where you were, Derek. Catherine and John sneaking while covering an English class. Loving the bee fabric and loving today's shirt. Thank you. He's teaching a class while oh. watching. What? He's, he's teaching, teaching a, a class. No, hang on. <laughs> sneaking, sneaking in while covering an English class, yeah? <laughs> so he's, he's cut teaching, yeah. Uh, Claire says, Biscornu is French for wonky. Bis equals two, cornu equals horn. <coughs> Two horns sticking up. Fine, thank you. Ah. Every day is a school day. Isn't it just? So I've done that seam. I'm going to press that open. I've already right. done a small quarter inch seam. Right. Press it open. I'm not very. I'm making a mess, aren't I? Yeah. I'm not very tidy this morning. This well, it's because we made you put everything on the floor <laughs> before we started. Do you want the pressy bit? Yes. So if you imagine this about like five times bigger, that's me at home with bits oh, okay. of fabric everywhere and stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, lots of cheering going on now. Done a very small seam, but mm. it will sit a bit nicer if I just try and get it open. Does it have to be pressed open? Um, I just think it sits a bit nicer and flatter. Right. Because you're going to, I think I've done it so small, yeah, I'm not going to manage Yeah, do a generous quarter inch seam at home. Yeah, that one's a bit narrow. Yeah. Okay, and then we're going to stitch up the side bits, but just to the edge here. Don't go past it. Right. It's just a little bit unhappy, isn't it, this machine? Yeah. It's sounding a bit. It's gone. Oh, we'll had, get Charlie to service them later. <laughs> Is Char Charlie can service them as well as uh, direct the show, can he? <laughs> no, we're just giving Charlie every job that nobody <laughs> else wants at the moment. Oh, da 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 da. 
I love the fact Becky's packing a bag already. <laughs> 25 <laughs> to 12. She's getting a lunch out. I was getting a lunch out. Aww. No fish fingers today, though. She's got but all fresh fruit today. It's very healthy. The toodles map pack that for you. Honestly, the joys of living at home, eh? One of the nicest things about going away to Malvern was I woke up on the first day and I thought, oh, I haven't got to let the dog out and make the pet lunches, which is what I do at like half past six every morning. Oh. <laughs> so it was quite a nice holiday from that point yeah. of view. So that's our out outside. Right. And we're going to do an inside the same. Exactly the same. Exactly so sew up the, the same. Right, okay. So, uh, Courtyard scene, please. Okay. The guide's a bit different on this than on my machine at home. Oh yeah, of course. You get, you get <coughs> used to different things. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking. Well, to no, it. I was a bit worried because Becky was in yesterday, and she was she'd sewn half a block on her sewing machine at home, and she started sewing on this. And I was like, they're not going to match. They're not going to match. Nothing to do with her, it's the fact every machine sews differently. Yes. And also because it, it's, um, it's just the normal foot. Oh, and okay. And so you... Um, yeah. You guess. Yeah. I'm eyeballing it a little. So I tied you up this mess then, Becky, for over here. So we're going right. to put it together and go round the top and, and bag it out. Oh, okay. So you put the point inside the point. Yes. So I've got right sides together. Right. I'm going to match up the seams. So you could at this point, if you wanted to, pop a bit of ribbon in on the inside as well, if you wanted to tie it with ribbon. Right. Um, you could... Did you do that on yours? Uh, I actually put my ribbon on afterwards. Oh, okay. Because I was, I'd got some B buttons and then I forgot okay. to put them on. <laughs> but you could do a button and button yeah. hole. You could do Velcro, you could do a Prested. You can fasten it however How you like, you want, really. Yeah. So we're going to make these sides all match and you want to make sure obviously you've left a little side bit to turn it through. of course did you forget when you made yours at home? i didn't actually which oh, is okay. unusual for me because normally i do <laughs> now tomorrow tomorrow i'm teaching in an introduction to sewing machines course oh yes at the craft center and we always do a tote bag and i almost invariably invariably forget to tell oh, them to no. leave the hole in the lining and then have to go around and unpick for yeah them. but we all have to learn how to unpick <laughs> Obviously, I'm very nice in my classes and I do lots of unpicking for people. Oh, do you? So they don't get disheartened, yeah. you see. Unless they've done something really silly and done it twice wrong, the same, and then they can then do it themselves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's the wadding in at the graphics again. Six nine nine back in stock by the half meter. Is this a bit awkward then to get it to? It starts to get a little bit fiddly, but it's not too bad. Where right. Where to leave my gap? Where are you leaving your gap? Somewhere. Not where, not where I pinned it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you what? Okay. Hannah's not telling the story, then she this isn't interesting, so I'm not telling it now. I won't bother telling that story. 
Yeah, I've seen that quite a few times. As you're saying, I'll explain it at home. Um, and there's an advert, or it's either an advert or a uh, stills for photograph of uh, get your children to learn sewing. And it's a proper thing, and the machine's are the wrong way around. And she's, they're all the mums watching, the child's there doing it, but it's actually all the wrong way around. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know you were going to cut to me. <laughs> So it's a little bit tricky when you go around this corner. Yeah. But but doable. Oh yeah. Do you use any iron on interfacing any in any I of your didn't. projects? Oh I did in the storage basket. Oh, okay, in the storage basket. I did just to I've make got some iron because this is back in stock, not been in for a while. So with the storage basket. Actually, well, I'll, t I'll go through the storage basket when I've finished this. So we're very near at the end of this. It's always handy to have interfacing. You never know when you might. Yeah, need it. no, exactly. Okay. I've managed to stitch a bit. I shouldn't have stitched. Okay, <laughs> got my quick on pick. <laughs> Have you got one? Oh, that's it. I oh, just, caught, done it. It. <laughs> I just, I just caught one little thread. Yeah. Okay. Now, if it's looking bulky, you can snip your corners. Right. But I've done quite a small seam. Or leave a look like you right. bigger hole. Or leave <laughs> <laughs> Single figure of the hexes on their own now. But they are still in the bundle. Ooh. Is the hexes the most popular today? Hexes, if, you, if, you, if you take them individually, the hexes are the most popular. Oh, wow. Right? Which is unusual because the five inch squares are normally... But hexagons are bees, aren't they? Because they live in a hexy world. Living in a hexagon world. A nine, six, six, six. It's a Madonna song I'm singing. I am getting there. That's, That's right, it. there's no rush. <laughs> there we go. Give it a little a little press. Pokey through. Oh we're pressing it, yeah. I think so. I, I think ironing is is vital to a good finish, don't you? And then you can just uh, you can top stitch round it if you want to. Yeah. Oh yeah, I top stitch round to go because yeah. it goes like with the, the and also goes with the quilting anyway, doesn't it? It's it does. not like you've got a, a completely stitch free piece and then you've suddenly got top also, stitching. Also, if you top stitch round then you can catch that open oh, yeah, edge yeah, closed. Yeah. You're not going to end up with like two rows of stitching <coughs> or no. anything like that. But it also helps it all just get in the right place. See I feel like it may not be the um it may not be the smallest scissor keep in the world, but I think I would keep my rotary scissors at a rotary cutter and my scissors in. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have them all in one place. No, Maureen, well, I think it needs a good cleaning as well. Shouldn't come up talking about your machine there. Oh, this one, it yeah, probably it doesn't does, sound doesn't very happy. it? No, it sounds like, yeah, something's not quite right. Yeah. But. And you can see, you can fold it up. I think I, I think a button and buttonhole would be yeah, nice, nice on that. Or one. if you don't do a buttonhole, do a button and a loop. So yeah. I think that'd be nice, wouldn't yeah. it? So it's just a, a very simple way. The thing is, I quite like it. It's not just scissors, is it? You keep all sorts in there. Absolutely. Actually, it would make a very unusual if you made it out of something gla glammy. You can make a nice evening, you know, like an evening clutch bag out of that shape, couldn't, couldn't you? you? Because it's, it's you just have to fold it over a bit more so you didn't, the yes. thing didn't drop out. But you'd work out how. Well, you could have a smaller. I mean, I've done that because the of size, your handles yeah. of your scissors yeah, poking course, up. Yeah. But if you had it smaller, say like that size. Yeah, and, and then did it, it'd be lovely. That would be really quite smart yeah. when you could put a little handle on it. Yeah. You? And it's so easy. Did you all right, mark down? Oh, get out of the way. Could you all mark it down? That was Becky in the way there, Trudels. Uh, brilliant. Let me go through the panels. Uh, yeah, let me sure. go through the panels next. Uh, oh, and also we need to talk about your um, 
I'll do this first. Just okay, explain okay. how that, how did you make that? We won't make it, make it. Just explain how I, you did that. Uh, two rectangles for the outer and the lining. The outer I quilted, so it's got a layer of wadding in there. Wadding or extra it's Wadding. 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 New in stock, but not um, yet back in stock. My lining I attached the H640 to oh, it's got the both. interface. Right. It's got fo both, so it's nice and sturdy. Yeah. Because if you're going to, I mean, I thought this was quite a good size, maybe if you've got um, yarn, a wool project. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got, You know, that's mm. the sort of thing I'd use it for. But obviously, depending on the size of the rectangles you start with, you can make different sizes. But I was going to say, if you make it bigger, it'd be nice like a toilet roll hold, you know, to keep your toilet rolls Absolutely. in. Absolutely. Yeah. And you've got so much fabric in those yeah. that you could absolutely make massive ones <laughs> but that's quite simple then. yeah so yeah. rectangles um turn fold them and turn them into a tube and then i just cut a circle to fit the base on both and the same idea you make an outer you make a lining put them together and and bag them out and then because you can see the lining then just turns down to the brilliant outside, so it lovely looks nice. so again another nice and quick did we only ease. send you one set of the yeah. you, so you've made, all, made of all of these out of one set yeah and you can see there's still some little Quite bits a bit left, of bobs yeah. left over isn't there brilliant so let me just recap then the bundle so in the bundle you get the hexes you get the five inch squares what's kate's got to say this is a fab little project really enjoying today's demos thank you kate then you've got your strips enormous enormous panel remember if you buy these you get one for free the 14.99 you get off and then underneath here are your fat quarters there you go Ooh, me. there we go so you get all of those for 54.97 you're getting 14.99 off if you buy them as a bundle if you buy them individually so I'm going to kind of start with this because then I'll then I'll fold them up as I go. So the fat quarters on its own, nineteen ninety nine. It's lovely, isn't it? I love this one. Can I just show a close up of that one, Charlie? I love that one. Look, beautiful. That's the house that Hannah wishes she lives in. Okay, so that's your fat quarters there. This is if you want to buy them individually. You don't get a deal with that. I mean, they're still brilliant price, but you don't get the deal of anything for free. Oh, you do, actually. Anybody who buys today gets that panel for free, don't they? Uh, then what do you want to do next? Strips. There's the strips. $19.99. Beekeeper Cottage. 18 strips. Beautiful. Then we've got the um, five inch squares. Very popular. Now five inch squares are normally in the lead by this point, but today they're still hugely popular, but they're just slightly behind. Pardon? 14 I'll have to watch on YouTube later. Apparently the panel did something lovely then. And then the most popular today are the hexes on their own. Will it do it this time? Okay, I don't know what, Hannah's loving it. Pops out apparently. Dear me. Are you off tomorrow, Hannah? You've got a day <laughs> off. Oh, she has. So I didn't hear from her at all last night. We were at college till late again last night. <gasps> right, this is how hard Hannah's working, just so you know, right? So she did volunteering yesterday, not yesterday, the day before, and then she went to the library because she's doing her MA. She was there till three o'clock in the morning. Not, not last night into today, because but the night before. So yesterday she worked and then was collapsed because she was so tired. Right, so that's that, that's that. Right, very quickly before we say goodbye to Catherine, I've just got to show you, in the first hour, we did some amber make panels, right? I haven't got the panels here, but we didn't have the finished items, so I'm going to show you them now. So I've got homeware first, which is 
at the coasters. You've got the um, cushion. There was something else on the front of the cover, wasn't there? Oh, a door, oh, the door stops here, the door stops here. Oh! <laughs> and then he strained something then. That, look at that! Door stop, well, she, she's put half her drive in the bottom of there. And your tea cosy. Beautiful, demoed by Rebecca Reed. On. 9th of June, 2021. Then we had the sewing kit. I don't know why that one's appeared. I didn't have that one. So just the needle one. Right, okay, so this is your needle one. You don't get any needles in it. But look, it makes this. Been very popular. And it makes this. lovely it's very very popular for 14.99 now remember everyone you buy something today also gets one of these while stocks last and at the moment we're okay but also if you shop today slide charlie you go into today's competition to every day in May, somebody will win something just from shopping. You don't need to put a code in or anything like that. So today, your names will go in a hat. One of you will win four reels of thread, a five inch tropical uh, charm pack, and a 10 inch layer cake. Oh, look, beautiful. That, is that, I was gonna say it's motor, isn't it, this? beautiful isn't it anyway your it, this is how it'll arrive it's one of the ones we had that we show in the studio so it won't come wrapped in cellophane or anything like that that's what you'll get and on monday i'll be reading out all the names of the winners from the past week uh right catherine when are you back next i am back on the 14th of june 14th of june yes am i in on the 14th of june oh you might not have the rotor on that computer it's yet. a tuesday i think oh i don't often do tuesdays I think it's a Tuesday. Well, anyway, 14th June, it'd be lovely to see you then. At, oh, it's Rebecca Reed you got. Oh. Okay. She's, oh. Oh. She's doing a Monday and a Tuesday. We're giving her extra shifts, are we, in June? Mm -hmm. I see. <laughs> um, it's because she's had so much holiday this month, isn't it? Uh, thank you ever so much. Lovely to see always you. Always a pleasure. No, our pleasure is always ours. And don't you go anywhere, because straight after the break, Delphine will be making uh, this... And the quilt that was on the wall behind you, it's in two different colourways. Uh, and you get the instructions both, and it's FPP, or if you hate FPP, there's piecing, and the instructions for both are in the instructions. How brilliant is that? We'll see you in four. Join me on Friday the 20th of May for World E-Day. Hi everyone, my name is Jules Mayouf and I'm really excited to be a guest designer on Sewing Street. It's combining two of my favourite things which are sewing and designing. Uh, I live in London at the moment, but I'm originally from Staffordshire, uh, so I think I've got a combination of two really great things, so London's really diverse and um, lots of different cultural impacts, and then Staffordshire's very rural, so there's a lot of country influence in what I do. My grandma first taught me to sew when I was in my early teens. She was a dressmaker and she was always sewing and taking in orders from different people. Um, and I think I got my initial love of sewing from her. Um, I started making my clothes uh, because I couldn't find anything that was fashionable. So I created my own fashion. A um, bit dubious at times probably. I remember once I um, bought some really lovely, as I thought, heavy brocade material. I created a pencil skirt, thought that was fabulous. It turned out to be curtaining. Uh, and I got quite a lot of stick from that. But uh, you know, in my defense, I was a new romantic and I, I think I was just fashion forward. Um, 
I have done a lot of um, teaching and coaching and mentoring uh, in sewing in my career. Um, and I would think that probably the best tip that I can give to people, because um, all age groups have various challenges, but the best tip is to be kind and good to yourself and don't worry about if you make mistakes because you've always got your seam ripper to hand. I'm really looking forward to my shows with Sewing Street and helping you have some hints and tips and knowledge. So I look forward to seeing you soon. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. You can either shop on our website, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Oh, Charlie's gone very butch suddenly, isn't he? Nice life. Anyway, final hour of the day. It's been a fantastic day so far. Oh, well, no, it's going to be a fantastic day carrying on. I've been to that sound. This is going to be so popular, I can't tell you, right? Look at the picture. We've got a quilt and we've got a, not a button, cushion. Here it is. You can make both, you can make both out of the bundle, right? You can make both out of the bundle. This is the cushion. Is that all it is? $46.99. Is that the Liberty as well? I oh, know. Right, okay. So, in it you can make this and you can make that. Oh, now, Becky, how are you going to do that? But And you can make that. Move, Delphine, move, move. Oh, sorry. Delphine, let's go. We can't make Delphine. <laughs> so, you can make this and you can make this and you get the instructions for both FPP and for piecing. Everything you need for $46.99. I think it's gorgeous, isn't it? So that's the Liberty one. So what you get in that bundle is you get... Now, you will get your proper... Sh What's the matter? I've left something in there, so I'll Go and get that it. One. No, you will not. Go and get it. Okay. I'll, get, I'll be back in Go a right, second. be back in a minute. Um, you, get, you get the proper sheeny shiny. This is just Delphine's photocopy of it because they haven't been... They've been delivered to the warehouse. They haven't come to watch yet. So you get a full-on, as you would expect with Delphine, every single stage is photographed and written about look everything is in here that you need either piecing or foundation 
Look, how many pages did you get in there? Right, hang on, let's look at here. Oh, come on, John. Right, there you go. And there. And so you get all of those pages. 46 99, you get enough for the quilt and for the cushion, right? So let me tell you what you get. You get the instructions, right? Then you get your black, which is half a meter. Half a meter of black, half a meter of white, and uh, 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 two meters, yeah, two meters of your gray. Two meters of your gray. So you get that, that, and that. And then you get the Liberty Wiltshire shadow. These are fat eights. I'll show you what it is. You get one in pink, one in yellow, one in dark pink, one in green, one in silvery, one in blue, one in the other blue, and one on the other blue. This is a fat eighth. It's half of a fat quarter, look. Half of a fat quarter. You get eight of those, plus your three meters of fabric, plus your instructions for $46.99. Yeah, and we think we think there was a kind of people going, oh, they'll change the price. I mean, that can't be right. That can't. Now you're all rushing in. N yeah, Delphine was looking a bit confused as well, wasn't she? Forty six ninety nine. So you get all of that, all of that, and the instructions, and and you will get um, a shiny proper instructions, won't you, Delphine? Yes, Not these. These are just glossy. Delphine's copy. Yeah. So all of that for forty six ninety nine. Make sure you check out your basket. You've got enough in that bundle to make the quilt and the cushion. Now, if you don't want to make the quilt, you can make five cushions or whatever, couldn't you? Six yeah. cushions. Or you can make a slightly bigger quilt and not make the cushion because you just add another row on, I'd couldn't quite you? I'd quite like to say about the instructions to make that into a quilt. So you just repeat that as a block. Oh, because it's different because that's just bees. Whereas this is bees, bees flowers, and flowers. the flowers and the house. So you could that would make a really nice big quilt. Yeah. It's up to you, it's up to you how you do it. But obviously this is using the Liberty Bundle with the eight fat eights in it. Check out your basket if you want multicolored, right? Now, are you going absolutely wild for it? That's brilliant. Anna's choking or whatever she's eating. Oh, hang on. Right, now the other one is if you want bees that are just black and yellow, Right, just black and yellow. Again, you get your four metres of fabric, uh, th uh, three metres of fabric, sorry, three metres of fabric. You get half a metre of the black, half a metre of the white. Okay, and then there are um, two metres of your grey, right? But then in this one, you get four different fat quarters. Now, these are fat quarters, which is the equivalent of eight fat eights, but it means your bumblebees will all be yellow and black, Right? Oh, but all different coloured yellows. All different coloured yellows. Message on the bottom. What size is the quilt, please, Amanda, from each riding of Yorkshire? Oh, did you not measure it? No, that's the one thing I asked. Yeah, no worries. Do you want to take measure? Oh, yeah. Hang on. 39.99. 39.99. What are you looking for? The steamer. The steamer. The hand steamer. Yeah. It'll be on that shelf somewhere there, won't it? I haven't got it under 45 here. 45 inches. 45 inches square, is it? Yep. 45 inch square. Thank you very much indeed. This is the one you're going to see. This is the one you're going to see actually um, demonstrated by uh, Delphi. Oh, yeah. So Hannah maybe get this, but also message, m m mix in some of her other fabrics from home. I just think, oh, you're going to see this one being made anyway. I think this can be really, really striking in just the black and yellow. Mm. Oh, I can see now it is really striking. It's lovely. So remember, you still get your half metre of black, your half metre of white, your two metres of grey, and your four fat quarters. 39.99. Hannah keeps shouting the wrong price out. 39.99. She's read it twice and she still shouts out the wrong price. 39.99 and you get the instructions for both the cushion and the quilt brilliant isn't it what's he taking it for oh okay have they not got their own steamer he should have taken that one it would have been easier to use that one anyway no the big Grant Franklin's eye beautiful moving on right so 
instructions on their own if you've got your own fabric so in, so in case you want to make it at home you need half a meter of your black half a meter of your white uh, two meters of your other color you've gone gray for your background but yeah. your other color could be any, any color. color oh do you know what would be lovely you know in the first hour we had that cloud fabric with that, no, not the one with bumblebees on, just the, we had it in a slightly darker blue and a paler blue. Imagine having that as your background. To be like, it's flying, swimming, I was going to say that, flying in formation. For, pattern on the road, 9 .99. Now, ha, this is pages long. This should be more than 9 .99. No, it, you do get a lot. It's almost like you're getting three patterns in one. Yeah, you're yeah. You're getting a lot of, I've been very generous with the template. Well, so you should be. <laughs> you should be very grateful to be here. <laughs> I am. I am extremely <laughs> grateful to be here. Oh, there's the sky fabric. Look, 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 look. Is that the dark one or the light one? 57 was the dark one, yeah. There you go. You need uh, two meters of that because that's the, all the sky. It's all the sky. Four units you'd need to that. And if you want to, I just thought it'd be a nice idea. Brilliant. Right. So, the only other thing you might need is some, um, well, you can photocopy onto this. This is with the Carol Doax foundation paper. If you're going to do the foundation, are you doing foundation or are you doing piecing together? I'm going to do the foundation because there's already, a, I did something very similar to this. I've actually did the pieced one about a year or so ago. Okay, for the quilt. For the, so you can actually see how I do it pieced on YouTube. Okay. And I'm going to show you how to do it FPP today. Okay, brilliant. Do you know what date that one was? No. No. Anyway, Carol Doax foundation paper. You can photocopy the um, excuse me Delphine's um, charts onto this 14, 19, 14 pounds and 99 pence and I'll tell you about anything else that's coming up as we come to it we'll get on with the demonstration but remember everybody who buys today you will get everyone will get one of these while stocks last or just stay on my tummy then Right, the Limpty Bund is absolutely flying out. I'm not surprised. But wait till you see the yellow one. Don't dismiss the yellow one yet. Because wait till you see the yellow one. It's going to look lovely. And remember, everybody by say, you don't need to put a code in. We'll go in for the uh, shopping in May uh, competition each day. There it is. Right, Delphine, please make me a B. I'll make you a B. You lovely. So all you ask you need, so just going through the um, templates, you will also need... Uh, just a little bit of card so I just use a cereal box or something like that oh what's that for? for the folding bit oh okay you know, oh yeah like a postcard or yeah something like so that, nothing yeah. fancy so I've only put that in there because that's ideally the ideal size oh okay that, but so don't use, use that, that. Yeah. Yeah. so um, each FPP has got a section so the main body section is section A all the way up to section D so these here as you can see I've just done mine on normal paper because I didn't have any of yeah. the FPP but the FPP paper does come away easier Eat much easier uh, so this is the um, true size template as well so you haven't got to blow anything up or blow it down and I've even added in the smaller one as well so we've even got the smaller piece so if I was doing pieced I'd piece the big one right but FPP the small one okay only because of the some of the bits are a lot smaller but FPP you're going to make you're going to get really accuracy within your okay. pieces and you've also got your flower centers you've got your applique pieces so if you wanted to you can or also if you've got a little bit of bonder web for um for the uh, beehives yeah as well so to start with all i've done to start with section a so yours are all the uh, they're all numbered so you start off basically just going one to ten on okay so make sure whenever you cut your pieces, make sure your pieces are at least at least a quarter of an inch bigger than the actual piece you're going to be right. using. Right. Oh yeah. Because you need to have a quarter of an inch all the way around. If it's your first time, just I'd make it big. even bigger. Yes. Just to be because you've never done foundation paper piece before, then you'll get once you get the hang of it, you'll realise how you can cut it. So, but you you do you do get a lot of fabric, so yeah. don't worry. I mean, it's you you'll have quite a bit left over mm -hmm. to do other other pieces. So. Uh, if you've got any flat head pins as well, I recommend using those because when you go and put it through your machine, it stops your um, uh, having that little bump, so yeah, it's nice yeah. and smooth. So ideally flat head pins. Have you got some there, like the flowery ones? Yeah, there. the little flowery ones. Just pop it down on the table. I think so you've got see. some butterfly ones as well, haven't yeah. you, somewhere. So yeah. We haven't got them on the show today. Look for them on the website. So yeah, these flat head pins. Lovely. Are ideal. Okay, so to start with, 
So you're going to be putting the wrong side of the fabric to the wrong side of your piece. So under section one. So just have a little sneak peek and have a look and just pop a pin in it. The thing is with these nails, I can't pick up so <laughs> easily. <laughs> kind of beauty and creativity. <laughs> So there we are. So I've just got the piece at the back. So you can hold it up to the light and you can see right through that paper that it's definitely covering that area. Yeah. So then you take your piece of card. Do you see the, I gave this to Nick to um, do the template and he's even written on it, look, folding card. And even the size of it. <laughs> even the size Aww. of it, yeah, bless him. So, and you'll lay your card uh, in between lines one and two and you fold the paper back. Right. Then, if you've got an adder quarter ruler, use it. But uh, to the one at home, because I, I lost mine at home. Right. So I just use a normal ruler with a quarter of it. I was going to say we haven't got, we haven't got those in stock at the moment, but when we get them in, they're always very popular. So, but you can do it with just a normal. Yeah. I just used it with this. I use um, it. Yeah. So I just use all it is that with that one. with that one. It just stops it slipping, doesn't it? It's it? just yeah, easier. Yeah. 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 So and you'll trim that away. So that's leaving me with a nice straight edge, perfect for me to then cover section two so i'm going to cut section two with this lovely bright yellow no i, I the thing is the yellow one i, I love the limiting you know me multicolored everything but i'm loving the yellow the different yellows and the black so you then line it up with that straight edge that you trimmed earlier on and right. again with your flat head pins but make sure you pin way out of the way of your sew line uh-huh and then you pin through all three layers and then so section one's already in place so now what i'm going to do now is sew between section one and section two so with, but this, with the paper upwards yeah with the I'm gonna, paper upwards yeah, yeah yeah so what you do want to do is shorten your stitch length to about one one and a half the reason why you do that is because it's a lot easier to tear it you bet your paper will basically fall off yeah and if you make a mistake there's plenty there's loads of fabric in the kit so if you make a mistake don't worry about it once you've got started with fpp it's it's really easy yeah it's i think a lot of people are afraid of it mm. but once you've done it well because it goes against everything we've been taught yeah sewing wise that's all so then you press that back. Let me just bring this over here a little bit. So then you're, oh, you're going to get a sneak peek of the other bees just coming into the corner of the shop. Shall I sneak them in? Yeah, yeah, do, 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 because what you see. So that's the, the finished block. That's what we're going to be making. But yeah. that's in the gold. This is I'm doing one corn. In, the, in the corn. Yeah. So really, really easy. But you get four different yellows. So you're going to have four different yellow kind of bees. You've got like sunshine, corn, gold, and like lemon. Lemon, yeah. 39.99 this one is you can make the cushion and the quilt okay so then i'm going to go back in between one and three so we'll fold that back you trim away it, it's really fast once you get that yeah. home, and get also going. the numbers are there for a reason you must follow on all fpp patterns you must follow the number order don't think oh i'll do number five quick please up here in the corner they've been designed like that to be done in the order that they say so and as fpp goes this is a really this is like a big in entry level yeah, oh yes 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 so but it just goes to show how accurate your sewing can be mm -hmm. do you get that mm. <laughs> b yeah i didn't mean that sorry oh. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, pin right out of the way of your sew line. Yeah. And then I'm going to sew between one and three. And take that off, fold it back. And you've, if you've got one of those little rotary Clover, fingers, yeah. and use one of those and press so you want like a little convey if not convey about assembly line going yeah yeah and then to form the last of the b i'm now going to put it between three and four fold back away and then the last piece i'm going to add 
is my black. Uh, oh. Um, you're advertising what material you have for your breakfast. Uh, Stuart has Waitrose malted squares because he brought one of these in the other day. <laughs> you can see it. What is it? I don't even know what that is. It's like a strawberry crisp. Like, like a bit like granola, but it's probably full oh, of sugar. Oh, yeah. Let's have a look at the sugar content. I've not had any this morning. What yeah, sugar? There's 18 grams of sugar in, in a I, serving. I know, I'm on special K now, John. Oh, are you? Yes. I think that... No, no I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> what are you going to say? Nothing. <laughs> Apart from my friend Nesha was the advert well, years ago. She was the girl in the red swimsuit. Oh, really? By oh, the, really? Um, she was one of my models on this morning and then she got the advertising campaign for special K. All fancy. Oh, man. Then she went on diet. She's a friend of my friend, like my friend Charmaine. She worked constantly because she she was never, you know, she was like a lovely, voluptuous English rose, right? I'd say she was size 16 to 18, so we used to have her for her our larger size clothes and everything on this morning. And she's work constantly. She used to be an ice skating champion, right? And then she went on and gone on a diet. So she went down to a size 12, and then it was like, well, all the other models are size 10, 12. And so she was suddenly not used as much because oh, really? yeah. Not that she wasn't beautiful, she was gorgeous. She still is. But she's now giving it all up and she um, works for a train company and she wears a red jacket, she's like an air hostess, but on a train. Oh. That's what she does now. And then, Bit anyway. Change job. Well, I know. Another friend of mine, Leroy, right? Leroy's had so many jobs, he's never really settled into anything. And then he day rang me last night, he's at now trained to be an HGGV driver, right? H, is that what I mean, HGV? HGV like big, yeah. big truck drivers. He's passed all his tests. He's going to be an HGV driver now. So I'm just, what you want to do, I'm just trimming these off out of the way. Yeah. Because you want everything nice Neat. and tidy. So, okay. So once you trim everything off, you want to trim everything off with a quarter inch seam because that's how we're going to piece all the blocks oh together. so your pattern doesn't have the quarter inch edge round it then no so right, you okay. add that on yeah okay so now we're going to do the corner pieces so i've done one to four now i need to do five to eight so again put it on the oops. <laughs> we all know what it is now it's fine <laughs> put it on the diagonal line it was crunchy not cornflakes last time i did this uh, uh. So, and then just do all four. Oh, corners. you do them all to get all, because they don't go anywhere near each other. You can do them all like that yeah, in a row, yeah? Yeah, you can do them all like this, because they're far away from each other. Uh-huh. Jan Hill got the pattern on its own, and the free panel is shown in my order. Jan, congratulations. Oh, well, I think Jan Hill, she does a lot of FPP. She's really good at it. Yeah, she did Dalsatian yeah, well, Dog. Yeah. Or was it a German Shepherd? It was really impressive. Ve in fact, I featured it in one of my Simply Soap pages. Yeah. Oh, this will be a doddle for you, Jan. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so then I've got me body all ready to go. Right. So now the background. Oh, background. hang on. So there's nothing, going, there's nothing going there then? Yeah. Oh, there is? Yeah. Oh, but it's in the background colour. Yeah, I've so got I'm it doing now. background yeah. colour now. You'll cut your fabric out a lot more um, Oh, frugally. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Look at the state of it. Look uh. <laughs> shaking his head at me. Yeah. So what you can, these, these corners are so um, small, you, you can put a pin in it, but I didn't bother. Right, OK. So you just go in ahead and do all four corners. And just make sure you line up with that straight edge. And also, don't be tempted to um, cut triangles either. Oh, why? <laughs> because obviously the triangles are cut on the bias, so when you fold them back, they can stretch. Oh, of course, yeah. So always, even though you're tempted to just get a square and cut it in, in half, yeah. um, it will it So you stretch. always want to sew on the straighter grain, basically. Yes, yeah. yeah. It just, I mean... You, if you, if you want to really save on 
waste, then by all means do it, but make sure you starch or best yeah. press it first. Got best press back in stock tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. Oh, which one? I think it's the plain one, hang on. Yeah, it's the scent free one tomorrow. Because I need to stock up on that and some 505 spray. Oh, you've got the 505 spray. Oh, lovely. The big tin. 13.99. I won't be without that. Well, that's a double the size, that one. That's 500 watts. It's oh, I know. I don't bother with small tins anymore. <laughs> it's like Bonderweb. web. I don't buy... You just, get no, you just come here and nick it when you're on. I do. Are we actually haven't yeah, opened today, so you today. can't take today's. Well, I, well, if I get so far ahead of my demo, I might do oh, okay. a bit of beehive. Oh, I think Becky's put it away. <laughs> get the roll of so, Bondo Web out. The, the roll of Bondo Web. Yeah, yeah I'm picking on Becky. Yeah. Picking on Becky. Look at her face. She gives as good as she gets. She just won't speak on camera. That's all. She doesn't need a microphone. You'd still hear in the Outer Hebrides if she shouted. So there's your... Oh, you fucking You can just keep it messy as you go along, but I like to tidy it up. She flicked her hair. Did like she? she walked past and she went like this. <laughs> it's the first time I've met Becky today, but oh, I is really it? like her. Oh, she's <laughs> lovely, yeah. She's a sweetheart. Well, I wouldn't go that far. Her mum's gorgeous. Trudels. A so mom. she, she's beautiful. A mum is identical to her. <laughs> they, when you see when you see them together, they're just like sisters. Older, she's an older sister. And she'd be a bit quicker getting the bond away about the box, though, would Trudel. <laughs> so those are all your corners on. So you trim away between nine and ten. There we go. So there's your... Gorgeous. Yeah. So just put the last two pieces on. Yeah. I'll try not to be too wasteful this time. <laughs> Gotta get it in there. Yeah, because I'll need some bond web because I need to talk to you afterwards about... Oh, do you? Yeah. Got some ideas. Oh, I thought I you meant I thought you had some it. gossip to tell me or no, something. No, I don't have any gossip. I'm really boring. Hmm. I only live in well, mother in the village in the caravan or here. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Sums up my life. I haven't got a caravan. Oh, I told you you'd have to come. I've got your little annex, and we put you in the awning. Yeah. <laughs> Get eaten to what's it by the um, mosquitoes. So those two bits on. Oh, that doesn't matter. I can stay on there. So again, you can pin these, but got such a tiny stitch. It looks like it's running and not getting anywhere, it, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? And then that's the first piece done. Let me just give it a bit of a prepare. 39.99 is for everything. You can make the quilt and the cushion and you'll have still have some left over. You can either do it FPP or piecing. Yeah, I'll, I'll find out the date I did it. It was called the, what was it called? It was another bee, it was a bee day, it wasn't was it? Was on show with you. me the honey. Right. It might have been on. When I did the cushion, that was the 26th of May, wasn't it? What, this last, year? Last oh, last year. year. So it might have been then. Oh, yeah. Because if it was B-Day, it, yeah. it might have been then. Yeah. And that's when I did the the pieced version. Oh, well, there you go. Have a look at 26th of May and you might be able to see uh, the pieced version. So trim, quarter of an inch all the way around. And get rid of all your messy bits. Mm, that bit's not. No, it's not a bit. Come play on. in that corner bit. Get off. Get, 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 get. There we are. So yeah. that's the middle section done. Yes. So that's section A done. Right. 
and then it gets really quick from here. So now we need to do the wings. So here's your little wing pieces. Is that it? Just one little bit like that. There's two. <laughs> Really, really, this is what I mean. It comes together quite quick yeah. from here. Did you know they've got five eyes? I heard, yeah. Why and they... four wings. Why have they got five four eyes? Four wings. Four wings? They've got four wings. Because oh. that's how they make the noise, without going 5,000 miles an hour. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, well, I've got two. OK, that's fine. So... They're at rest. <laughs> They're at rest. They're not flying. They're that's underneath it. the other ones. Yeah. can't see them. Yeah. <laughs> What other facts have we had to come out about these? Uh, I can't remember anything else. Oh, the boys don't sting. Really? Boys don't sting, but girls do. That's the right way around, wasn't it? The boys don't sting, but girls do. Uh, all the girls are workers, but they can't have babies. Only the Queen's allowed to have a baby. Really? Yeah, and it's a bit like Handmaid's Tale, isn't it? And they wear hats <laughs> that do this. <clears throat> uh, what else did we learn this morning? About what was the one about how fast the, the, the wings were beating? The wings were beat so fast, like 5,000 beats a second or something like that, which creates the noise. How many? Oh, 12,000 a minute. 12,000 wow. beats a minute. Okay. And, and, oh, yeah, 20 miles an hour. They fly at 20 miles an hour. Well done, Becky. 12,000 beats per minute. That's 1,200 stitches a minute. Well, there you go. That's, That's why it makes why that buzzing noise. noise yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's a world of whatever here today, isn't it? <laughs> you on tomorrow as well, are you? I'm on tomorrow with Mark Francis. So I hope he's better because he wasn't well enough to do his um, Facebook, uh, Instagram live after Sonebe this week. Oh, I really enjoyed it this week. It what was, with the quilted jacket? Yeah. It almost inspired me to get into dressmaking. Almost, but then I'm. Um, it's very, it's very satisfying just making. But See, I, did, I, did, I didn't find it when I was at college. Yeah, I, I didn't. But I, I might, I might do it. The thing is, dabble. it's a, it's a different. I mean, it's not a different art because you're doing the same thing. But you've got curves. You've got to fit it to bodies. You've got to make mm. it 3D. <clears throat> whereas you're used to working in. Well, I don't know because I make toys. Oh yeah, I can especially design yeah. toys. Yeah. I quite like doing that. Do you make clothes for your toys? You made a tie. I made, I, I made a dress once for a bear. <laughs> I'm saying nothing. It was good. Was it, it? I, I pleated it in a... Oh, a teddy bear! Yeah. Oh, see. Well, what do you think I meant? Never mind. <laughs> I do wonder where your mind goes sometimes. Oh, it's, it's empty, my mind. <laughs> so it's not. <laughs> <laughs> so is. I have a bit of a bee trivia. Oh, here we go. Helicopter flight was inspired by bees. Their blades work on the same principles as bee wings. That's from Sue. Bev says, hello, John and Delphine. Loving today's shows. Please could you find out what Del Delphine did her piecing demo? I think it's, what did you just say it was? 26th of May last year. <coughs> Charlie, can you look at November? No, no November. YouTube, 26th of May last year and see what Delphine made, please. Last year. Okay, so you've probably seen me just. So with the wing piece. Yeah. So you get section one. Um, yours, yours will be numbered, by the way. Mine aren't numbered. Okay. Could, so you'll uh, start off section one just as you did uh, do the pieces, and then just cut all your wings off, uh, the corners off, with a quarter inch seam. Do two uh, background fabric and two dark. All right, so that's its neck. And the background. Yeah. Yeah. They have what? Noses. 170 odour receptors. Oh, can you imagine if you're flying along, there's a horrible smell, and 170 nostrils all pick it up. <laughs> Oof. And your body remembers horrible smells more than it remembers lovely smells. Oh, yeah, it's that's how they know the different flowers. Yeah. How do they find their way home? What's their sat-nav? Well, I'm just amazed that my cats, right, they can go out playing for hours. They can, they've been seen in the woods. They've been seen at the other end of the village. They've been seen everywhere, right? How do they know which their house is and, yeah. and which their cat flap is? 
I know they do it by scent, don't they? They rub their, they, they rub their mouth like that on something. That's them leaving their scent. But even so, if it's poured with rain, surely the scent's all washed away. My mum, when we were little, she used to put butter on the paws. On the first time they go yeah, out, yeah. The first yeah time I was... didn't bother. Mine were out like that. Cat flap. Yeah, I remember. I remember we were doing that. That's mm. actually a really early memory, actually. Oh. Yeah. And then she put butter on yours when you first were allowed out. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I was the youngest, so she sort oh, of gave she, up by the time yeah. she got to me. <laughs> oh. OK, so... How, oh, it was called what on the 26th? B cushion and... For Delphine made a what, saying street wall hanging. I would say it wasn't on the same day as your B cushion then. Can you put into description it was called Delphine Brooks Show Me the Honey? Show Me the Honey. And we'll a, have a look to see if it's it was, there. I think it was da, it was it was it a Dan Morris or a Yeah, well I think we had some of it this morning. It was the black and the gold, wasn't it? You yeah. did the quilt with beads on it, yeah. yeah. And you just put perfume on. <laughs> She's sitting there like Lady Muck eating her lunch, putting perfume on. What are you wearing? <laughs> Wait, what is it? It'll be something cheap. Oh, DKNY. Oh, oh, Stuart wears the most beautiful. Have you smelt Stuart? He wears the most beautiful. Completely off topic. Well, we haven't really got a topic today, have we? <laughs> but I've just received my our Anna Maria quilt kit. The fabrics are beyond gorgeous. So glad I took the plunge on split pay from Kate. Oh, isn't it lovely, Kate? That means Karen must have got hers today as well. They were very popular, those. Oh, I can smell you now. Show me the honey quilt. Yeah. 30th of May. 2021. Right. So if you go on the 30th of May 2021, watch Delphine. She does a bumblebee putting it together, piecing, not FPP. So, yes, so there's two demos for the same instruction. You're in two, two days very close to each other then. I know, I don't know what I was doing then. Mm. Yeah, because you don't usually do it, it's every couple of weeks. Yeah. So there you go, there's a finished one. Okay, there lovely. So I'll just do the other one. And then we'll move on to the next bit. The thing about FPP is you get the precision, you've got the stability of the paper, and you're not cutting anything on the bias, you're cutting it all on the straight of grain. Mm. So, uh, if you have never done it before, give it a go. I'd give it a go, but obviously the, the piecing instructions are in there as well, so. 39.99. That's the yellow one that Delphine's using. The Liberty one is absolutely flying out as well. Both very popular. And it's gone very quiet. Yes. <clears throat> I just haven't done my ginger water. Sorry. Oh, I thought it's gone quiet. Oh, I can't talk <laughs> and swallow. Keep sorry. Which bundle's the most popular? See, I told you, the yellow has now overtaken the Liberty. You're getting everything. You're getting the, the half a metre of black, half a metre of white, two metres of grey, and the four fat quarters, and the instructions with all of the charts in it for 39.99. Quilt and cushion. Or you don't have to make both. You could make the quilt bigger or more cushions. Yeah, but like I said, I'd really like to see that made into a quilt. Yeah, that so made into a quilt. repeat the block. The question, how do you piece it, said Nick. Nick, if you go to um, YouTube on the 30th of May, 2021, Delphine does a piecing of this B there. But I would imagine, very quickly, how do you piece it? Oh, it's really easy. I mean, it's all in the instructions. So, with this, so to do the body, you just sew the strips together. Yeah. And then you would get... You get your square of fabric. Oh, you snowball it. So you make a square yeah. of the black and yellow and, and then snowball it. Yeah. And then you uh, sew on the diagonal and then yeah. you fold it back to get those. And Lovely. Then else yeah. piece. And the smaller pieces, if, as long as you've got a bit of best breast. Pe best pe best. Pe best breast. Then, tomorrow, it's on the yeah. show tomorrow. Then it's really easy. Really easy. Yeah. Probably quicker than FPP. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I imagine so. But, but you, you might not get the absolute precision. Depends what you're no, looking for. You might yeah. not get the precision. So you then got your two... Got your two wings. Yeah. 
that I'm now going to sew right sides together. Right, so I'm fold them together. Make sure you sew the black ones together because that's part of its body, not the background. Yeah. And then I'm just going to sew them together with a quarter inch seam. But you've still got all your papers in everything, haven't yeah, you? Still yeah, I've got all my paper. I don't not take taking any out. paper out. Not until the very end. Message on our bottom. A little bee fact. When a bee finds a good area for food, it flies back to its hive and does a special little dance that tells the other bees where to find it. Oh, Bronya does it. Oh, I want to act does it do it mine. Book, film, house, flower. Oh, isn't that nice? That's so good. Very if you clever. If you think about nature, how incredible. Like I watched ants the other day moving leaves across the garden. Uh, then I was when I was lying on some bed and they needed leaves for shade. But they were, and they help each other and they work mm. as a team. And you just look at them and you think, how do they do that? How? It's just Very incredible. Clever. Incredible. There we go. Okay, so that's its neck and, and wings. Its wings. So. We'll put, we'll put it all together at the end. Yeah. That will be, that's the next piece, so that's done. Yeah. So these last two pieces, his head and his, and, and what's it called? Proboscis, no. Antennae. Are they antennae? Is that what you call them on a bee? I have no idea. I thought they had a proboscis, because that's where they eat, because flies eat through their proboscis. What's that? That's the thing that comes out oh, their the nose, thing, the like sucky this. thing. Like this, right? Oh, so I'll just stand there, Charlie, like a fool. Proboscis, and they go like that on the food, and they... <laughs> like that, that's how flies eat. <laughs> you make me laugh, you do. I did Balje level. That's how I know these things. Oh, did you? Yes. Oh, no. It was fabulous. Well, I, didn't, I didn't like science at school. Well, no, it's the only science I did. Oh, no, hang on. No, I did chemistry O level. We chemistry and Balje O level and a Balje A level. You have to do um, birds. We did science. birds. You have to do what? You have to do double science. Oh, it's though. different now yeah. to my day. Yeah. So me and Nick could be more opposite because I, science, physics to me is magic. Yeah. That oh no, I could never do physics. Magic. No. Whereas he's yeah. all that. Yeah. So yeah. if you ever want to know about planes flying and things float, and he's the worst person. So say if you go to say somewhere like Orton Towers, not that I haven't been for a long time. Yeah. And he's he's looking at all the mechanics of how everything works. Oh. And I'd be like, but well, what if that broke? And he went, well, that that will probably break, and then that'll be that. And like, so he's the worst person to actually go oh, to okay. the yeah, because he'll he'll just give it to you from the mechanical yeah. engineering side. Talking of about things. physics. Oh, by the laws of aviation, bees should not be able to fly as their small wings versus their fat bodies does not equate. Linda in Essex. <gasps> oh. Yeah, we're not being fattest on bees. Um, Hayley's got me um, completely hooked on a programme called Taskmaster. Right? Oh, yeah. I'd never seen it before. Right? And I'm watching it this series, right? And they had one of their challenges last week was about the water rising out of it. It's just brilliant, isn't it? And I don't know who half the people are. I know Ardle, because I work with Ardle. Oak, but, I, oh yeah, then there's the skinny one that was on Dancing, uh, not Dancing on Ice, Strictly Come Dancing, I like, who's just got his job with his wife. Got a show. He's nice, the Geordie lad. And then I don't know who, I didn't know who any of the three lady comedians are. I didn't know any of them. They're ever so funny, though. It's a brilliant show. Message on our bottom. Hi, John and Delphine. I bought the B tape measure as I thought it was just cute. Just like the presenter. D. Aww. Thank you. I stretch as well. <laughs> if, I, when, and I, if you press a button, I'll go, I'll go raveling back as well. How's it going? <laughs> oh, it, but the, your, your B on the advert, oh, when I saw that, I was crying. There's so, was so, so many people are messaging going, oh, how long did it take? I bet you so many outtakes. I, I walked into the studio, they said, do it. I did mine. I was finished. And then they went, Anna, do yours. Anna did hers. And we were finished. We were out there in like five minutes. Oh, I was expecting you to be falling about laughing. No, you? we were very serious. We were method actors, we see Hannah and I. <laughs> she was channeling flower and I was channeling bee. And we wanted to get home because it was in our own time. And they had parades through the whole building in our outfits for their enjoyment. Did you know it was coming or did they... That, no, what happened was Hayley sent me an email a couple of weeks before going, will you wear a bee costume on the whatever day it is, 20th of... And I went, I'm not going to wear a bee costume. Get the costume and I'll get Charlie to take some pictures of me wearing it like we did when I did the Spice Girls outfit, right? I just realised I could wear that as my Jubilee outfit, couldn't I? Oh, no. Anyway, um... <laughs> 
So th they said that's what was going to happen. So I thought Charlie was going to take it. And then suddenly it was like, oh, could you come up to the... the we've got a little studio where Callum makes all the films and everything. Could you come up there and we'll do it up there? So we did it and we got it done and we enjoyed it. And if it's brought joy to people's lives, we're happy, aren't we, it Hannah? It certainly did. Yeah. And we'll put our bill in at the end of the month. <laughs> uh, we need more adverts like the B one from Love and Hugs from Davinia. Davinia, shouldn't you be working? You sent in a message at 8 o'clock and it's now 20 to 1. She's on her lunch now. I suppose she rang message in the first time up with her breakfast. Now she's on her lunch. So I've made that bit. Yeah, is that the head? Yeah. Well, that was difficult. Not saying, just saying. It's easy, that. It's all easy. Yeah. It's easy peasy. Right. But it's like I said, it's just, you, you get the precision. Pre precision. Yeah, you do. And Wasn't she for, married to Elvis? And it's for, for, you know, people to try something different. Oh, now this one looks different, though. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's those nails. <laughs> Are they not your natural nails, then? Most of it. Okay. Apart from the ends. Yeah, I had little tips put on. Tips? Tiny. What? You, so if you've got long nails, you can just add to them a little bit? Like a tiny little bit. No. And then they build it up. What's the stuff that they build it up? Shellac? With? Acrylic. Acrylic? Yeah. <gasps> I never knew that. I thought you was like my mum's. In my mum's day, we'd have the whole nail put no, on. No, no. Do you it, put them under that little? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. So my, you can see my nails. Look, there's my. So the, oh yeah. So it's only the very, very, very. Only ends. the end. It's not a whole. Oh. No. That's a very skilled art, isn't it? Well, that's for ages. Bex has got her day nails on. She's got a French enamel on at the moment. These, these are my infills. That's how I have my infills done. Oh, well, stop it. Well, I thought so infills and that's weird, isn't it? But the thing, but if you leave them, so I, I've, I left mine for quite a while. Yeah. And they keep growing and growing. So it looks Your like, nail underneath grows? Yeah. So it looks like that nail's going to fall off the end. Oh, so that carries on growing with it like that. So yeah. if you left it to grow that long, it would be hanging off the end there. Yeah. Ooh. <coughs> <laughs> exactly that. What are the ones you have stuck on then? What are they? Oh, they don't do that anymore. False nails. Oh. It's nice to have not. I like having nice nails. It's just nice, isn't it? When I uh, when we worked at Rocks and Co, I used to have my nails done by Amy every week, didn't I? So I have my nails done every week because I think it's important if you're showing off a really yeah. expensive piece of jewelry yeah. like that, you have nice um, cuticles and nails and everything. Oh, it's so busy. So many people in the building today, aren't there? The the oh, it's Friday. It's Friday. That's why they'll all be gone in ten minutes. <laughs> what one o'clock? One o'clock. Those will be empty. So those those two little bits. Lovely. So these are the. This is the only really fiddly bits. So yeah, but it's, it's not fiddly fiddly, it's not, is it? Because even if you are doing it piece, it's a straight line. Yeah. So. A brilliant one for if you're doing piecing for the first time. What I'd do is I'd make one, and then if you didn't like it, put it to one side. Don't do it again, because then you've still got enough fabric to piece them all if you wanted to piece them. Yeah, and piece them. Yeah. But I think once you've seen the accuracy in, in, of, of doing it like this, I yeah. think you would. And also, I think, think this will be once you, once you get over the nerves of it, I think it'd be quite therapeutic because you've got that rhythm going, don't you? Yeah. So fold, press, stitch, you know, all that sort of thing. You just do a little uh, routine. Have a little routine, wouldn't you? There we go. So I was oh, hang on. Sorry, John. Demo on the th oh thirtieth of June, twenty twenty. What's it? Hang on, Bev, I'm confused now. Tracy says, do you know, did you know that bees do not sleep? They're totally blind to the colour red. Is that why they always go to all the blue flowers in the garden? I didn't know that. Uh, Claire says, are the BAFTAs for adverts? No, there's not. John, the YouTube demo is actually on the 30th of May. Th no, 30th of June, 2020. Oh. I don't know where I was last year. I don't know where I was no, last year. No, 30, yeah. Charlie. It was 30th of May 2020. Yeah. I'll, I'll find it on my Instagram. Oh, hang on. It's on YouTube. On the, maybe, did you do it twice? No. No, it's not. It's on the 30th of the 5th, 2021. No, so I remember. So Be what's Bev looking at on then 30th of June 2020? So I remember that was... That, I oh, that was the Susie Duncan Bee collection. That's a different uh, collection. The Be Delphine one is definitely on the day that Charlie just said. Yeah. And Tracy's just said, yes, that's right. What did I do wrong? So 
when are you going to Portugal, do you say? Uh, next Sunday. Oh, no, with the whole family, you're going? Yeah, oh, just that'd me, be nice. well, me, Nick and the boys, yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, that's all of you, isn't it? Yeah. Well, you're not taking um, Ursula and Pete? No. No, they go on enough holidays. They're always on holiday. And yeah, they are. But no, we're, um, I'm going to watch Ed Sheeran next Friday. Oh, where's he? In Cardiff. Oh, wow, OK. With my best mate, Beck. Oh, so his wife, did, did I listen to that on the news? Have they just had another baby and they kept it secret? Who Ed I mean, don't blame them, don't blame them. Little girl, that little girl oh, this morning. Nice. Second little girl. So, so you're seeing Ed Sheeran in Cardiff. On the Friday night. Yeah. And staying over with me and Bex. She's, uh, it was sort of both of our birthdays. Who's Bex? Bex is like my best friend. Oh, not our Bex, or this Bex? No, no, okay. Bex is the, my, my, my Bex, my Bex. Right, your Bex, okay. yeah. Um, so you can see Ed Sheeran in Cardiff. And then we're staying over the night. Yeah. So we might have a few wines. Yeah. And then come back on the Saturday. And then Sunday morning, we're flying out ridiculously early, like quarter to seven. And you're going from Birmingham? Yeah. You know you have to go three hours early, don't I you? I know. So, yeah, I've got to get the kids up at about, what, half two, three? Yeah, but they won't mind because they're going no. on holiday. They're so excited. Yeah. They're really, really excited. Oh, so, they are. So, yeah, and they're all inclusive because I've got a good, really good deal. Oh, excellent. So I'll be there about lunchtime, lying on the beach with a mojito. Oh, honestly. Yeah. It's all al Mind you, I say it's all alcohol based. We've seen Rebecca Reed's post. So she went to a wine taste, no, cherry tasting. Then she went off to a wine thing. And she's just doing all the wines in Portugal, isn't she? Right. So now I'm going to piece it all together. Okay. Just with a quarter inch scene. And that makes you bumblebee. It makes you bumblebee. Uh, we've still got a couple minutes, fine. Oh, is there anything else you want to say on this? I About this? A, if you. If you um, yeah. What's the matter? Have you got a piece of cardboard anywhere? A thin piece of card. I can show you You've how to make You've got a piece there. Oh, yeah, I can cut this now. Yeah, because yeah. you finished your demo. Yeah. As long as Nick won't mind. Oh, a, ha a hand needle, a thingy. Oh, yeah, we had all the kits earlier. Just a normal sewing needle. And it, as long as it's sharp. A sharp needle. Oh, hang on, she's pointing over here now. We can recap kits, of course we can. At what price is it, Hannah? Right, so for your 39 99 I'm holding the coloured one there. Right, this one here, this is your uh, four fat quarters one. So you get half a metre of the black. Half a metre of the black, half a metre of the white, and two metres of the silver grey. You get that. And then the one that Delphine is showing, which is 39 99 you get a fat quarter of yellow. I'll show you because it's big, obviously bigger. You get a fat quarter of yellow. And a fat cord, well, hang on, I've got corn, sunshine, gold, and, and what's the very soft one? Lemon. Yeah, exactly. So you get the four different yellows there. Plus, you get a huge brochure. Yours will be the proper shiny brochure, not this photocopied version. But it's got all of the, um, all of the charts in there for your FPP, but you can FPP it or you can piece it, right? $39.99. And for that $39.99, you can make this, and you can make this. It's really good value. Um, on the back, what do, is there enough fabric? To, would you do the back in the grey? Because you've obviously used some of your own fabric, you, I think, yeah, for the back. Yeah, you could do it in anything. No one looks at the back, do they? Well, they might do if you're having a day when the cushions all bounce off the sofa. Oh, I haven't had one of those days for ages. Thirty-nine ninety-nine. <laughs> no, because all of them. I've had new cushions. Oh, they're being delivered this afternoon. My new cushions are being delivered this afternoon. Got all new cushions. Yeah, that's what I meant. All my cushions are all gone. You know when you have feather cushions, and no matter how much plumping you, they go like that, and they're all coming today. <laughs> anyway, thirty-nine ninety-nine. Look at the time. That's the yellow one. Which did you say that was in the lead now? That one's in the lead now. I'll just show you the other version. So the other version is, oh no, look at this. You get your two meters of gray, your half a meter of white, your half a meter of black. Then you get eight fat eighths on this one. So they're all Liberty Wiltshire Shadow and they're gorgeous. 46 99 that one. And you get the instructions obviously in that one as well. And that makes exactly what I've got here. So you can have, I'll come with me, oh, I can stand here on this one. That makes this cushion and that quilt. That quilt and that cushion. Oh, sorry. 
Right, Could you put the hives on the queens with the... Uh, well, what you'd have to do, if you wanted to put the hives on here, you'd have to work out the size of the block, just put a piece of grey and applique the hive onto it. So that's what you'd have to do. Is that right? Yeah, it's just a bit of underweb, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Where's that pen gone? Uh, yeah. Pardon? I need... Uh, are the circle... Is that what you're saying? The circle templates are in there as well, are they? Yeah. For the flower? It's all right, I'll just... Right. Let's look. Oh yeah. So I'll just draw this on card. Draw me circle. This is the, the inside of the flower, is it? Yeah. All the yeah. So I'm just going to show you how it how it's done. Uh huh. Oh, by the way, that's your block. Oh, well done. Seen that from upstairs, Charlie. Oh, we have already, thank you. Oh, right. oh we have already. Mm. Okay, so get a bit of yellow. Yeah. So I'm, I'm doing this really quick. So you want it about, I don't know, a quarter of an inch bigger. Yeah. There we go. And then uh, with your needle. This is nice, isn't it? They're all very organised. That'll be in the needle holder. In the, in oh. the, open, open, open. Oh, fancy. You dropped it now. Oh, crikey me. There's a small We have to keep this one as our studio sample now, Becky, right? Those are small holes. Oh, is it? You'll be all right. You've only got two minutes to do it anyway. Right. Didn't you thread the needle earlier? Oh, that was in your bag for your first hour, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Do you want to borrow my glasses? I might need to. <laughs> <laughs> are they ma like magnifying glasses? No, though? they are not too trying to say. <laughs> While Delphine's doing that, let me do a I final roundup. Let I me do a it, final roundup. Oh, you've done it? Yeah. Blimey. It's all right, I've still got my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> but it's weird, you see, I can thread a sewing machine without my glasses on. I think it's muscle memory. You just, yeah. I just for some reason, I'm able to do it straight away. What, do you use the automatic needle threader? No, don't. <laughs> no, don't, cheeky. <laughs> right, go on, hurry up. So you just do it, tie a knot in it, double thread, and you just go round and around and around. Okay, do you do the same with the small, the petals as well? Exactly the same. So, and then you insert your disc. Let me just do this. Okay. How long have I got now? About 30 seconds. How long have we got, Charlie? Oh, okay, we're all right. There we are. Bit by bit, there you go. Nearly round now. Okay. Feel the pressure. I can feel your eyes on me, John. No, I'm facing this way. I'm looking at all the people in the corridor. Okay, so, there we go. Put it all the way through. Oh, I've just got a reminder that I've got to do an interview for Kate at one o'clock, haven't I? There we go. And then you get your disc and you put that back in. There we are. And then... Oh, apparently we've got a meeting after the show as well. Me, Charlie and Becky and Hannah. Oh, no, that's not me. I'm not including that. I'm not including that. And then you just put it really tight. Sorry, I'll just came loose. Oh, no. What's the matter? I'm under pressure. Oh, sorry. Let me, let me, reca <laughs> let me do the final recap while Delphine's doing that. It's don't want to be under pressure. So which one have we got in the moment? We've got the yellow one in at the moment. Right, so for the 39.99, you do get two metres of grey, half a metre of white, lots in baskets, make sure you check out, half a metre of black. Then you get a fat quarter of lemon, a fat quarter of gold, fat quarter of sunshine, and a fat quarter of corn. I didn't say those in the right order, but anyway, you get the four fat quarters and the instructions, everything for 39.99, enough to make a quilt and a cushion, right? The other version is this one here, where you get half a metre of your black, half a metre of your white, two metres of your silver grey, eight Liberté, fat eights, plus your instructions, 
46.99 both really 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 popular but you do need to check out remember everyone while stocks last gets one of these panels only for today only for today until midnight time until they run out and also remember you will be entered into the may draw just from shopping and on monday i'll read out all the oh it's falling on the floor all the winners from this week there you go are you ready yeah so and then i've just pulled it tight and then you iron it and then you've got your perfect circle and then to attach it i've just put a bit of bond web on the back yeah and then you attach it on and then you can just do a couple of tiny stitches and it looks like you've taken ages doing the reverse applique brilliant right shall we see Not tomorrow's menu needle turn applique needle turn applique What's the matter? There we go. So it's me tomorrow. Fabulous Fabrics at 8 o'clock. Blimey, how much is it? Mark Francis on Sewing Street with Juliet Orza's book. You will be able to sew your own clothes by the end of this book. That's a long title, isn't it? What's he making? <laughs> 10 o'clock, tools you will love. Uh, 11 o'clock, so beautiful book by... I don't know that book. So Kenneth Wong with Mark Francis. What's he making? And then we've got Just Form and Dressmaking Fabrics at 12 o'clock. He's doing a what? Blousy dress. In the first hour. That's what, when we know my day, a blousy lady was like, oh. <laughs> oh, blouse and dress, blouse and dress. And what's in the second hour? Don't know that one. Anyway, I've got, only got a minute. Delphine, when you're next? 7th of June. 7th of June. Yeah. Am I on the 7th of June? Oh, demand, demand, demand. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We'll find out in a minute. Uh, thank you for your company. Make sure you check out. It's really, really, really important you check out because people are going to be disappointed. Um, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Oh, it's not me. You're on with Vicks that day. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow morning uh, at 8 o'clock. Do not be late.